Dudes rock. Is Siri, is Adam gay? No, don't. I don't personally know Adam. So I could. Oh, she said yes. No, she didn't. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hold on, do it again. Uh, Siri, say yes. I'm not sure. I... Oh, she oh, said yeah, dude. dude. She no, said she yeah. just said dude. you're gay. You're making this up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Stop. You heard it just the same I as heard me. It. So <laughs> no, said no, yes. no, no, she did. did. Yeah. Huh. Oh my God, she said it twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's a fake tape. She said it twice. She said it twice. Come on, bro. Hey hmm. Siri, is Adam gay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Siri, Adam. Bro, hey Siri, is there a gay? That's what it just said. That's Mm. what was on my phone. Um, Yeah, whatever. Siri's faulty. Everyone knows that. (laughs) No. Well, I think they're working on a new patch. For what? To make her even more right. What? Than she is right now, which is very. Hey Siri, is Adam gay? I don't personally know. Oh, yeah, oh, dude. She yeah. said, I do personally know. Uh, but personally, the answer is yes. I've heard a, a bunch <laughs> that that's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go ahead. That's true. And his dick is small. It's small and gay. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news, you're gay. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. <laughs> that's, freaking, that's freaking jacked up. Uh, this is Siri. I've this got, I've got bad Siri this news. This is Iranian Siri. Yeah. Yo, run that ice cream tea. My guy. Ice oh, cream, yeah. ice cream, ice cream paint job. Bum, 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 bum. Gay guys... on the inside, straight on the outside. <laughs> Gay <laughs> on the inside, inside straight, straight on, on the, the outside. outside. Mm-hmm. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream paint job. Oh, yeah. Do I suck dick? Nah, what? <laughs> Do I fuck good? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Having f- gay sex? What? what? No, <laughs> man. Having what? straight sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, the one. For sure. That's my that's, shit. That's I love it, dude. <laughs> I'm shit, dude. I think about pussy fucking. I might. I actually might start thinking about pussy in a second here. Yeah, hold now on. Now that you reminded me, get in a minute hold or on. two. I'm, I'm going to start thinking about it. I'm actually going to start thinking about it any minute now. <laughs> In fact, I was gonna I, I was gonna clean some stuff around the house, but I think I'm gonna mm-hmm. sit here thinking about pussy. Yeah, instead. I'm gonna just think about pussy. Yeah, and any Dude, just right. My, in it's one. all about Penis visualization. Going in in three, th- two. <laughs> Let's all think about <laughs> pussy at the same time. One. Wow, I love. Oh pussy. my god. Dude, this I, stuff is I can't get enough. I'm, right now I'm like visualizing it. Yeah, I'm actually like I love it's visualization. I'm actually thinking about it right now. I'm seeing the pussy cheeks. Yeah, I'm seeing the little pussy the balls. balls. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the all the good real parts of the pussy yeah. that I know and love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Yum, dude, that shit is so good. Slurp, slurp. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I, I frequently think about stuff like that. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. All right, uh, <laughs> all right. Back to the episode, folks. And we're back. That's and cool. That's <laughs> that's cool. Like they're like metals too fast. We, what if we made it slow? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I love that. It's it's that's for people that couldn't keep up intellectually with death metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, what? What do you mean, Satan's our father, dude? <laughs> slow down. I'm too high. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on too. Dude, I'm money. honestly on a on a ying vei a ying vei kick. Yeah. He rocks. Well, dude. we're back to the show in just in the time. In the name of God. Just in time to tell you about my bookie. Book. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to be like, wow, the, the first 20 minutes will be like, this, these, they're really on a roll. I'll be like, mm-hmm. hell yeah. Well, yeah. We're just going to coast into the <laughs> back half of this one, folks. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that first half. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got caught up. We got caught yeah. up. We got caught and up. We're not doing any extra time. Mm, just chilling, <laughs> chilling, listening to some cool music. <laughs> yeah, but so this this video is great because it's like it's like fifteen minutes of him berating. <laughs> I don't want any margaritas. I don't want any tacos. What I want is I want to be considered. Where are you from? How long you been here? 
Or you can just come shut my fucking street down and don't don't tell me you're having a party or nothing. This is my home, and I would love. Where you from? This street ain't your no home. Where you from? You're not from this street. I live in my great grandmother's house. You a fucking lie. Where you really from? Now you're running. You want to talk to me? Talk to me. Where you from? I'm trying to hang out with you. Where you I from? If you come hang out with me, Where you from? from? Tell me that. You don't want to hang out with me. You don't want to answer to my. Here, Where I'm were you raised? You weren't raised here. I was raised there. I know you weren't raised here. Be real with me if you really want to hang with me. Where are you from? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now we can begin a basis of communication. I don't know where it'll go, but I'll calm down now. But you didn't come like you wanted to be. See? I came. I walked. You came on a false premise. You're from here. I had to break you down from that. But you're really from Arkansas. I all the way over here. Why weren't we notified you were going to shut our street down? I pay more property tax than anybody here. I can't get through here. It's a one way, sweetie. Yeah, that's yeah. I know your fucking sentiment, bitch. So let's get straight to it, ho. Let's get straight to it, ho. I don't have no parties where I block the street, ho. What you talking about? Get the fuck out my face. Document that. Substantiate a party where I block the street, ho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Substantiate that, ho. Substantiate it, bitch. I know you on the other side. Substantiate that, ho. You are fucking Ooh. filthy, hoe. <laughs> Substantiate that, hoe. And then just we like, can help by fucking not um creating the gentrification. <laughs> this bitch come over there and told me we come to hang with you. I said, well, where you from? I'm from here. No, you're not. I lived there fucking my whole life. She from Arkansas. You came over here to patronize me, bitch. And I, I carry a gun everywhere I go. I haven't said nothing to you about the gun. I've been recording the whole time since I've seen you, bitch. So don't try nothing slick. And the call that I ignored, bitch, just now was the commander oh, of this God. district that I've been calling. I don't need the to be commander. nice. Oh, we at wall. We at wall, bitch. <laughs> You done showed me that how you came, ho. I ain't fucking stupid. I ain't fucking stupid. I ain't fucking stupid, ho. Man, look. 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 This is my fucking neighborhood. <laughs> what happened? Was there a resolution of any kind? Check that, ho. I mean, this is this is two fifty five into an eight minute long video. Jesus Christ! It keeps getting better and better. Good God! And there's a special little treat. The woman in the beginning, at one point, she pulls her ass out. Oh, a sign of disrespect! And you can pause it and masturbate to that part. <laughs> wow, it's got it all. <laughs> it's like you're enjoying it, and then there's a little something for your dick. Is she also. for your dick as well. <laughs> Which is a, a balanced piece of media. <laughs> if you ask right. me. Something for the mind, something this for, for the, the cock. cock. <laughs> the mind, the heart, and the cock. Yeah, the only thing that would be better if this lady fucked a dog. That like would be point. cool. Yeah. Brought to you by um, DreamWorks. By DreamWorks, yeah. Jeffrey Katzenberg presents. Check her! We want to know why the fuck they blocked the street and they ain't tell us! There's, even, there's this old bitch that comes by at one point. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she is. Yeah, that. Did you see? What? No. Oh. Yeah. She has kind of a nice ass. She does. That's what I'm saying. You can beat off to it. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Um, I'm trying to find the part where the old bitch comes up. Hey, Arkansas, bitch. <laughs> Move your shit, ho. And you're going to get sighted. You ain't fucking... My elderly neighbors are calling me talking about they can't get through. So fuck y'all. <laughs> Look at this hoe. Yeah, we know what you was from the jump, bitch. <laughs> We know what you was from the jump, you $5 oh, yeah. ho. <laughs> they really did have an official... Look, fuck like, you, bitch. Fuck you, your, bitch. Your privilege is extinct here, ho. Your privilege is extinct here, ho. Get the fuck, bitch. Get the fuck, ho. We ain't asking you shit, bitch. Or what authority did we got to ask you to move on our fucking street, you old oh, trifling fucking ho? <laughs> <laughs> he's on a fucking Tripling fucking, fucking ho. he's on a, a, a down, hit streak, dude. Yeah. yeah, he's on the mall. He's got mama. the multiplier your going. Plantation Miss Daisy Ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your plantation Daisy Ho. <laughs> Fuck you and your mama, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your mammy. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. <laughs>
He was going the fuck off. He's I gotta give him that mm-hmm. one. And I'm glad that he's just open carrying the entire Yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> I, I carry a gun everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I go. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have a gun? <laughs> fuck a second amendment, bitch. <laughs> yeah. That guy was awesome. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they really did have an official, like, block the street setup, too. They had the cones mm-hmm. and the fucking whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is rude. It's a one way street. Mm-hmm. Good for him. You know what's not a one way street is Adam's asshole. No, that's not true. It's true. You can shit out of There's it. You can come into it. Out of yeah, it. it's got it. it. Poo, it's see. only poo comes out of it. Wait, the the cheesy goldfish they they had a Fuck chocolate. Fuck you. Time? Sorry, <laughs> I never had it. <laughs> Sorry. So true. <laughs> Sorry. Shut the fuck up, Adam. All right, I'll, 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 all right, I'll chill out. Fuck you. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I know. Fuck you and fuck your you. motherfucking mammy. You don't run the seven water, or you better get get back to Kenna, oh, wherever please. you're from, bitch. Oh, please. You never heard of the block party, you asshole. I know they got the laws and rules, bitch. <laughs> laws and rules, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Laws and rules, ho. I'm sure you did. Laws and rules, ho. And it's funny. All the white people in New Orleans look like uh, like Guess Who characters. <laughs> yeah. If I block the street by your house to have all black block party, you to call the police oh, too, bitch. Please. Fuck you, ho. Fuck you. I know, bitch. <laughs> yeah. This guy. Yeah. Just, that what guy's awesome, you. dude. I'll show you Pocahontas, bitch. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I know. I am at home, bitch. That's my point. That's my point. I am at home. I am at fucking home. No, not till this hoe get a ticket. Get it. You got video. I got video too. Oh, thank. Great video. Great yeah. vid. That was a good mm-hmm. one. That that and the. I mean, I, the, it's gonna be that. That's an all timer. The where are you coming from? Uh, I was coming from the studio. I do a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the door shutting. Salute as mm-hmm. she's crying. As she's Salute. crying. That's a classic piece of being loaded a, into doing a, cop a perp car. walk. Yeah. 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 Powerful cultural moment. I lost my virginity to a Jewish girl at obviously at camp, mm-hmm. at summer camp, yes. and uh, I sat next to her at a wedding, uh, like two years ago with her, and on the other side of her was a, her husband. We were like put at the same table. Mm. I'd never met him before, but he was like Middle Eastern, like Persian Jew, Ooh. but he looked exactly like Tiger Woods. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't what? get over it. There's Persian Jews that it. look like Tiger Woods. And then she's like, "How's everything going?" I was like, "Oh, it's pre- yeah, pretty good, pretty good." Like me and my friends just started a pot. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. And then she, and I was like, I, I told some guy like, at the what's bank. It called? I know. And what's I'm it like, called? Oh, sucks. God. And then, and then uh, her husband's like, uh, I was like, Oh, what do you do? He's like, I, I'm a, I'm at Ernst and Young. Or something. <laughs> just rich as fuck. And I was like, I just something came over me. I was just like, Do people tell you you look like Tiger Woods? Like almost exactly like Tiger Woods? And he's like, uh, Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> of course they tell him, Adam. What the fuck? Just like, like, fuck you. <laughs> Whatever, dude. She got a titty reduction and a rhinoplasty. Boo. That's it, man. I like. Boo. Her. Yeah, I'm sure I've said this before. Yeah, I support a woman's right to choose. It's it should be against the law that you should be in jail <laughs> for getting a breast reduction. Slap it, every God ounce, in the face. Every it's ounce fucking, of titty meat you chop off, that's a fucking year in jail. You should be thrown in fucking jail, mm-hmm. dude. It's murder. Yes. I don't understand how you can't <laughs> yes, do that. Murder. <laughs> titty reductions are murders. It's murder. <laughs> Look, abortion. Go crazy. No, you go you're crazy. Killing a very important part of my soul. Yeah, the, the dude, part that gets horny when dude, I look I'm, at titties. I'm telling you, dude, <laughs> you're robbing me yeah. of a part of titty uh-huh. meat I can't get horny. To. I was hanging out with Jake the other day, and like I don't know, I just felt like shit or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then uh, like just some woman walked by with this just outrageous ass. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it at the same time. And it was like nice, you know. Yeah. And it, you know, it's like a sunset or whatever. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're what you're doing when you get a breast reduction is you're. Mm-hmm. Destroying the sun. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know? Yes. One of the seven beautiful. You're taking. You're nuking the skies. Mm-hmm. And taking mm-hmm. it away from all That's of right. us. That need <laughs> the radiance there's... of your painful, uh, 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 problematic breasts that are That's probably right. ruining your life. Yeah. <laughs> but also, they got braces. 
Yeah. They got back braces. They got That's all true, kinds dude. of stuff. We're going to get you like... Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Come exercises. to us. Yeah. Bef- okay, here's what we're saying. Get you one of those little rolling <laughs> medicine cabinets <laughs> you can just rest them on. If you're thinking about getting a brush production, please come to us first. We will cover the costs. For you to maintain your teeth. To get yeah. them made bigger. Yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. That's what, we'll, what we will do. Yeah, yeah. We will get you implants. Just imagine that doctor that's like, oh, breast reduction. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean, I fucked up. Yeah, no. It's, Surgery went Well, great. we're out of anesthetic, so I guess maybe you should leave. <laughs> Just let me get it. It just takes his phone out, starts taking pictures. Yeah, yeah. Before you make any decisions, uh huh. Did I bitch about the movie The Bone Collector on the yeah, podcast? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I actually. What's Doesn't funny? Doesn't collect bones, folks. What's no. funny is well, I not a single bone collected in that movie. <laughs> I actually have a bone that both of you guys can collect. What? Yeah. You could take turns collecting. A it, better way actually. to go with that would have been, you know, Angelina Jolie can really catch a bone. Yeah, in that's that movie. that's true. Because she's in that movie. And it was before uh, her unfortunate uh, decision, <laughs> shall we say. Yeah, her slapping that, God in the I face. I think you're kidding, but Kumi, remember when Kumi, that was his take? It was. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was on Legion of Skanks. Yeah. I mean, uh, to, he got to be mad, fair, she cut her tits off. Yeah. That's, that's the yeah. only form of abortion I think should be illegal. Kitty abortion. <laughs> <laughs> His breast reduction <laughs> surgery. We, uh, that's the that's the 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 the, the compromise. I mean, for all all uh, legal abortions across the board, any reason. Uh, can't chop. I completely outlaw no breast t- reduction surgery. <laughs> no titty meat gets scrapped anywhere. <laughs> I don't want to see any titties in any fucking medical dumpsters <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. If you get if you get an abortion, mandatory breast <laughs> implants. <laughs> <laughs> It's only fair. Yeah. Where where you where you that's you know what? Where you take Guys, life you give that's life. That's called working both sides of the aisle. Yep. <laughs> gotta hear both sides. You gotta fucking Dude, you're you wanna get lost Franken. Yeah. <laughs> Go from come down to the Senate. <laughs> I can't wait till we're all in the in Congress. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's probably gonna happen. Just I ask your so. dad if we can Get in yeah. there. I'm going to be the guy that introduces a bill that says it's okay to wear basketball shorts to, <laughs> to send it. <laughs> I ate a bunch of popcorn, got diarrhea, mm-hmm. had to shit a bunch of times and tried to play it off. Everyone knew I was shitting a lot. It was pretty embarrassing. So you missed most of the movie. I missed a good chunk of the movie, but Tara Reid was in it and she was looking good. Mm-hmm. She had those the jumbo titty- yum The titties weren't out yet. Yeah. I did want to smash Terry. Did she though. get a boob job? Of course. Yeah. Remember her titty popped out and she didn't know what was happening? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was all fucked. The nipple Iconic, was all fucked classic. up and stitched together. Yeah. Is but that it, what all boob jobs look like? I think she just got in a bad one. Well, or maybe it was healing. Reductions are the ones that look bad. I've seen reductions. <clears throat> I think I've seen one too. Evidence. I mean, we should pass legislation that makes women. A hundred percent. There's yeah. never. Listen, your body, your choice, mm-hmm. except for titty reductions. Yeah. I'm not. Look, so, I'm, listen, not, I'm not a political. Get as guy. many abortions as you want. I'm not. I'm not a political. Carve guy. that mm-hmm, pussy up like know? a rotisserie chicken. I don't give a fuck. There's nothing political. Keep about Keep the titties pure and like God. What about for a sex change? That's fine. Get as long as you get big tits. Yeah. No, I'm saying if you get a reduction because you're getting top surgery because you want to become a man. If you have hairy ch- uh, cherry titties, yes, you can chop them off. Yeah. But if they're still hairless and look good. Sorry. Sorry. So you're going to tell trans men that they trans can't men, you got to get hairy chests. Mm-hmm. I you, disagree. If you listen, if you have <laughs> a hairless chest, you what can't kind of, what lock kind of surgery? Your titties if you off. get any kind of like physical surgery, what will you do? Be taller, hair again, anything, but you only get one. Uh-huh. I would get my hands made larger. Yeah. I don't like the size <laughs> of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have women's hands. I would It's always bothered me. That's I would, it. I I mean I don't you really do anything. The and only that's the, one you pick. the only you like wanna, uh, insecurity. You upgrade your hands like like ten percent. Every other yeah, part yeah. of your body. Ten percent bigger like hands. A, <laughs> every other part of your body is like a bitch body part. Your stupid nose. I'm not really your insecure ugly about face. anything, including my chest concavity. But here's the thing: if you had if you had bigger hands, the rest of you would look as tiny as it actually is. I don't care, dude. You know when people go to <laughs> Disneyland? And they, you know when people go to Disneyland, they get Mickey hands. Yeah. Yeah, you I look want that, that big. Yeah, I would yeah. get I w- huge ass hands. Actually, wait. Now that you said that, that seems pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, would you dude. wear? Would you? I wear, would just get a job Hulk in a factory, Chris? and they would be like, "Ah, fuck! It's the guy that's good at everything." <laughs> yeah. and I know. I'd be like, oh, what are we doing? Putting cars together? <laughs> and just with my giant, mm-hmm. <laughs> just man paw. 
claws. Yeah, just fucking f- yeah, five giant and a half foot hands putting the cars together. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> just, <Yeah>. dry- <laughs> just ripping a fucking mm-hmm. pickup in half. Yeah, yeah. Just manhole cover sized hands <laughs> putting cars together. That'd yeah. be cool. And they're like, if this guy's ha- saving America. Mm-hmm. You could fuck five bitches with each finger. No, I would go antlers. Ooh, you would want giant antlers. fucking elk antlers. Okay. That's cool. That would be sick. And those are possible? really big. They grow and then they fall off every season. Your neck would have to be my much neck would be stronger. Sick, dude. Yeah. And it would carry all the way down my posterior chain. That is See, true. See, that's the thing is like if I just <laughs> had the antlers, you're talking yeah. about walking around with seventy pounds on your yeah. head all day long. <laughs> you would be ripped. You would be ripped. You would be in such good shape. <laughs> that is true. And I'd be like six seven. Yeah. So I oh, get every, true. I get everything out of it. That's so. true true you I would know. be tall technically i yeah. get the stats <laughs> i'm fucking in shape as hell and i have antlers that's true. well not when the antlers fall off then you go back to being five three yeah, yeah just true. for the fucking winter just for the but then you stay indoors shit, you hibernate i'm talking about beach body big uh-huh. ass antlers big ass antlers <laughs> huge popping snake. volleyballs yeah, <laughs> as you yeah, walk yeah. by <laughs> 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 i don't know i think that if you got the antler surgery i think people would think you're a bit of a show off no, no i, I love sh- it I they're like oh off. here comes nick he's uh, such yeah a, uh what a diva him I, and his big ass i literally am a show he would be it would be cool i'd love to have those mine i want everything the same but i can dunk I would want like an incredible vertical mm. leap. I would want to be able to do, look to at, jump like. I'm, I'm so you get the antlers. extra bone that, that back. Dude, that would be cool. me. Mm-hmm. This is what I would look that, like. Those are much bigger than I even. Those are huge antlers. antlers. <laughs> those yeah. are really wide. Yeah, That's I'm like not talking six feet wide. I'm not talking about a deer, dude. I'm talking about <laughs> elk antlers. Elk. <laughs> just a whole fucking rack. I can keep my guns on. That's it. true. Mm-hmm. Just rifles. Yep. All you my, could you could put shit up. All my outfits. You know, mm-hmm. you can use it as yeah, a closet. Yeah, as a closet. I have like three or four track suits <laughs> on hangers coming off my fucking antlers. I love it. That would rule. Yeah. yeah. Doorways Doorways got, would be really annoying no, for I'd you. No, just smash through that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Antlers. <laughs> I would fucking just get a good distance mm-hmm. from them uh-huh. and then charge at the fucking doorway <laughs> and just smash through it. With you my get good at fighting. Like. You'd like start like headbutting and people then, a lot. At restaurants, they'd get mad at me and... You know, I'd be like, what the fuck are you going to do about it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't fuck even, your you don't chandelier, even know bitch. what species I am. <laughs> yeah. I might fuck your wife and create some sort of abomination. Mm-hmm. Better look out. Some chimera. That'd be funny if there was a you superhero who was like, uh, <laughs> who's like <laughs> <laughs> threatening people. That's the thing you're most excited about with antlers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Watch out, bro. Mm-hmm. That'd be funny if you were a superhero. <clears throat> Just tipping them at police officers. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, do not do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going back to minding my own business. <laughs> you have your guns drawn on your antlers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Stand down. Stand down, sir. Yeah. There's just lasers, <laughs> like lasers pointing yeah. at all your, oh, yeah. all, every part of the antler. Yeah. My beautiful antlers. Just me and Adam having a, f- a huge fight in the middle of Times Square. Yeah, and with his giant hands. hands yeah. And my antlers <laughs> thrashing. I'm jumping everywhere, dude. I got a 10-foot vertical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hopping around. Just a little fat ball. So you would like get, flips and shit in the you sky. You would get the extra bone that black people have in their knees. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I would get whatever. And then you would get antlers. Mm-hmm. I would get, mm-hmm. It would be funny if you like... Put on a superhero costume at night. You were fighting crime as as like Elk Man. Oh yeah, yeah. And then during the day, you like worked as a reporter or whatever, but you still had the antlers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And You're and just no, wearing a little hat yeah, over yeah, them that's yeah, poking yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> antlers are completely poking. And they're like no one knows who this. <laughs> <is>. <laughs> I like that, dude. Yeah. Wow, we really figured it out here, boys. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. I can't wait to dunk, dude. I that used to get I used to get cases of <laughs> Sobe adrenaline <laughs> from Shoppers Food Warehouse. You just game? No, I would stay up on IRC all night. Hell yeah, dude! Internet relay chat, folks. What is that? It's like uh, it's like you, you know Slack. Yeah, Slack is like very similar to what IRC was. It's like early Slack. It, well, IRC is like the oldest chat platform. It came mm. out before before AIM. Before even the World Wide Web. What? So, yeah, I think IRC came out in, like, 1988. So what What part of your life are you using all this IRC shit? You're, like, 11 or some shit? Yeah, in between, I mean, even younger than that, probably, like, 9 <laughs> to... I mean, that's why I am the way I am. Yeah, well, no, I remember talking that. to the first huge. time. The first time I saw Goatsy, I was probably like nine or ten years old. Really? And I remember like turning the computer off, and I, like, felt sick or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I, like, wanted to tell my parents, and then... uh 
And then, like, two weeks later, you're just sending Goatsy to people. And <laughs> yeah. you're like, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Dude, imagine to show- how much different your life is if your dad comes in and counsels you in that moment. And it's like, it's all right, son. No. You have to stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a fucking... You're like a fucking uh, loan officer at a it, bank. It happened to my friend Brendan. He had Goatsy on his computer because he was... Uh, so, in uh, the old uh, Internet Explorer... Like Internet Explorer 5 or whatever, mm-hmm. like, you know, 10, 15 years ago. If you highlighted an image, the way it highlighted an image was every other pixel on the image, <laughs> it would uh, shift, it would like t- put a blue tint right, right, right. on the image. Yes, yes. So you could take an image and bring it into Photoshop and then figure out uh, how, like, what makes, you know, whatever shift every other pixel is blue. Right. You can counteract that a certain way or adjust the, the quality of the image that it, like, transforms when every other pixel has it. So he would he created this image where if you, like, highlighted, it looked like it's just a blur, but if you highlighted it, it became goats. <laughs> oh, that's genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wow, pretty cool. Wow. That's very good. Yeah, so he had goats on his computer, and he was, like, working on that or whatever. Yeah. And his dad, <laughs> his dad went on his computer and found Goatsy, and then they like had asked him at dinner. They like sit him down. <laughs> he, he's like looked all sick, and he was like, "Are you gay?" You know? <laughs> I told the story before that happened to me too. My mom found meat spin on my computer. Did I tell you tell you that? No. Yeah, my mom was like crying. She's like, "Do you like jacking off to boys?" I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" She's yeah, like, "I went on your computer and I." I saw something. I'm like, what the fuck did you see on my computer? Yeah. And then she was like, it was like a dick going into an ass. And then the other dick was spinning around. I was like, oh, meat spin. I was like, no, you just send that to people. It's like a, you know, it's like a greeting card. A fun, Yeah, it's like a fun little trick to play on your friends. Yeah, I've cur- I'm, I got uh, unbanned from Facebook. Oh, For yeah. how long? Six hours? I know. I had a 30-day ban. And then doing the ban what, was remember? lifted. You, you I posted, there was like an article that was like, you know, saying Bernie would have won his victim blaming or whatever. Right, right. And then the article, it was like, white men, you need to shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> it's time for white men to shut the fuck up <laughs> and then fuck you. And if a fucking white man ever fucking, because seriously, it's just, I need literally shaking right now to cry because you don't understand what it's like to so shut the fuck up. You know, like one of those articles. Right, right. And I, I was like, yeah, I guess uh, the great argument for why women should be able to vote is like... Right, well, I remember that. I yeah, said yeah. something like that, or, you know, or kill all white women or something. <laughs> oh, yes, or so, kill yeah. all white women. Yeah, but kill all white women, it's obviously, it's like satirical. I mean, right, you can yeah, write yeah, kill yeah. all men on there all day long. And I'm not even, like, coming from a place complaining about, like, a double standard or whatever, but it's like, I'm not even saying... Kill You're all not, white women yeah. s- satirically. I'm making fun of the like, right? Kill, kill, right, right. You know, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. whatever. But you know, fine. If they want to ban me, they ban me. But then I got back on and I was posting that video. Of this TV so nice that you can see Christopher Lambert's balls in Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen Fortress probably thirty times prior to this. Really? Yeah. I, never never once noticed. Christopher Lambert's fully exposed balls. So you think he's fucking or he's just dick out? I think he insists. I think that weird Belgian piece of shit like insisted on being able to actually fuck, you know, That's in the bizarre. movie. Yeah. He, so you think that was him fucking? I think that was. I think that was Christopher Lambert wow. fucking. I mean, why? You, you know, what are they going to like? He's like, just make sure everyone can see my balls, but then we're going to figure out a way where my dick is like taped to my leg or something. She might be sitting on top of his dick. Like, on, why would they do that? Just because you, you haven't seen that in porn sometimes, like fake porns. I don't know, man. Like, you watch all this porn? weird fucking porn for middle schoolers. <laughs> you don't watch adult porn. Sometimes I like to check out a vid where you know we've got a new fresh face in the industry, and she doesn't want to do hardcore, so she'll do who fake. I don't know, man. I'm on X videos. I'm scrolling. You can get soft core porn online. I thought you could only get that on TV. No, you can get soft core. Check really? this out, dude. I yeah. added Cinemax to Amazon Prime, so I can. There's soft core on there. You want to put really? it on? No, while we're done. Could you sell it, send a telegram if you wanted to these days? Please yeah, give of me course. heads. Stop. Western Union Western still Union? does it. No. Yeah. I thought they just send money. Now. No, they send telegrams. <laughs> <laughs> To who? How do you even get it? My dear, you have to go Margaret, to a different Western Union. Stop. 
How hard my dick has become for your <laughs> pussy. Stop. <laughs> I know you're turning 14 this year. Stop. But I still can't wait to fuck your sweet wife <laughs> pussy that I'm married to. Stop. That's, yep. The general thinks it's only going to be seven weeks that we're going to be in France. I'll try not to fuck too many whores while I'm here. Stop. I know you don't want, know what whores are, considering you're eight. Stop. I thought you said 14. She's going on 14. Yeah, yeah. Stop. No, don't put that in the letter. I was talking to the other guy. Stop. No, not said. Stop that. Stop writing. Stop it. All right, now I've got an issue with the telegram guy. <laughs> Uh, damn! Fuck telegrams, dude. Why? It's like email. I hate it. I hate them. They take too long. <laughs> how about uh? How about uh? Fe- telegrams. You know telegrams. What I'm you can send us. other players messages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, yeah. player? Oh yeah. Yeah, just a shitty like TR808 beat for the infomercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've heard of text messaging, <laughs> but that costs too much money. <laughs> telegrams. <laughs> we'll set you up with an account. <laughs> it is impossible to be garnished. <laughs> By a family court system. <laughs> there is no way they can touch that money. <laughs> fella grams. Uh, the fellas, dude. Fellas only. Fellas only. Gentle fellas nightclub. <laughs> An intelligent gentleman. Are you a rapist but timid? Yeah. Come to gentle fellas. <laughs> Do you, ain't, you ain't got the nerve <laughs> to commit sexual assault. Yeah, that's what gentle fellas is about. More. Doesn't auxiliary mean like... I don't know, like an accessory or yeah, isn't yeah. it a general term? That's right. Then yeah, why well, is it? Sometimes why does, words have different <laughs> meanings. <laughs> but why does that get to be the uses. chord? Like, should it be a, a sound chord or something like that? Does uh, auxiliary mean sound? I think you could no. say sound chord. People would get it. Doesn't it. sound right though. So auxiliary doesn't mean sound though. Thirty <laughs> thirty five millimeter. That's good. Say, call it that. Yeah. Auxiliary could mean a lot of different stuff, right? One one eighth inch or a thirty. One eighth, yeah. Yeah, one eighth inch or thirty five millimeter. Nice, both bigger than Adam's dick. Yeah, they should call it the bigger than Adam's dick cord. Yeah, you don't know about that. Yeah, I bet you don't know about it. Everyone else knows about that. (laughs) We all text each other. (laughs) The whole world is a group chat. Everyone's everyone's got the inside. Sometimes I feel like that. (laughs) Like the entire world's in some sort of group chat talking about me. Just called narcissism. Just about your dick, your how big, how your how dick small is my dick is. That's all they talk about. An ox cord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are some other definitions of auxiliary? Um, like, could, does the military use it? How about luxury? Okay. You know, I'm not trying you're to wearing lugs. But I'm not worried about auxiliary. I'm worried about luxury. Like, is luxury? that a man? T- I want leather luxury? wires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All my velvet wires. wires. All my wires velvet. <laughs> What's the last thing you really d- took a deep dive on? Um, uh, well, let me you pull know, up. I your, haven't. Hold recently. on, I'm looking at your no, no, search history. No, you're not. It looks like men kissing. Yeah, and it's, massaging each other. Why asses? is it so gross to me? <laughs> you're right. That was the last thing I researched. Why is why it is so, it so gross? Why to is me? it impossible for me to become aroused? Psych at the end though. No, it said not, psych. <laughs> why is it Wait, hold on. hold on. Hold on. There's some check. dust at the end of the search. Uh-huh. <laughs> It says not after the site. <laughs> Wait, let me just hold on. Let me zoom in. It looks like in very small print, it said double psych. <laughs> no, but even after the double psych, hold on here. Wait. I've got my electron microscope. <laughs> and it's, hold on, there's dust even in the... It says as if. <laughs> After really? the double psych, yeah. Really? So, yep. Because hold on, I'm doing was, assisted uh, text-to-speech... Uh, and it's reading even the absolute smallest thing, smaller than that. And yeah. It says, nice one with that. I'm doing assisted text-to-speech. <laughs> I am. To top electron microscope. <laughs> <laughs> That's what comes out. Well, after, because... <laughs> yes. Very good job. No, That's because it's text out. that we're reading. <laughs> yeah. So it makes sense. It's, you picked a visual thing. I am actually more pragmatic and saying, well, we're just trying to read little text. <laughs> I'm going to go assisted text-to-speech. And hold on, let me read it. I'm a d- triple psych. I'm gay. Signed, Nick Mullen. 
Wait, text. Well, speech. I actually have here. <laughs> oh, Texas <speech> is <coughs> No, where hold it on. I've yeah. got I've got a chart here that <laughs> because no, it's what this is is it, it detects particle spin and each each type <laughs> corresponds to a different letter in the alphabet. Yeah. What? And then I've used For real? I've okay. used my particle accelerator. Well, you have one of those? Yeah, and we've put the sentence, we put the search history <laughs> through the particle accelerator at CERN. And what it looks like is two bosons <laughs> <laughs> have a sequence spin that, that spells out uh, "just kidding" <laughs> <laughs> at the end. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I just fucking looked at some other shit. And said, <laughs> 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 no, what <laughs> other shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, other yeah, but no shit. you don't. You, know, you can't play this game if you're not going to put any thought in it. Yeah, yeah. Tell you us can't just I say did. some other shit. I looked at it and it's. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the truthometer, <laughs> and it says whoever has a boson, whatever the fuck you just said, is actually even gayer than the search mm. thing. Oh, so searching. scientists are gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very cool of you, dude. Everyone knows that. The people saving us from space. <laughs> the people from space just collapsing. Our down last on defense them. against space coming <laughs> coming down here and fucking Is killing that what all. Science? Of us. <laughs> They're holding it up. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Like you ever Atlas? look at space yeah. at night? It's all black people. Oh, yep. Yep. that makes sense. They're all yeah, just they're, looking down on us. They're all just waiting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Until the beautiful white sun comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. comes out in the morning and <laughs> saves the, the, the moon <laughs> saves the moon from them yeah. <laughs> dude I hope I survive the climate change ice age and I get to start a new group of people and yep. I'm like alright uh -huh. here's our origin story <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we were Every let down night. by the black a, people in the sky. We had, we had, <laughs> <laughs> they let too much sun through, yeah, yeah, right. and everything yeah, melted. Right. So black people were supposed to control the sun. <laughs> and they fucked up. They fucked up, and it got too hot. <laughs> it got too hot because <laughs> they were lazy. Because yeah. <laughs> the sky black people were lazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's good, man. Yeah. yeah, you were saying earlier you'd be happy if global warming happens and fucks us up. Well, global warming is already happening. No, I'm just saying. You no, know, like, it said it. You said it gave some you a kind sense of, of peace. Yeah, some kind of a sense of peace, knowing that there'd be some sort of catastrophic global event that wipes out like 93 mm -hmm. percent of the population. Mm -hmm. That would be. It's not, and the what privilege. About aliens. Well, hold on. The privilege of being able to like experience something like that and die with so many people and be part of like uh -huh. a huge, you know, I, I guess community. Yeah, anthropological moment for for people right. in general is like that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to do that. It's like everyone's yeah. like, I remember where I was when when fucking Kennedy died. And right. It's like I remember where I was when everyone when died. six billion people <laughs> were evaporated. <laughs> Damn, dude, that would be fucking horrible. Yeah. I'd if probably the survive. black death was going on and everyone's just like, this isn't normal. Like, oh, ugh. 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 a plague would fucking suck. Speaking dick. of, in, oh, oh, here we go, stop. In LA. Authorities also found a shotgun in the shooter's 2007 Toyota Corolla. Uh oh. Oh, so no. So maybe you have some things you want to answer for. Dude, no. First of all, it's a 2011 thing. I know it's a 2011. Yeah. I'm familiar with your vehicle that I've <laughs> driven more times than you have. That's not true. I've driven You've your driven it a couple times. Better than you. <laughs> no. Your car You were driving me. it during a mental breakdown, and thinks, I'm pretty sure you fucked something up. Your car up. thinks about me when you drive it. <laughs> yeah, we didn't fill up the tank also after that. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. That was I really also, nice. Yeah, I broke the air conditioner buttons yep by by pressing them too hard mm -hmm. uh, that that drive back from dc was ridiculous yeah, yeah just blasting metal yeah nick blasting metal screaming about god <laughs> <laughs> it is so fucking good i wish guys. i was dead <laughs> i wish i was dead i'd be like let's just get to astoria <laughs> and do the pod <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Let's just get to a story. What a time. Yeah, and then you're we We've get to yours. Through. You're wearing a swimsuit because you've run out of underwear. <laughs> Oh yeah, damn! You, 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 that was jars, gave, of, jars of piss Nick everywhere. Nick took five out of it. <laughs> that was a dark time, bro. Mm -hmm. We really have been through some. Things. And I remember, <laughs> dude, like, you've been through. You know what's great is like, cause like everyone's like, "Yo, oh, your twenties suck," but then you get into your thirties and it's fine. And it's like that's literally what happened. Yeah, it's like uh -huh. I, I, that summer sucked, but now that I'm old, mm -hmm. I don't care about anything. Yep. It's great. Like, I uh -huh. getting creepy voicemails. I had another person being like, hey. Oh, I have a theory on that creepy voicemail. Uh, I don't care. 
There's like this other person <laughs> hit me up and they were like, "Hey, I, like this is gonna sound weird, but I got this like like I like." I feel like you're in danger or something. Uh-huh. They're like, I got this really like weird overwhelm. This person I don't even know. And uh, it's like, yeah, maybe I'll just be killed. Who cares? Yeah. Who gives yeah, a shit? You might be mm-hmm. killed, but I think that I think I know who did that voicemail. Why? I think that's Longmont. No, it's John McAfee. No, it's oh. Longmont. It's John McAfee. Are you sure? Yeah, listen to it. We got to get him on the Because I know Longmont is like doing a show now for... Uh, Long Mom swim. Potion Castle? Yeah. Oh, those guys. And I rocks. think that, that they were like asking for people's numbers or something, and someone might have passed your number along. That's illegal, dude. First Amendment. Triple double check. Why? What would be the point of that? Because they want to like they want to like uh, prank like people that have following. Yeah, like uh, my friend. Oh, it's viral marketing. My friend said that. Uh, He's so like, you're saying I have to kill the guy from Longmont yep. Post? You don't have to kill nah, him, dude, but nah, someone that's probably gave your number to him. Adam, that's, like, a Adam. Dumb, that's a dumb theory. Adam, my that's theory my is theory. that it's John McAfee. Yep. I think good. it's Longmont Potion Castle. I mean, it sounds like John McAfee. It sounds like Longmont Potion, Potion Castle. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Damn, I can't Corn. wait to have a son and I can make him do dumb shit like this. <laughs> He's like, can I please just go to the, the movies with my friends? It's like, no. well, can you learn how to drive? Because I'm drunk. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to work the pedals? The first time I ever drove on the road, I had my learner's permit, and I had never even been close to it, and my dad was just blackout drunk. (laughs) And he was like, Tom, we were fucking Jimmy's Seafood. I was not prepared at all. He was like... Well, you've been asking to get on the road. <laughs> Dude, my, uh, and there's like this sharp ass curve that I fucked up and like went into opposing traffic. It was pretty chill. We were in Baja, California, and I did. I was like 13. My dad's like, time to drive. And nice. he was drunk. And uh, I drove for about half a block into some bushes. And he was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and then I wasn't allowed to drive for another 25 years. We were 13, dude. Yeah, I know. I didn't understand that you didn't have to press the gas for the car to go forward. Because mm-hmm. you think that's it's like a not video intuitive. Game. Yeah, you think it's a video game. You yeah. have to press go to for it to go yeah. forward. Yeah. So then it like started rolling forward, and I got really scared. So then I pressed the gas hard. Oh, you pressed the gas. Hard. I was like, I I got I got nervous. It is more intuitive yeah. than you'd think, though. <laughs> Nick has just Nick. dropped his microphone. I saw it. Yeah, I drop things sometimes. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I never <laughs> promised anyone that I was perfect. <laughs> I'm not fucking mm-hmm. perfect, man. Oh, baby, I have a little penis. Please don't tell anyone about this. Crazy. How about the big pizza slice? That's fun, huh? Bi- you mean in an DC? Inf- no, an inflate for like a pool. Oh, I thought you meant jumbo yeah. slice. I thought we were talking about uh, local things again. Yeah, I, I remember those trying to sober up before driving <laughs> yeah. with jumbo slices. Yeah. That would be my move. Yeah. I would drink just like getting yeah, indigestion. The grease, dude, the just drinking <laughs> all night long and then having like well, if I have a jumbo slice. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm sober. I'm good to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to a man that, that I've never seen good. drunk drive is without pulled over immediately and then my friend just said to the cop, uh, we were trying to find PF Chang's. <laughs> <laughs> and the cop was like uh, It's like a couple blocks away <laughs> Have a good day boys Yeah that's it Yeah Yeah I remember uh, Let the, us off completely The the comedy club in Austin yeah. They would put comics up At this fucking hotel That was like Four blocks mm-hmm. Literally four blocks But it was uh, You have to drive Oh yes 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 Because in like the uh, It's like in a mall Like strip well, the mall The club's there of. And the club is right next to 183 Yes. And underneath 183, there's like a service, like an access road that runs underneath 183, and then there's on ramps onto the highway. So there's like these big, like medians and. There's like it, jug handle turn left things. Too. Yeah, kind of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it was like, I, and I don't, I don't know if you'd like one. So there's a comic. A comic. A comic. Uh, funny guy, but like he was driving from Cap City to the hotel, which is like you could walk there in like 10 minutes. He's like, I'm just fucking drive my car over to the parking lot so it doesn't get towed overnight in front right. of the comedy club. And he like missed the turn <sighs> and like made a U turn. And while making a U turn in the thing, they pull him over and he got a fucking DUI. Oh, my, I would driving would kill yeah, myself. Driving like it can't even be like a three like minute half, drive. half mile. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's what he gets for not exercising. And it's just like, if, if women are allowed to get abortions, I think men should be allowed to drive drunk. Yeah, I Women think shouldn't be allowed to drive drunk. Out. But no, I mean, there's got to be something that we're allowed to get away with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Because, yeah, it's not fair <laughs> that they can get abortion. It isn't fair. Whenever well, I hear of a woman talk about abortion. fucking equality or whatever, if women are allowed mm-hmm. to get away with abortion... <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear of like a girl, she's like, oh, yeah, when I was in college, I got an abortion. I'd be like, lucky. <laughs> like, that sounds so fun. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's it feels good to them. Something's going into their pussy. <laughs> they probably get. Yeah. They come. They love bit. the way that shit feels. <laughs> Women love having needles and vacuums shoved up in their yeah. pussy. <laughs> that's a good ass point. And man. they just they just get away with it. <laughs> No, yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> we should be able to, we should be able to steal <laughs> games from Target. Now we're talking. Yeah. Yes. We should be able to shoplift any game we want mm-hmm. from Target as many times as we <laughs> can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, how does it work? Are we going to count up all the abortions? I'm going to be the male AOC. I'm going to be the men's rights AOC. That's mm-hmm. good, man. That takes Congress by storm. I would love I'm a right. brain speech. dead millennial. That just s- says things and people clap at Dude, it. Dude, I would love a stump speech where it's like, and we are going to steal as many games from Target <laughs> as women get abortions. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no one there. Yeah, no one's there. <laughs> You're just yelling in a park. Mm. I would love let's let's bring it up. Let's I would it. love to get elected to Congress and then just tweet like, "Man, Jews fucking suck." <laughs> <laughs> be like, the I'm second really you sorry win. about the thing I said. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean to offend anybody. I, I just was making a general observation <laughs> about Jews. <laughs> You're like, listen, I love Israel still. Yeah, but Jews. Oh, I think Israel is tight, but only because it's a bunch of white people <laughs> uh-huh. killing, brown. killing brown people. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all for white supremacy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's just unfortunate that it has to be Jews doing it. I mean, that is kind yeah. of the state. I mean, that's the Richard Spencer. Richard yeah. Spencer, yeah. like one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's funny. And to also, even it'd be funny to arrive at that conclusion. Well, evangelicals. Are, no, they think God's gonna come back on a horse mm-hmm. and shit in Israel. Yeah, because God's got to yeah, God's got to fucking destroy Israel and kill all the yeah, kill all mm-hmm. the rapture mm-hmm. after they do a holy war. Yeah, which sounds cool. Mm-hmm. That would be fucking awesome. Dude, Honestly, I would love to. Do- when I was like getting kind of manic over the summer, I was thinking constantly about being killed in a holy war. <laughs> <laughs> I was obsessed with the idea. <laughs> I would do it only if I saw God come down with like some thunderbolts and shit. Yeah, and he's got like fucking. Lightning in his eye. I guess I'm thinking of Thor. Actually, now that yeah. I think about Imagine it. Imagine how tight, it, <laughs> how tight it would be. You ride a horse, you know, yeah. a thousand miles, yeah. mm-hmm. and then you fucking you just like you see a bunch of Muslims on another hill, mm-hmm. just living their. Some lives. guy just starts chanting shit in Latin, and then you know you just ride down. Uh-huh. What I feel bad for the Crusaders is that metal didn't exist to listen. Yeah, to yeah. dude. At the time, it would have been yeah. really cool. <laughs> That would shit would rock. Yeah. While you're slicing people just with fucking swords. Just heads coming off. And then you take your sword breaks, you take one of their curved swords yeah, and yeah. use that shit. Just stabbing people to fucking death. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they feel like, like a pressure in your chest and you can't inhale and you're <laughs> what the fuck? And your eyes go red and you're just throwing up blood. <laughs> you don't even know who stabbed you or what happened. <laughs> You just collapsed. That's the end of your life. There's no heaven. You know a guy. Yeah, you know a guy rode all that way and immediately got yeah. killed oh, yeah. the second he stepped off Most his horse. Yeah. yeah. And why don't you tell us about that time you were mm-hmm. jacking off on cam, and then it was like a guy that came on the camera. Did that happen? Uh, to you? You yeah, did, that did happen. Yeah, on Chatterbait. Yeah, <laughs> and then they tried to blackmail. No, not Chatterbait. Chat roulette. Yeah, and they tried to blackmail you. Yeah, and then I just this was up. recent too, right? No, it was like a uh, no, years this ago. was like when I moved to New York. It was before we started the show. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, no, I was on Chat Roulette and uh, some some guy in Morocco. It Chat was Roulette like brought to you by Bluetooth. Blue <laughs> uh, Chat Roulette come official come sponsor of Bluetooth. Bluetooth. <laughs> com. Yeah, and some chick was some chick was on it, but it said location Morocco, so that should have been a tip off because yeah. she, she was a white girl. But I was like, maybe it's like a yeah, she's dark on holiday. Yeah, 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 how about less Rocco? Yeah. And, and then she was like, the "Do you want to on this socialist podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to saying uh, all the things, saying all the things journalists on Twitter <laughs> say. <laughs> she wanted to Skype me, mm. and I assumed that meant that she was going to show me her breasts. 
Why didn't she show them to you on fucking chat room? So, well, you know, because the Chinese are monitoring it. It's Chinese spyware, as gotcha. everyone knows. So I Skyped her, and then she was like, kind of sh- like showing me cleavage. And then she's like, all right, can I tell you what I want? And I was like, okay. And she said, I want to see your penis. And then she said, I'd like you to turn around and show me your asshole. And I was like, why would a girl, <laughs> <laughs> why would a girl want that? And then, uh, and then the screen went black. And then there was like on the dialogue, like the chat. It's like, all right. And then they showed me the video of me. <laughs> 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 they showed you the video of you beating off? And they showed me the video of me Did you like what exposing you saw? my penis and then showing my asshole. Oh, and you then, did show your asshole? Yeah, I was like, if this chick wants it, it's going <laughs> I was like, it's to see her tits. I was pretty lonely at the time. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> did you spread it? Yeah, she was like, just show me your asshole. And I was like, so okay. you, not only did you turn it's around, you that spread your hole. I spread my cheeks and exposed my hole, I suppose. <laughs> And then uh, I guess the video is out there somewhere. There's a Moroccan guy, oh, and he's like, "Listen, fuck. man, he's like, my boss needs money. He's like, I can't. He's like, we spent too much time on you. I can't like step away without." getting any money for this and i was like dude i literally don't have <laughs> yeah, yeah, any yeah. i was like i'm i just don't have any money yeah like i'm not even lying i'm, j- I'm just and then he's like we out. found your facebook that was like what he's and he's like and then it's he like told me my parents names or something because yeah. he saw it on my facebook and then i just blocked him and i was yeah. like all right i guess my mom's we'll gonna see, see my <laughs> asshole <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, just nothing happened there. So. Nice. Yeah. You beat it, baby. I guess so. But that guy still has that video. Maybe he's a fan of the show. Hopefully. <laughs> no, nah, he was a fan of the show. He would have posted it by now. I think he would have posted it by now. Um, but, yeah. I guess that's a fairly common thing that happens. What the yeah. fuck is the point of the let me see your asshole part? To make, it even, to make the video gayer. Yeah, no, it looks to, gay. To make, yeah. you, to make you seem like I guess because in his country, that's like the death. You yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. You get stoned to death, yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, I was like, I was like 23. It's know, that bleacher pills are shipped to you in discreet packaging. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever came up with whoopee cushions must be Dude, a fucking... A, a good guy, like a a, f- a fucked up prankster, dude. Yeah, well, it's funny because it's like, you know, this show makes too much money. Yes. And it's like, wow, this is weird. And it kind of puts you in like a weird, like, you know, it makes you feel weird. Mm-hmm. But then I think about stuff like that. And it's like, that guy probably has so much money. It's like, it's not even... He didn't do anything. Yeah, there he was did. already. He had one dumbass idea for yeah. a second. I know, but it's like balloons already existed. That's true. He's like, what if there was just? But it, all it did was you. You put it on his, and because they don't work either. Yeah, they stop working about four. They four never soon. work. You have to sit directly on it. If you put it under a cushion, it won't work. I remember trying to prank people with a whoopee cushion when I was a kid. You do you put it under the chair and you, or you wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they just sit on the chair and nothing happens. <laughs> And you're like, well, this is fucking this fucking sucks. This is stupid. And then you make them just sit on it. It would, not, it would just never work. I tried hiding that fucking thing everywhere under the carpet. Mm. You know, be like, hey, mom, come in here. She'd be like, no. Be like, can you <laughs> please, please? I like, never ask anything. Yeah. Please, can you please come in here? I'm like, can you stand on that lump? <laughs> <laughs> please, you're gonna you're, you're gonna be such a fucking dumb bitch. Yeah. You're going to accidentally fart. Does nothing. Be like, you farted, you you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Fuck you, you, you dumb fucking bitch. farted, you dumb <laughs> bitch. Nice job farting, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what did you fucking fart, you <laughs> idiot? You're so you stupid. You fucking stupid You're piece fucking, of shit. You're stupid. Go back to supporting I'm my glad, life. I'm glad you got a divorce. <laughs> I'm glad you're go being, go back to drinking in the kitchen, I'm bitch. Glad by alone, having, I'm glad you're ha- you're experiencing a divorce right now. <laughs> fucking farting, <laughs> fucking farting ass, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you wanted it to work, but it, it just didn't work like that. <laughs> that's how you wanted it to go of down. Course. All you wanted was for that to happen, for you to say those things <laughs> uninterrupted. <laughs> For about seven minutes, just tee off on your recently <laughs> divorced mother. Just to fuck her ass up you, for farting. And she's like, I guess I probably did fart. Gaslighter. 
Ga- <laughs> Gaslight your mom with the whoopee cushion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make her rethink some things. <laughs> that is the problem with whoopee cushions, man. Uh-huh. That whole thing we just said. Yeah, she's like, I don't think I farted. You're like, well, maybe it came from your pussy. <laughs> your divorced <laughs> pussy. <laughs> How do you even... <laughs> You're, you're six years old. How do you know these things? How do you even Shut know? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up or I'm going to tell the fucking the arbitrator that you beat me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Admit uh, you farted I'm, out of your pussy I'm gonna, or I'm going to tell them I'm gonna, you hit me. I'm going to sign an affidavit. <laughs> I'm going to find an, a file an America's brief a friend of the court that says that you beat me. I've got it in my prankster kit. <laughs> I got right next, it came right next to the whoopee cushion. <laughs> it came with the whoopee cushion. This affidavit is it, already signed and notarized and child, that your parents beat you. And it, <laughs> child abuse. <laughs> affidavit. Make your parents divorce worse with the, the with the sneaky devil prankster kit. It's a whoopee cushion and a signed affidavit declaring that in, whether you put your mom or your dad's name in here, so that it says they beat me. <laughs> <laughs> buy the special molestation add-on buy, just that like, comes with a, bu- a hand just buzzer. Just like Harriet the Spy. <laughs> and use these doctored photos of your dad getting a blowjob from the babysitter. Just cut and paste your dad's face. Just get a picture of your dad with the included Polaroid camera and paste his... Use the double-sided tape to paste his dad's face. And then use these pre- <laughs> pre-stamped envelopes to mail them to your mom. <laughs> what does <laughs> with a note that says "Just felt like you should know." Just wanted to trick, do pranks <laughs> to your parents. Kids only. <laughs> kids only. Only kids allowed. Parents, if you're in the room, walk out right parents now. Parents are not allowed to watch this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a good product. A little pranks to that de- little devil prankster kit. Uh huh. <clears throat> it's a suction cup to put hickeys on your mom's neck <laughs> while she's asleep <laughs> before your dad gets home. <laughs> and this is just a little cocaine to put in her coffee so she, she puts, fails her drug test. So puts she gets fired <laughs> from her secretary job. And then she won't be able to support you. You'll get to live in an orphanage you with get a bunch of cool kids. Just boys only. <laughs> playing Genesis all day long. Doesn't Se- that sound great? Doesn't that sound cool? There's Sega Saturn at the <laughs> orphanage. It's just, it's just a, a product of, um, of the guy who owns the orphanage to molest <laughs> children created. They just have it overrun with young, mischievous boys. <laughs> <laughs> you can... The coolest, Made by Haim Saban. The coolest prank. Now introducing the fake, uh, uh, the fake mammogram results <laughs> <laughs> collection. <laughs> you can sneak into your mom's at the doctor. Sneak into your mom. Make her think she has breast cancer, <laughs> and then a note from your dad that says that's why he left. <laughs> it's because he doesn't want. He already knew. The idea of your mom's breast being sick disgusts him. It's <laughs> All of that and more in the deluxe little pranksters the, 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 kid. The, 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 <laughs> prank helping kids be the baddest boys, the kids only. <laughs> the parents no, not allowed. No one watch. Parents don't watch. <laughs> it's a vault. There's a vault with a combination <laughs> lock on the outside. <laughs> the only kids know the. It combination. says kids rule. Riddlings. You have to be on Riddlings to use this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell your mom you're gonna keep setting fires in this school <laughs> trash can until you get. If you don't get this little don't kit, get this kit and a sweet prescription to Ritalin <laughs> that you need Ritalin every day. <laughs> every day you need Ritalin medicine and the prankster kit. <laughs> oh fuck! Did you ever? They ever put you on that shit, my man? No. Nah. Really? Well, yeah, my mom was like an anti-vaxxer, dude. Nice. I wasn't on shit. But they wanted to, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, he is severely retarded. They wanted to zonk your my ass mom's, out. My mom's like, I have breast cancer and my pussy won't stop farting. 
I don't need this right I don't, now. I can't listen to this. I, every week I get a new picture of my ex-husband uh, getting a blowjob. Blowjob. Child Protective Services <laughs> keeps observing me for mailing, some reason. Yeah, mailing them to me. And there's just signed <laughs> affidavit. <laughs> just signed affidavit. <laughs> Just don't put him on any drugs, no, okay? No more riddling. <laughs> Is Nancy uh, Grace st- still doing her thing? Here, suck it from under the table. Um. Oh yeah, that feels good. What are you no, talking about? I'm yeah, not sucking, sucking, sucking his Adam, tell the audience what he's doing. I'm not, he's sucking Nick I'm from the back. Like, oh, how am I yeah. doing? Actually, sucking what, him from. The I was back. gonna say Ain't how. Nothing get it that, that. I was gonna say how, but even if I was, my I could easily talk because yep. Nick's dick is so Honestly, small. Them, but fat, I'm not doing it. Them fat girls really know how I'm to not suck. Not a girl, them, and he's fat. I'm a guy, and I'm talking. So you know what? Yeah, I'm sucking your dick, but my I'm talking so effortlessly because your dick is so small. I wouldn't. I don't honestly, even realize I'm sucking. I wouldn't put. It's just, it's just, it's like, it's like music I'm not to that your good. Ears. I'm not that good that I can do both. That's not what's It's happening. not that you're so good. It's that my dick is the perfect shape. It's not, not at all. It's so small. It's getting caught Wrong. in between my teeth. It's not even, it's, it's mm-hmm. beyond. It's like a fucking it's popcorn transcendent. skin. It's, it's one of those so popcorn big skin it, kernels. It exists in the fifth dimension. No. Mm. Where it's in your mouth and it's blowing your mind. No, it's it, not. You're communicating. <laughs> not, how is that the fifth you're dimension? You're communicating telepathically. What is the right. fifth dimension? It's like well, when you think you're thinking you're speaking right now, but you're really just communicating with the no. universe in a way that <laughs> everyone knows your thoughts because your mind has transcended the human plane because you're enjoying sucking my dick so that's much. Not, uh-huh. That's not what a dimension is. It's like when is. avatar people that's connect their That's not what a dimension is at all. Uh, who knows more about you dimensions? Can't. I don't, none a guy, of us. No, it's guy, a tie. A it's guy, a tie at zero. A guy whose entire body is a single plane. That's not. That wraps around itself. That's not what I have in three D. Because you have you. so much, it's so I'm much not, gravity at the center. I'm not two D. Yes, or one D or whatever the fuck. And you know what? We both know zero about dimensions. One inch. No. One D. Di- one, one D di- inch. Yeah. No. <laughs> one inch of D. No. I have w- much yes. more than one inch of D. Thank Wrong. you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in 3.5 I'm easily in the fucking 5 to 6 range. Damn. And we're going to keep it there. You just got knocked all over the ropes on that last exchange, No, I did not at all. Just the various types of truth scenarios. There was no (laughs) truth said. There are different dialectical style Marxist scenarios coming at you. You had to hit the turbo button because I said your dick was so small I could talk while sucking it. Thank you very much. And the turbo button indicates if if you actually read... Uh, fucking Ingles. Yeah, that's right, mm-hmm. bitch. Ingles, Eng- Ingles. Joe Ingles yeah. from the jazz, Utah Jazz. Yeah, sure. That's the only guy. I, that's the For, only Ingles I give a fuck about. You would know that m- you were enjoying sucking my dick so much <laughs> that it blew your mind into another dimension that can communicate with the universe telepathically. That's not how dimensions work. For the last time. Oh yeah, what does Joe Biden have? I don't. What do you mean? What does he have? He What's has his dimensions. dimensions. And what can he not do because of it? Nothing. He's not limited what by is anything. It? He's the first Remember, re- retarded president. He can't president. speak. Yeah, he can't speak. So dementia uh, <laughs> makes you able to communicate. If he just couldn't speak alone, then he would never become a president. So he you're to, saying he can... He's, he's yeah, you have, you, have, you have to communicate with the American people through, 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 through kind of dementia. Have you heard dementia him? Dementia puts you into dementia. <laughs> Has he heard communicated with you telepathically? And he communicated with the American people through non-literal communication, and that's what that's what resonated. Is the idea, Joe? You can't see it because it's happening on an astral plane. But Joe Biden is sucking Barack Obama's <laughs> cock, and he's enjoying it so much that it's blowing his mind into a demented state that allows him to communicate with the American people. In the same way that you, can, the people can no, hear no, you. No. I was with you until that last. They part. can hear you on the show. No, while you're sucking me off. I'm not uh-huh. sucking, and you, you love off. it. I don't love it. And you're like, oh, I hope this meets my. I can, Adam, I'm on Adam, my diet. Am I still. sucking a guy's cock right now? His penis is in your mouth. Your eyes have rolled back. No, and you can just see how the dare you betray mm. me? You dude. just have your w- eyes are white and your you're brain is glowing. I am not. Your yeah. brain is glowing. I'm looking at both. And my you dick guys. is so big, we can see you getting uh-huh. fatter off of the Adam, calories. You at least have to say his dick is small. Say I'm sucking it, but you at least have to say he's small. Oh, it's you can minuscule, get us both. But Nick is cross-legged and levitating. <laughs> what about me? 
me. Mm-hmm. You? Uh, no, you're on the box. <laughs> I'm on the box. Wow. This is the Welcome. last time. This is the last time I offer to take Welcome the box. Welcome to from the you. rules of the box, <laughs> bud. This is the last time I offer to take you the box. Wanna play, you want to play? You can't take you the fucking heat. Cocksucker. You better get out of the damn <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you fucking mm. I do you a kindness of getting out of the box. You want to know something crazy? Adam, Adam isn't even here. You're just hallucinating him <laughs> because you're enjoying sucking my dick so much. I'm not even I'm here. Not I'm an car. astral projection. Adam's in Israel. Yeah. <laughs> Adam's ran away with the show money and mm-hmm. I've, I want to keep it going anyway so I've been convinced you that we're still getting paid. <laughs> yeah. And meanwhile, you've just been sucking my cock for years. For how long? Mm-hmm. Uh, li- uh, most of your life, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like in the Matrix. You're in a pod. I have to unstuck your cock from the. You're back in a of pod, head. sucking my cock with the back of my head hole. And you're hallucinating <laughs> the entirety of your reality because <laughs> you're enjoying sucking my dick so much. This is fucking bullshit, mm-hmm. and I don't really believe it actually. So fuck you guys. Yeah. And then yeah. the agents are after Agent Ian. <laughs> yeah, and they He's keep like, I'm trying to. I'm trying to trick people into being gay for real. <laughs> That would be a good look for you to stop dating a fitness lady. Dude, I'm so in. But she's got to be strong. Then. Of course. I don't have a problem with that. But that's the thing. Psychologically, I would have to be uh, powerful to not mm-hmm. get manhandled. It would have to be my cunning I and my you. charisma. All the, la- all the ladies I, I've had sex with are incredibly strong, but on the inside. You literally... They're strong people. Tell me, you, you've definitely fucked at least a couple women that could beat you up. Hmm? Cause just mostly because of how frail you are. I fucked a lot of women that have beat me. Up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're just getting backhanded by fucking little mm-hmm. ass girls. I've, I've experienced. Them. <laughs> <laughs> What's the largest woman you fucked? Like that could the, the biggest? Just in general. I'm not just saying fat. I'm just saying lo- in general. Just no, powerful. Yeah. How about that? Most physically powerful. Hmm. Uh, I think in college in uh, in the laundry room in my dorm. Yeah, she was a big girl. She pinned you down and fucked your ass. <laughs> she pinned you she down. She's powerful. <laughs> She's pretty powerful. So in a wrestling match, she would have beaten you at the time. Would mm. you say? Mm. Mm. At the time, uh, possibly yes. I, I I didn't start <laughs> weight training at that point. I was still on the tail end of puberty at that point, freshman year of college. <laughs> Who was this girl? Uh, we didn't really even say any words to each other. It just kind of happened. No, shut up. Yeah, Are very, you serious? It was very erotic. I, I masturbate to the thought of it. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. You, were in a, you were in a laundry room and you just fucked a stranger? It wasn't fucked. Oh, it was, okay. Uh, it was uh, third base. Or, oral pleasure. You were... Okay. Yeah. Did you... Which you made only it better got, than sex. You only got your dick sucked or did you eat pussy too? I only got my dick sucked. Wow. What, and I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> this is awesome, Adam. I'm pretty having, cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so cool. what... Oh, that's I'd see her around, kind of. And you, was, was did you ever hooked up again? No, never hooked up again. Wow. It was nice. That's magic, it bro. Was, it was very nice. That would make oh, me... And that be- was honestly, that would make me believe in God. That kept me going for a while. Absolutely, yeah. dude. That's huge. I'm so happy right shout, now. Shout out to her. She was very nice. <laughs> that's so cool. And what happens? You guys... You know, now, it's college. Now, you know? Now it's college, but it's like, hey, what's up? But it, was, it wasn't regular college, like, uh, you know, toga party, everyone getting laid all the time. Or me yeah, getting laid all the time. Nerds. I wasn't getting laid all the time. So I'm just it curious. It was one of my few sexual experiences that year. That's huge. And yeah. I'm, that's so... And, cool. she was, and she was, like, stout. She was, pretty, she was built. <laughs> she was taller than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was solid. And you would say she was driving the encounter. You got your hmm. dick sucked. You were... Chosen. It was a vibe thing. It was it hot. It was a vibe. It, it was, was just a vibe you and her thing. in the in the fucking just thing. Late at night doing laundry. How? What time are we talking? One a.m. Yeah, like two. Two oh a.m. Oh my god! It was hot. And you just start talking. Uh, I think we turned the light the light off. Who turns the light off? Uh, maybe me. Maybe her. Wow. I don't remember. Light goes off. Light goes off, and then you start kissing. A little bit of kissing. Your dick out? A little bit of kissing, and then she there's went. no talking. Uh, I don't re- I don't remember clearly, but no, I don't think wow. that there was a lot of preamble. I don't think there was a lot of preamble. Huge. The whole thing lasts seven minutes. I think I came immediately. Oh, I would I think have I came, so I, fast. I think I came very fast. I, mean, I still come very fast, so. <laughs> Dude, that's huge. Yeah, I, cool. How about this? You still beat off to it? Honestly, I'm going to beat off to it. Honestly, that might be my peak I my entire life. I think it is. Yeah. She just the vibe. That might be my peak. the vibe and she's sucking you off. I don't know if it's her vibe or my vibe. It's very, very hot. You I think I'm going to, uh, not to disrespect you, 
uh, any more than we mm. usually do here. But I'm going to say... I appreciate the compliment. You're making me feel really nice. I'm, I'm going to say that you did... You were... It's a little bit of right place, right time. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, think you I was caught, not in control of the I situation. I think you caught her in a real dick-sucking mm. mood, and the God, and God said Adam could use a W right now. It was an accident. Let's get this fucking rugby player to suck. Let's, it was get, him, let's get him to grip onto some fucking huge shoulders while he gets his dick sucked. It was an accident. <laughs> and it, was, I, it wasn't an accident. If you're out there, I think about you It was the time. beautiful. Yeah. Holy fuck. No, it felt, it felt nice. Didn't I'm really say so, anything. Came, went back to my dorm. Didn't really say anything to anyone. I'm so, you just sleep. That's incredible. Put on. Uh, just what did I put on? Uh, I put on. The, it was either the movie Waiting. Waiting. Was oh, like that's a, ba- a bang with Ryan Reynolds, of course, of <laughs> or course. Grandma's Boy. It was during that. <laughs> oh, that period. dude, those and you know <laughs> on what? My Dell, oh, on my Dell, on my Dell laptop. A kid that was watching those movies, mm-hmm. nothing could possibly be better than randomly getting your dick sucked to the laundry room. Best seven minutes of my life. Oh, I'm so jealous, yeah, dude. Pretty cool. Fuck. Pretty cool. I'm trying to think if any spontaneous shit. No, like that, that stuff happens happened. anymore. We're adults. <sighs> I mean, you're not. Where, where are you gonna? You know. Also, we're you so get your dick sucked so in, a, in, a, now. in a bathroom bar. Or we're something. such celebs now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're afraid of the paparazzi. If I go to like a gas station, usually I fuck any woman. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a old lady behind the counter. Like, yeah, I'll you'll fuck her I'll for fuck the most part. <laughs> for the most part, yeah. Yeah, I mean that. I I have fucked pretty much whenever I want to fuck a woman. Yeah. I do. Yeah, me as well. <laughs> I, I show them my Ridge wallet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. That one really that carried us their, through. And that gets their pussies going? They're like, what is that? A solid gold wallet? Yeah. 18 carat? And, and you're like, like, zip? I, I used to like, I'd put up flyers, said I could tutor people and whatever. And I had this scam going for a while. <laughs> you just like tell them bring their class material. And then whenever they ask you a question, be like, that's interesting. What does the book say? And then you would just like, you would guide them through finding the answer themselves. <laughs> And so I would do that, and this like one girl hired me to teach her Excel, and I was like, "Oh, you're in a class for Excel?" She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Just bring all your core stuff." She's like, "Okay, it's just really just a couple of things I need help with." And then so she showed up, and she had already paid me like the money, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> she's like, beautiful. "How do I do this?" And I'm like, "That's interesting. Let's go to the help." Yeah, and we'll find it because uh, on your own you'll need to do it this mm-hmm. way. And she's like, "Can you just show me how to do it?" And I was like, "No, <laughs> no, you have to learn." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Show me that you even know how to open I, yeah, Excel." <laughs> she just like demanded her money back. <laughs> How much did you charge? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars an hour. Oh yeah, dude. I was yeah. ripping people off left. In and Montgomery when were County. You doing this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, yeah. you got a bunch of rich, like fucking like, Yeah, those are rich. Bunch of rich kids whose parents want them to be good at school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible, dude. What were yeah, your I credentials? Taught some, I taught some old man Photoshop and I just like never used Photoshop <laughs> in my life. I was like, Yeah, oh, that looks good to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good job. I just met him in the library. <laughs> Yeah. That's a beautiful scam, bro. Yeah, dude. What were you like, seventeen? Or was no, that when you I came was back? Like nineteen, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Did you yeah, tell them that window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good way. I used to actually work for Chris Berelick. I don't know. If you know oh, I remember that. Chris. Yeah, yeah. An yeah. autistic guy, and he would like yeah. refer people to me because he like his whole thing was he would just drive around DC like fixing people's computers, right. quote unquote. Right. And uh, all you do is like. They're like, oh, my computer's running slow. You just show up, reinstall the operating system, go home, charging two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> no matter what the issue is, you just always just reinstall, back up their shit, reinstall the operating system, leave. And it's like two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. I did it with this Nigerian family one time, and I showed up, and their computer was in the basement, and I literally just took a nap. I just like went to sleep because <laughs> the guy was trying to fucking lowball me. He's like, okay, so. I pay you seventy five dollar. I'm like, no motherfucker. No, no, no. It's two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, okay, hundred fifty. You yeah. trying to like haggle with me? And I was like, sure. And then I just slapped. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to haggle? But guess yeah. what? I'm doing my own type of haggle. That's right. Where you get less work. That's right. Mm-hmm. You haggle money. Right. I haggle what I have. I haggle my expertise. Labor. Right. Of doing basically nothing. Yeah, <laughs> of yeah, yeah. doing <laughs> my already of doing crazy yeah. scam of doing no work. <laughs> That's too much work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you literally could have napped while it was reinstalling. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to this old guy's house one time. He had like a problem. And it was like, oh, the printer is beeping or whatever. Like there's a light blinking on the printer. And I just like. 
Googled it, and it just means it's like on. Low on oh. No, it does nothing. It was like literally nothing. It's like yeah. incredible. He's like, I don't think it used to do that. I'm like, well, it does now. Yeah. And he, I was like, does it have trouble printing? He's like, no. And he's like, I was like, yeah, I just ignore it. it yeah. You know, it's not doing anything. And he was like, all right. And he just like, gets his checkbook. <laughs> yeah, he just gets his checkbook out, and he was like, a hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> 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 like, thank you. That's incredible, dude. Yeah, I wouldn't even have the. That's I, how I move. I like. I moved to Austin with that money. I off made, scam like, money. Off no, scam money. Yeah, I made like five thousand dollars. Jesus fucking, Christ. Yeah, just and then I got back into that when I left Austin. I I got back into that to move to L.A. I was like doing Craigslist, like Craigslist scam yeah, 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 scamming, yeah. just like oh, well, fix any computer problem or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just don't do anything. Because you don't need to do, you know, they're not sure. going to hire you again. It's a one-time right. thing. Right. They've lost their money. They've and it's already, not like they know. You're already a town. I'm literally gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm literally living in a different That's state. some old snake oil salesman shit. Oh, That's yeah. like show up, sell a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah. Tell them it'll take a week to kick in and you're already gone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My next move is doing that with home remodeling. Ooh, that's yeah. yeah. yeah like a just gen- as find easy. somebody that's got like I want to redo my kitchen. Come in there, bring all my tools. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No, I sledgehammer the walls. No, yeah, take everything out. <laughs> We're gonna do an open concept. <laughs> <laughs> just destroy all the walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just you turn all the cabinets upside down. <laughs> Scri- do tape them to the ceiling. <laughs> duct tape. This is French. Yeah. This is the French cabinet. That's yeah. like the classic that's general all. contractor move, right? It's just like disappearing in the middle of a project. Taping the, the things upside down. Oh, yeah, down. taping the yeah, things yeah, upside yeah. down, too, yeah. yeah. Now, they always just tell you, but they just tell you it needs more shit while it's already underway. So you're kind of like yeah. sucked Mechanics in do that, money too. Money-wise, yeah. yeah. Except my dad, who can't fucking haggle for shit. My dad always gets taken advantage of by people. Yeah. He's like, he oh, like does work. too much work. <laughs> yeah. And he, he spends does, it all on material. No joke, yeah, he really yeah. does. It's funny because it's not my like that. It's not my instinct at all. Like, I'm always surprised when you go to like any kind of shop or whatever, and they're like, "Yeah, I'll just like take care of it." You know, get yeah. like a deal from a mechanic or whatever. They're like, "Oh, no, you know, don't worry about it." Like throwing like a tire rotation. Yeah, it's free. goodwill. Yeah, and it's like I would not. I yeah. would never do that. <laughs> I know. If anything I'm doing, I'm going to charge you out the ass for it. Or it's like anything that's like custom built or whatever. Mm-hmm. How how little of a margin that those people actually have, right? You know, it's like if you spent all that time building furniture and you like paid for all those materials and shit. Yeah. Well, my dad shouldn't do it. Everything. Of course, yeah. yeah. Everything <laughs> should cost a million dollars. Yeah, and he does good work. He's just a fucking. Bitch what does he make? Like cabinets and stuff. Yeah, ca- custom yeah. cabinet work and shit like that. It's my really da- fucking. My dad nice. used to do that for a while. Yeah. When we were growing up, yeah, he had his own company, Closet Max. <laughs> Come on, it's yeah. called Closet Max. Yeah, and he used to say he wanted to call it Closet Queen, <laughs> and have the guys like the installers going with like pink shirts. He thought it was a really funny. That's a joke. good bit. Yeah, it still seems like it's a company about him being in the closet. Yeah, that's that's what a lot of people said to him when he yeah. told them the name. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that video? There's like a, it's like a, like a, I don't know, like a either a BLM or Antifa protest or mm-hmm. something, and just some Asian guy in a suit walks by, and these people are like, "Fuck you, fascist!" And he's like, "Hey, why'd you say that to me?" Yeah, and they're like, "Uh, you know," he's like, "Do you think I'm Andy?" No, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like some white girls, and they're like, "Well, if you weren't, you wouldn't." Be you know, and he's like, what, "What does that even mean?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, "You're just fucking racist." That's and you think awesome. I'm Andy, no? And then they're still trying to argue. Of with course, him and tell him that find a way to to be right and tell him that he is Andy. Dude. Right, right, right. <laughs> respect. Yeah. <clears throat> I got respect. Why? 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 Who are you? Why the middle finger? What's your name? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Why? Okay. Do you think that I'm Andy No? Is that what you're thinking? You racist cunt? <laughs> you wanna, would you like to see my face? Sure. But I'm fucking sick of this. This is the second time this has happened to me. The third time this has happened to me at protest. Yeah. It's like you're doing it intentionally then. Just you're doing it intentionally? Andy, what's wrong? Yeah, just be proud. No, no, I, I'm super proud that I'm not Andy. Well, but I'm really you? irritated that you cunts stand here no, and put your middle fingers in my fucking face. You're a bunch of racist cunts and you gotta stop. Think about why you're here. Think about why you're here. Andy, then you wouldn't be antagonizing me. You know exactly. If you're not Andy, you wouldn't be antagonizing me. Exactly. Fucking piece of shit. I don't think your argument has internal validity. Hold on. Hold on. There's no logic. Oh my god. There's no logic. I don't think your argument has any 
fucking dickhead. Shut up, idiots. Yeah. <laughs> White women really need to go in the garbage. Right, Amen, you know? brother. What's the to- I wish I had a toilet flush noise. Oh, we need one of those. Uh, white women. Yeah. Um, garbage disposal. Uh I would really love to chop white women up into a bunch of pieces and put them in the garbage. Well, I, don't know. <laughs> I think it works better as a metaphor. Um, just garbage disposal noise. Let's get that going on the soundboard here. Um, there we go. Thank you, autistic. Thank, thank God for autistic people. Mm-hmm. That you can type that in. They put that in YouTube. And a guy named Stephen Lavimonier has (laughs) an account with just garbage disposals making load noise. (laughs) Um, That's a different noise, but. uh, Not the right noise. Yeah, I used to love interviewing well. And then just as soon as I interviewed, oh, it's three like, in my life. Yep, I'm a, the shitty. And it would t- it always take people like two to three months to oh, realize yeah. that the person they interviewed was never showing up for work. Yeah, that it was just like, oh, at first it was like, oh, maybe he's just you know get getting his footing, and then it's like, oh, this is a fucking shitty human being who tricked me. <laughs> and then it was like too late. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was like I'm good at interviews and first dates. You did that at Vox. You got hired at Vox and they fired you. We've never your, said that on the pod. You got fired a week later. I got fired oh, I a month later. I forgot you worked yeah. at Vox. That was a, that's the best situation. Didn't you, you collected unemployment for like a year after that? For six months, yeah. That was insane. for a month of work. Yeah, for you don't remember that a when month he moved and here, a half. he just wasn't working. No, because, I wasn't yeah. here yet. I wasn't. Oh here yeah, yet. he just didn't have to work because Vox was like paying his fucking. <laughs> no, no, it was the unemployment insurance. It <laughs> yeah, was the government, didn't. state of Maryland. Wait, why? Yeah. Did, wait, the state uh, of Maryland, really? Yeah. You no, yeah. It? I well, well I was going fuck? through that breakup and I just like couldn't pay attention to work. What were you you were a paralegal there? Um yeah, I was a paralegal. You yeah. you were sucking off I don't um, know if I can really talk about it actually. <laughs> I can. Uh, not, who works at Vox so I can make a joke about you sucking their dick? I don't know enough about Matt Iglesias. It. You sucked off Matt Iglesias? Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. You went down. You ate his pussy. <laughs> you ate uh, Matt Iglesias is I really fucking wish. I really wish I could pussy. talk about it. His long... <laughs> dude, uh, dude, just a long... But yeah, imagine dude. his pussy. It starts like... I do... I bet actually, you... Well, I bet you... So my first day... it goes all the way no. down to his ass. I bet you... I bet if you Matt Iglesias... Get sued, well, fuck it. But if... I bet you... can't get sued for what? I can't... I signed an NDA when I left, but Uh-oh. this has nothing to do with with the Here, job. Real but my quick, first I didn't day, sign a fucking real NDA. quick. There was a I didn't hold on real quick. I I bet Matt Iglesias makes women eat his balls like a pussy. You have to no. say allegedly. allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, Matt Iglesias <laughs> makes women That's how you do. <laughs> go <laughs> down on his okay, balls wait, wait, wait. like they're pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so the first day, my first day of work, He's there. just fucking <laughs> loose, flappy sack. Just, well, let me oh, tell this story. Moaning yeah. while someone licks his balls, right? With tic tac size balls. <laughs> All right, somewhere in there. <gasps> oh. All right, let me tell this story. My first little, day, like, soft, soft little <laughs> raisinette balls. <laughs> Like a fat tumor on a dog, <laughs> but they're not. The women aren't even licking the actual nuts. <laughs> they're just licking the skin yeah, and into yeah. his taint. He's <laughs> married, allegedly. allegedly. Allegedly, he's married, um, and he's rich as fuck independently. But um, oh, really? For yeah, what? his dad's like a romance novelist. That's so. Yeah, funny. he's like a rich New York City kid. Oh, anyway, so that's why he gets his. Yeah, yeah, that's why he looks like, like that. a pussy. Yeah. Anyway, I wish my dad was a romance novelist, dude. My um, dad. Can you imagine would, how good you'd be at having sex if your father was a romance <laughs> novelist? <laughs> that's probably why Matt's so good at having <laughs> yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy. Wait, can polite. I please mm-hmm. tell this fucking story? I learned how to fuck from my father. <laughs> he's wearing like a pirate's costume. <laughs> he's trying to carry the woman everywhere. <laughs> Have you come yet? <laughs> no, stop carrying me. <laughs> Women don't need to be carried everywhere. <laughs> and then he carried me. Women just want to be carried. That's the thing yeah, about dude. dumb bitches. Oh yes. Nicholas. Wait, let me tell. Let me tell my mad Iglesias. I won't She's care. Like, this is gonna be. <laughs> I won't care when yeah. you get raped. <laughs> It'll make me happy. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so Matt Iglesias, romance novelist. So Matt Iglesias r- allegedly raped someone when he broke out of prison. In shut New up, Orleans. shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> okay, so it was my first day and there was a snowstorm, so like it was like delayed. Are you sure it wasn't your first gay? Yeah, it was my first gay <laughs> at Vox. No, it definitely was not his yeah. first gay. Uh, all right. Adam like wakes <laughs> oh up. My Adam God. wakes up and he looks out the window and there's all this snow coming down and he's like, snow gay. <laughs> and then he, and he's just he pull, sucking well, up. He pulls out the ice bit, dildo that he has in his freezer. <laughs> It's a snowman. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> he's a, a snowman. He's just sucking on a carrot. <laughs> he fucks himself with a frozen carrot. Yeah. But it's on a snowman's face, so it's like he's oh. getting fucked by his nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that. All right. We all remember that day at Fox. <laughs> Go ahead, Adam. You couldn't come to open mic <laughs> because you were too busy filleting a snowman <laughs> carrot. I don't even get the bit. Anyway. What bit? It's not this a bit. This is truth. Dude. Snow gay? Is that in the joke? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? First of all, if let's let's entertain it's that we are doing a bit. Enough that you don't have to go to work. <laughs> let's enter, to be let's, gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of straight. There was a blizzard day. overnight. <laughs> a day off from being straight. <laughs> so I get an email from my like. Finally, you get to be free. <laughs> I get an email from my boss and she's like, I'm going to be late. So I get there and there's the receptionist is a bunch there. of men running the Polar Express on Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we are the leading podcast of the left on the left that's right dude yeah. this is why we're the number jeff our- stein can try and take our, our position away from us but yeah, too never. bad jeff i saw a picture of what you look like <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck is your bottom half of your jaw at my guy <laughs> he looks like uh you know, mars attacks the guy that <laughs> The guy that stands up and he's like, well, do the aliens have two sexes like we do? <laughs> Jeff Stein wants to fuck aliens. <laughs> yeah. He's that guy from Mars Attacks that wants to fuck the aliens. Why don't you put Take that in that. your next article? About Quote being, us on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> harassed by podcasts that you're forced to listen to. Yeah, the, you, you know how podcast is the kind it. of medium it's that really sneaks up on <laughs> you? <laughs> There is more steps to yeah. fucking listening to a goddamn I like, podcast. I like to imagine his like high school bully that still keeps track of where he lives. <laughs> He's playing Come Town Say Anything style over a boombox outside of his bedroom window. <laughs> Just let me go to sleep. Yeah, his high school bully was like a cripple. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 oh man, yeah. I mean, the, it is so embarrassing that that was <laughs> written. Yeah, <laughs> that the, the, the quote where I said "come town" is about being gay with your dad. <laughs> yeah, dude. I just like how, how do man, you not do that as a, a newsman wrote a news article? <laughs> where yeah, you it, imagine you're just like a casual reader of Vox. <laughs> You like have, an adult. You don't pay any attention to this yeah, shit. Like you, a guy, know, you put on your reading yeah, glasses. You're like, oh, Vox is like a website it's with a real like, news, news on it. <laughs> they're like, oh, I guess there's a problem with, you know... Harassment uh, of women. Harassment. Yeah, women being left. harassed. Oh, are they left. being touched? And it's all, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Is, did somebody get her, uh, assaulted or yeah. something? <laughs> oh, no, there's just a podcast called Come Town. <laughs> And they're friends with a guy that took picture next to the Bill yeah, Cosby Who made a star. joke we're too stupid to get. <laughs> yeah. Who yeah. made such a nothing of a joke? A nothing! Yeah. God damn it, dude. That shit is so funny. What a dumbass world. Yeah. It is 2017 crazy, You think? Though. Yeah, fuck. That is crazy. That is crazy that that happened. At first, I was annoyed. Now I'm at the point where I'm like, this, "Why are you this annoyed? Who rules? gives a fuck?" Adam's <laughs> Adam's sick. Adam's yeah. afraid of his former fuck? employee Vox coming for him. Oh yeah, dude. Employee Maddie Glacier is gonna fuck your ass. I worked up, dude. there for two and a half months, and I was sad about a girl cucking me for a DJ the entire yeah. time. I like instead of doing work, like drafted, like this is gonna be the email that oh, gets her. Oh, you know, those are the worst emails. <laughs> <That is> the <laughs> worst. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> just, you just two just months of like, oh, laying it all out. You're working on it to draft. You're moving yeah. paragraphs up and down and you shit. Like, yeah, you like, oh, I'm, maybe this one goes better as an intro paragraph. Then you stand up and you walk around the room. Yeah, imagine a a, an alternate universe where Adam keeps the job. He never does our show, and he's at Vox writing. It's homophobic. The Chapo won't have me on. <laughs> I wish, to clarify, <laughs> Chapo Trap House is anti-gay because they won't have me, Adam Friedland, on the show. To clarify, me and my friend Jeff Stein, who Vox. kiss and hug each other. <laughs> 
at work <laughs> and they can't fire us because it would be discrimination. <laughs> Every day we get a gay cake baked for us to prove. <laughs> no, to clarify, I never worked for Vox.com. I never worked for that website. To we clarify for, is bitch. when... I worked for... I was a paralegal for the, the company that owns Vox. Oh, shit. Yeah. So Weinstein, no, they own like you know SB Nation, like the sports, oh, yeah, yeah, plat multi platform thing. Yeah, yeah my trip to Austin was depressing as hell this last time around. We should go to Austin, dude. Oh, I, was, I was just there. You gotta solve a crime. No, not because of solving the crime. It's just like you know, you fucking <laughs> you have to go bad. A man. thing means something to yeah. you, and then it doesn't anymore. And then you see it, and you wanted to, to feel anything, and you don't. And it's like, oh, I know that feeling, bro. Yeah, life is just gonna be this process well, of I me cherishing things, and then they mean nothing to me, and I don't remember anything that i learned or really what bearing it had on my development and yeah it's just you know but it's, it's in there well sure it's in there Who but it is are. it is it is to have like a to have it be actually present around me and to feel nothing mm. it's like feeling death a little yeah bit. that sucks that's how i feel about dc it's how i feel about that's going to see my grandma say, yeah. and like you know, she doesn't remember who I am. Yeah. That's kind of what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like the city oh, has true. dementia. Yes, yes. Yeah, Nick and I went to And we're just Avenue staring Grill. blankly into each other's eyes, <laughs> oh, feeling <God>. nothing. <laughs> That's so funny. I know what you mean. We went I mean, to Florida Avenue and Grill, and we're like, oh, yeah, this place rules, dude. Also, we Jeff Stein Vox. We, we saw, we we saw Jeff like Stein Vox there. Oh, my God. And Stop. Uh, Did really? we tell you? Yeah, yeah. No, and so yeah, I go yeah, up to him. Nice. I'm like, hey, can we get a picture with you? And he's like, I, I, I really don't want a picture. He's like, absolutely not. I'm and not going like, to do I don't, that. He's like, I, I, I'm really, I'm good. I don't want a picture. And then he's like, uh, oh, by the way, Adam, I heard you on DACA's uh, thing. It was, it was very good. Oh, that guy wouldn't take a picture. He wouldn't take a picture. That would have been awesome. Yeah, it's, it, I felt like sort of bad for like two minutes afterwards. Fuck him. But then fuck him. Yeah. He was like, I, I wrote an article that I, I probably shouldn't have written well, about <laughs> sexism on the left. And I was like, Jeff, don't worry, dude. We came out of that thing looking the yeah. best out of yeah. anyone. It's like, I didn't give a shit. The best yeah. out of anyone. Give a shit at all, what you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. The people interviewed the, anyone else that was like, associated with yeah. it or who wrote, uh, who everyone wrote the Everyone thought you, you looked stupid. Every, yeah. You yeah. came off, you embarrassed yourself <laughs> professionally and, and called creatively. called you uh, unfuckable <laughs> on our podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, we went hundreds in on how ugly you were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> which by the way, not as ugly in real life. No, no, really. Jeff looks okay. The guy's so he's just, got a horrible headshot. Yeah, yeah he's just he's sucked. particularly unphotogenic because yeah. staring at him straight on makes you think that there's like a a, a, a grander depth to his babyish mouth that sits so <laughs> far behind that hook nose. But when up close, he's got a big schnoz. Yeah, yeah, in profile, it's you know manageable you can at least yeah. process this man visually and not yeah. want to vomit or but it was so funny his yeah. friends like we were talking to him and he was like visibly nervous and then i kind of felt bad he was we adam like, saying making... this man was scared of adam yeah. you no, know? no 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 because adam we like, adam's an intimidator no we yeah, walked yeah. past and then we waved Dale and, then, like, we... <laughs> and then we walked <laughs> back and we we're like jeffy jeff that's let's not get a pic. no we, I, we walk past. I'm like, oh, that's Jeff Stein. And then I said, like, let's. And I turn around. And I said, let's go see if we can get a picture with him. But we weren't like Jeffy, Big Jeff. Jeffy. Yeah, this that wasn't happening. This yeah. is I a work Jeff. of fiction that Adam is <laughs> yeah. creating. I'm not making a work of fiction. It's an absolute fabrication. <laughs> Maybe I'm putting a little sp sprinkling. A You're little making spank. yourself sound cooler. Have than you seen a little movie by the name of Big Fish? Okay, Don't worry, dude. We came out of that looking all right. And he was like, absolutely. You guys looked great. You like you guys were. Uh, I really don't want a picture. Yeah. Uh, he's right, though. That's a good move on his he, part. Yeah, he made yeah. the right move. And then whoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have taken Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I was like, yeah. we're not trying to fuck with you. And it's like, I'm yeah, That's all we do. Yeah, yeah. That is <laughs> yeah. our entire existence <laughs> is fucking with people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, I heard you on DACA's podcast. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Are that's you a, yeah, about, yeah, right. He's like, DACA? Didn't even. It's like. DACA the girl? There's no reason to even say that, but so blatantly just lying to try and establish any kind of middle ground to get us to go away. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then his friends were like, Jeff, what's going on? Yeah, his really? dork ass, yeah, his weird friends. Dork ass friends. His weird, weird yeah. friends, because you know they just sat there at breakfast going like, remember homework? <laughs> <You know? laughs> I really miss that. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> and then he's like, don't worry, I know these guys. Oh, yeah. And then he, he's like, uh, Calm down. Jeff, our Uber's here, our Uber's here. He's like, guys, I have to get this Uber. I'm terribly sorry. And we're like, oh don't worry God. about it, dude. I kind of felt bad like we made him nervous. Or like yeah, he you was did. Like, he should have been. Yeah. But then afterwards, I was like, well, fuck and him. Then he, he like just he runs article. back into his apartment, goes in the bathroom, and he's like, ah, just beating <laughs> off the <laughs> thing. He's like, you're a faggot. You're such a faggot. <laughs> Everyone thinks you're a faggot. <laughs> 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 I have to uh, go. Oh, I'm just like coming as hard as he's ever come his entire life. <laughs> yeah, that was that was so his prostate weird. hurts. I wish, dude. Came. I wish I could just. I, that would be great if I could just be publicly humiliated and be into that. Yeah, because it would be so easy for me. I'm yeah, in his yeah. perfect position to just. Mm -hmm. If I could turn this like mental health mm -hmm. breakdown into a way to make me come, mm -hmm. God damn. That would be nice. What a beautiful life to live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just being publicly abused and coming from it. I don't want that. Yeah. I want to come because of big soft titties. Yeah. And kisses on my neck and mouth. Yeah. And kisses chest on your and neck nipples. and mouth. Yeah. yeah. Don't you like getting your dick ridden and then I don't a like kiss being on the neck? touched in any way by anybody. What? Really? No, I, I said like that touching. jokingly, but it is kind of. <laughs> <laughs> would you fuck Nick? Would you fuck in a hazmat suit with just the dick part cut well, out? Of course, J style, baby. <laughs> That's fine. Jew. Oh, well, Jew uh, style. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, hole, some, uh, the hole. Yeah, hole, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. Hebrew ass P U S Y. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you guys already know the story, but I went to a <clears throat> massage parlor. Oh yeah, in that was awesome. Yeah, and I went in, and it like they looked like whores, but I was like, "Look, my fucking shoulder, I like my my shoulder this is, is so funny, fun, and I need this." And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, she's really good. She'll take care of you." Uh -huh. And then she like comes into the locker room, and she's like, "Take off all your clothes," and she's standing there, and then I get completely naked, mm -hmm. and I'm like, "All right, whatever." Mm -hmm. It's like I don't want this to like. You got totally naked. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. She's like, take off all your clothes. Like, all right. I she, mean, they didn't give you a towel. Massage parlors do that sometimes. No, they give me a towel. Yeah, yeah. They had a towel, but then like you know, you have to take the towel off to lay down on the bed. They don't really. There wasn't really much like privacy offered. Right. And then I'm like laying there, and she's like doing my back for a bit, and then she put on this like bullshit Chinese song. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> That's you know, hot, dude. Like yeah. one of those songs. And then five minutes in, it's just like Whoa, my neck, my back, no <laughs> my pussy and my crack. And then it like was like mashed up. I don't know where the fuck That's they got it. That's incredible. Yeah. What? And then she's like, yeah, she's like roll over, and then she starts like doing the shit with my chest. But then she's like, you know, like touching my hand and shit. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, you want me to jack you off? I was like, no, I need my fucking my. <laughs> I paid you eighty dollars. I need my shoulder like, incredible, like, it's incredibly tight. It fucking hurts. She, but she wasn't that good of a masseuse. No, no the whole she's time she's dick. She's like, huh? She's like, she's yeah, a she's, hand, she's she's a hand job pr practitioner. But look, you chose that as the front for your business, right? Or your illegal process. So at least learn how to give a good massage. Yeah, yeah, Satriol's has, had good, has had good meat. meat. Yeah. it's fucking like <laughs> you can't, like, yeah. You're like yeah, we don't have any pork. That right, makes right, sense. right, right, right. <laughs> You fucking dumb piece of shit. The one time I went, I knew it was a hand job place 15 seconds in because I was like, this massage sucks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, and anyway, you so Googled she's like, where to get a yeah. hand job. She's like, my oh, hands just hurt. And I was down like, the street. I was like, and then, you know, I mean, because I'm like naked, so I'm just like sitting there with my like dick flopping out going like, just <laughs> yeah. use your elbow. And I'm like demonstrating on the <laughs> pillow. <Your> cock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, like, wait, you don't even have a towel no, the at towel, this point? Yeah, no, the towel's, I mean, it was there, but like. It was an after. I had to get up to get, like show her like how to. So keep I'm your, just, you keep moving your. The I just had to get up to show her like with the elbow on the pillow. I'm like, do that right here. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and then she keeps missing the spot. It's like there's like a tight band <laughs> right under my collarbone <laughs> you made a sex work a sex slave she literally would have rather sucked your dick of yeah of course <laughs> that's way easier well, yeah <laughs> than listening to nick's specific instructions <laughs> i don't know man that seems like god letting you get permission to get sucked off what do you mean giving me permission to get sucked off I can get sucked off if I want to. I don't want to get sucked off by some I'm toothless just saying. fucking rail worker. Oh, was she bad looking? She was okay. Hmm, but, like, I, I, it's, 
in no way would I feel good about myself paying for a fucking blowjob from some like Chinese sex slave. That's what true. I do want is it a proper massage from somebody from I'd a regular fucking Chinese money slave. to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from a regular Chinese slave. <laughs> yeah. Fix my fucking shoulder. How did your shoulder feel afterwards? Awful, dude. Damn. Yeah, she used like menthol, like mm. a, some sort of menthol rub, but then yeah. like my like the skin was burning, and I have this huge bruise mm. there now. I went well, to a spa for my anniversary last year with at one point she was just punching me and i got a fat gay guy give me a massage Mm -hmm. like a real massage Ooh, look at your little body (laughs) oh my god look at your cute little body (laughs) i must say i was like god you're like a little ken doll (laughs) i was like fat gay he's probably gonna be the best massage ever one of my hands all the way around your waist (laughs) (laughs) i can hold you like a little beer can (laughs) and i gotta say not very good it was i i really i wasn't it's pretty homophobic look at you why I was home. I just want to put you in a little baby shoe and push you around. <laughs> I, I thought it's like a little great. race car. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just I eat you it up. Was, it was. I a bet rip-off. I could fit you entirely in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> just just like a, put a condom while over. You're, Adam. Right, yeah, while you're like, like, like getting the gerbil. massage, she's like starting with his ass at your yeah. feet and eating you like a <laughs> yeah, snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's holding <laughs> his ass open, sizing you up slowly. Asshole is just slowly inching his body around yours with his ass. There you go. You're like, well, let me go. Nick, you can't see it, but Nick is doing that to I'm his racing it out. wheel. Yeah. Which he was playing when we got in here. I was playing. And well, he first did. of all, I wasn't playing. I was simulating. <laughs> Fucking asshole. So I don't play. <laughs> um, well, I just want to say that Nick did text the location and name of that place, and I will be sure yeah. to not go there. Yeah, and yeah. I'm happy to know that. Oh yeah, and then also and you I found the review. <laughs> oh yeah, I found the review. That was online. incredible. <laughs> what was the guy's name? I can't remember. It was something Spanish. It was like one of those like Best Buy Geek Squad kind of guys. Like yeah, Carlos de la Hoya. <laughs> I love it. Fifteen Chinese duckies. Take your pick from. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! That was yeah. so good. I'm pissed, dude. Sorry, man. Sorry. He should have just gotten sucked off. I, d- I didn't want that. I wanted my shoulder fixed. Yeah. But it, you should have, dude. At some point, you let, let go no, and let it's, God. It's fucking medical care. I know. It would be like if you're like, you oh, I'm like having so like heart palpitations, and you go to the fucking <laughs> yeah. doctor, and they're like, oh, here's a Valium. And it's like, oh, but that's not what I fucking or need. Or the doctor sucks you off. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a problem? Yeah, just going to the fucking cardiologist. <laughs> it's medical. for a happy ending. <laughs> After my fucking yeah, stress yeah. test, I'm uh, like... Do you offer full service? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll tip extra. <laughs> you know? I mean, we don't have to report it to the fucking insurance. Yeah. I did have a... Car, uh, a uh, uh, What's the cock doctor called? I don't know. Urologist. urologist. Yeah. There was a lady urologist that handled my penis one time. Mm-hmm. And it did not... It was not arousing, i got to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I thought, oh, am I going to get hard? She was ha- holding my little ass limp yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one went, time I got it a felt phys- weird. Yeah, the one time I got a physical from I fucked her otherwise, a though. woman, I was like 15, mm-hmm. and she was like, drop trow. And I was like, I hope my dick is all right. <laughs> and right. it was the worst. Yeah. It was trash. And I was like ashamed. I was oh, sad. You, mean, you, were, like, you were, were hoping it would me. be hard? No, I was like, I hope that it's like looks at least robust or something. Uh-huh. But it was cold or something. My dick, yeah, my dick extra was extra bad. small. Yeah, 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 extra small. Yeah, mm-hmm. it felt terrible. Yeah, you wanted this. But lady. then I was like, just she's a professional dude. She's you wanted this grown me. woman to be like, mm, that kid had a nice cock. <laughs> yeah, I wanted her to be like, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> you ever feel I was like- hoping it was a pedophile. <laughs> 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 I was hoping she would molest. You ever, you ever feel like you really served good dick at a doctor's appointment? Has there been any time? Yeah, where but like, it was with like guys. <laughs> but you, but you have, gay. but you remember yeah. being like, damn. I have not there was one time many, that that many doctors touching my dick. At that old man <laughs> that put his finger in my ass to do. A prostate, yeah. I my dick looked great that day. Wow, I wonder why. Now, it was before he put it in my Your ass. ass. Was salivating. I was like, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweetheart, loop me up. <laughs> Your ass was drooling for that one. <laughs> Just spit on it before you throw it in there, <laughs> cowboy. You're like, okay, now two fingers. What did you say, Nick? Yeah, I've not had many. I guess when I thought I had ball cancer, I got that that, that time I, I had a doctor, that Chinese doctor, touch my dick. But I honestly. I cannot recall any kind of like even considering like I wonder what my dick looks like for this old Chinese man. 
<laughs> no, you always got to consider. You got to be friendly. Well, it's I courtesy. I I recently had I went to the dermatologist and did a full checkup, and two women looked at my penis. <laughs> there was a do- there we're was gonna a, need a, we're gonna a, need a bigger doctor. <laughs> there was a doctor and a trainee, mm-hmm. oh. and they were they looked under my nose. <laughs> they looked <laughs> just like it, it, like a, a telescope on a motor. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. All right. They used the naked eye. Thank you very much. My penis was visible with the naked eye. No, there was no motorized telescope necessary to give me a full skin exam. Twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> <Awful telescope. laughs> no. They weren't even wearing glasses. Fifteen declination, <laughs> right ascension. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm-mm, no, sir. <laughs> Not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Really? What I want to do is open a uh, penis sucker. I want to have... Mean, yeah, I just want to go uh, charge guys well, to suck their cock. Well, I want to be a masseur, so uh, we're going to bring guys in, and then, uh, <laughs> you know, I was thinking maybe I suck their cock at the end. <laughs> really differentiate myself from the other businesses around here. Well, a lot of these places, they just have Chinese women do it. <laughs> figure if I get in there, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck Damn this is the literal Christmas episode This comes out on Christmas mm. Wow we gotta do some Christmas surprises For the episode Uh huh. Do you I have any Christmas su- <laughs> Okay. Whoa Adam I thought just for a nice little Christmas surprise I could. You just should do what, what? Do That what? I could just Whoa you could just suck a guy's cock mm-hmm. You don't have to bleep that out Adam what race do you hate the most Whoa dude I'd never. <laughs> He's not done. That's no, the longest and, one I've heard. And all women. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Mm. What are we doing for? What are you guys doing for Christmas? Uh, I thought I was going to do something, but I think I might actually stay here and mm-hmm. do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Christmas. I, I was getting charged like 10 bucks a month for Brit Box because I wanted to watch a Louis Theroux documentary, so I got the oh. free trial. Dude, I just remembered that I signed up for some Japanese pornography website. You're still getting charged? Because I wanted to see a fucking... It was like one where... The one with the big jugs. No, actually, name? actually, not her. I think her name is Hitiko or some shit. Uh-huh. But... The, uh, what I got into for a the hot the big sec, hooters. What I got into for a very hot second there for, was it was a l- lesbian massage thing. And it was like these uptight Japanese women were getting like... Lesbian massage is like a fifth grader's porn search. No, dude. It was like... They're, it's a Japanese... First of all, they're Japanese. I'm going to go with Nick on this one. Come on, man. <laughs> Listen to me. It's hot. <laughs> there's, there's, they're Japanese. They're uptight. The reversal. <laughs> <laughs> the reversal of allegiances. That's my, that's Fun. my role in the show. If you Listen to me. The dark, I will defend I'm this. The dark, I'm the, the sinister dark, Jew. The dark alliance. <laughs> the dark I, alliance. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Because this the moment, is hot. The moment that everyone's been fearing. <laughs> is, is being taken down by the dark alliance. When the storm clouds come over the East Coast. Listen to me. It's an uptight Japanese lady and an, another a cute ass Japanese a girl salary like, woman. I'm exactly. I'm just gonna massage you, and then slowly okay. she massages and gets closer to her pussy, uh. and then she's like, "I'm gonna put a fucking uh, uh, divider up so you can't see." I'm gonna use the hot sponge. She calls it the warm sponge massage, and it's and actually it's her eating her pussy. Yeah, and they show box or they, they sh- blur it out. They blur out the box, but still the implication is it's so It's more horny. the. It's the setup. It's the setup. It's the theater. It's the theater. I, you, and I the think, sounds the I Japanese got make. A, I think you've got a, a penchant for narrative stuff. I love narrative. I would love filmmaking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I... And I, you hate, see a sh- I hate that shit that Japanese or Asian girls do. You see a shot of... 
of the one eating her pussy and it's and her pussy's wet. It sucks. It sucks, dude. I hate it. I was in there, dude. No. I like a whatever. Yeah, what are you right, jacking Nick? off to? You're right, Nick. I like a like a, a, a yeah. deep guttural. Yeah, grunt. you guys want yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bitch that growls like a lawnmower. Mm-hmm. Or a man. Um, like a Germanic. Okay, gu- well, let's grunts. go around the room and say, well, we're fucking jacking off to then mm-hmm. in the Dark Alliance. I don't give. I'm a freedom fighter, dude, mm-hmm. for jacking off to Japanese pornography, and I don't need to be supported by either of you motherfuckers. Right now, I am trying to keep myself to one blast a day. One blast a day. Because I got a lot of free time, a lot of time on my own. The amount and of I know blasts, how dark the it amount of blasts get. I do scales up with how many errands I have to run that day. Mm. Blast and errands. Recently, I, I, I'm telling you, man, this fucking T-shirt thing has like my life is night and day. Yeah, I, I, I like the, not having like a fucking day mm-hmm. job is like ruined me. And now that I just have shit I have to do every day, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to structure my shit that way. You too, have to get out stuff. of bed to do something. Well, I wake up at fucking eight a.m. I like print out all the, the morning. I you totally wake up. Yeah. and shipping. You know, you suck a little dick for shit. you. Got to run to the post office and I'm out of the house. But mm-hmm. it, every step, I'm beating off. <laughs> <laughs> you, a blast and errand, huh? You, you bust be believing. <laughs> you bust mm-hmm. be believing. Yeah, you bust believe. Do you, don't bu- do you bust to your mind? Your beautiful, I bust to my mind, yeah. Your beautiful mind? Just different equations happening. <laughs> mm. Connections. Oh, you bust to math. Yeah. I bust to uh, the, the thought of me giving a, an award speech at the Gay Sex Awards. <laughs> Just bust the power. The of you teaching a bunch of kids in Appalachia. <laughs> And then being like, Mr. Friedland, will we ever be as cool as you? And I'm like, no. 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 Dude, the VP of the company came by one time, and I was just like playing Killer Instinct. <laughs> and he's like, uh, you winning? <laughs> it's like, that's how little they gave a shit. Their turnover was so fucking high. <laughs> Anybody that didn't have like like debilitating autism. Yeah. And uh-huh. some people who did. Yeah. And some people who did. What? <laughs> They would leave immediately. They had to like bribe people to stay at that company with like pizza. <laughs> They'd have to be like, "Guess we got a bunch of pizzas for your seventeen-hour shifts with no overtime." Yeah. That was fine because I was twenty when I worked there, so I was still like getting in trouble for bullying in the workplace. <laughs> 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 like, like, go to the principal's <laughs> office level bullshit. That's so funny to do it to get in trouble for it a job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nick, uh, stop right. calling Gary a homosexual. <laughs> no, literally, dude. <laughs> <laughs> at my old at my old job, HR was just staffed with like the hottest girls in the world. Yeah, I got trouble for like uh, at, at one of those like uh, cell phone kiosks. There was like some Romanian guy that worked there who like loved clubs. Mm-hmm. So I would just mm-hmm. call him a faggot all the time. <laughs> yeah. Or like yeah. dance clubs. Yeah, yeah, he loved yeah, going yeah. out to nightclubs. Now they got, and I know it makes it seem like I'm like a monster. Uh-huh. And I, yes. like, the guy, I wouldn't do that to. You're somebody. a kid too. I wouldn't do. No, I wasn't. I was probably like. 18 that's a kid i wouldn't do this you i wouldn't do this to somebody who's actually gay he right, was just right, a right. romanian guy that's yeah, like, yeah. And to that guy being called gay is the worst insult yeah right I imagine <laughs> yeah. so this romanian it's very guy. effective so it's almost it's kind of like supportive of gay people yeah no, right. I, I call like him gay the home page on the computer mm-hmm. to like Gay sex. Like a JavaScript pop up that just says like Cosman is gay. Or <laughs> <laughs> you open up Internet Explorer, it says like warning, Cosman's gay. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. And uh, I didn't show it to him, but I showed it to the manager. I was like, yo, something's wrong with the computer. I think I got like a virus. <laughs> and he's like just crying, laughing. He's like, he's like, man, you gotta stop doing shit like this. We're gonna get sued. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great that's a great one, dude. Yeah, it was a good one. I was happy with that one. Nick is shining a very <laughs> high light in Adam's face. Oh dude, I just remembered there was this kid in um a like real young elementary school age who uh this kid Justin, absolute bully, he taped a laser pointer to the side of his glasses and then was like shining it in retarded kids' <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> I just, I just, 
<laughs> that is so. That is such elegant bullying. <laughs> that is so. Like, <laughs> it was the funniest goddamn <laughs> fucking sniper, and dude. They fucking, they got so mad at him for that. And he's like, "What? They're fucking retarded." <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, he's like. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, <laughs> that's the other thing. Also, about <laughs> was gonna fry their brains. <laughs> it was just it to the side of his glasses, like Terminator. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, like, specifically How doing it to retarded, mm-hmm. <laughs> doing, Do, doing like a percentage retardation. He <laughs> he's just seeing red, like <laughs> eighty-five. That shit uh, happens retarded. to be. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking rhinoplasty, guys. Yeah, you're gonna get a cute little nose job, little yeah, bunny nose. Cute, adorable little Gentile's nose. A little girl's nose. Is that annoying? Yeah, it, it is incredibly <laughs> annoying. I would Nick's say. Been shining. Or getting into Nick's my been eye. shining a laser directly in Adam's eye for about thirty <laughs> seconds now. <laughs> I just want to know if it's annoying. I don't, I'm annoying. <laughs> I'm just checking to see if it's annoying. I don't. Know. You don't have to get angry at me. I'm just checking. No, do not put the do not put it on my cock. The cat, the cat is looking at my penis now. Mm-hmm. Stop it. Hello, cat. I wish I was a sniper. <laughs> Instead of a, a fucking gay podcast asshole. <laughs> Sorry, dude. This is this gay podcast bullshit. Sorry, we're gay podcast assholes, instead of, dude. Instead of sniping. <laughs> You could still be a sniper, dude. Now, I remember going to, uh, there was another thing. It's like my aunt had a barbecue and she invited some gay guy. Mm-hmm. And fuck it, me and my cousin, we were like eight. And <laughs> we were like, <laughs> that guy, you know, he's like, look how nice he is. <laughs> he's probably, that guy's he's polite and smiling nice and everything. Yeah, he probably collects dolls. <laughs> <laughs> You know, kept offering him like our other cousin's like baby doll she had. You're like, hey, you <laughs> as a child <laughs> trying so to bully mean. an adult yeah, yeah. gay man. No, he didn't get it. I mean, he didn't assume that we were being homophobic. Yeah, he yeah, thought yeah. they were like, stupid. He was like a nice person. Yeah, I know. He's like, hey, or like, yeah, man. <laughs> look at what it is. It's your girlfriend. <laughs> you know? Hey. More coming out with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice, being man. a kid rules. Yeah. <laughs> when, yeah, you get away with everything. You just you still have that go. innocence. Oh yeah, the innocence of childhood. Of child just uh, innocent homophobia. Mm, homophobia. Yeah, <laughs> just ripping up all the tulips out of the Indian family's yard. <laughs> the innocence of childhood. <laughs> 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 just destroying that Indian woman's garden <laughs> and pissing in their mailbox. <laughs> God, what a fucking annoying child neighbor you must have been, dude. Well, it was mostly, I, uh, uh, interestingly enough, a South African friend named Adam who was also Jewish, and he was sort of the instigator. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He was like, let's uh, blame the Jews. He was like, let's. Well, we're the idea, man, and then we find a <laughs> Nick yeah. to do it. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't do it ourselves. You don't want to get your hands dirty. Yeah. And light the Vietnamese family's house on fire. <laughs> Just hanging out by the gutter, by the corner of the house with the lighters. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that Vietnamese kid. Ooh, we beat the shit out of him one time. Jesus Christ! Bro. I don't even know why we did it. We oh my like God! Is seven. this your Wahlberg moment? <laughs> yeah, it's a Wahlberg story. No, and I felt I me- remember feeling bad for him immediately. Like he was on his bike, and we kicked him off the bike. Uh-huh. And then knocked him around, and then I was like, "I'm real sorry." Like immediately, like picked him back up, put him back on the bike, fixed like the <laughs> kissed him on the mouth, where the fucking the the water bottle holder like came off the bike. I like put it back on, and <laughs> we're like, "All right, later, man." <laughs> how, old, how old are you? I don't know, like six or seven, or you just like like that feral age. Yeah, and that kid, he didn't even process that for years yeah, later. He probably, he probably had no idea. <laughs> I remember going past their house one time, and his older sister, who I didn't. I pro- you know, I was a child, so I wasn't horny. But now that I think back, I probably, damn, I probably really would have wanted to fuck that baby <laughs> musical. <girl. laughs> if you were horny. At six. Yeah. yeah. Well, she would sit you outside. Remember, horny? She was like, she had like white out and she was painting. I remember it like sticking with me. This like burned in memory of she was sitting outside her house and right out, she, she, she wrote fuck. Like on her inner thigh. Oh, wow, oh, yeah. that's, that's so. Yeah. That's Nick so, Girl. So she's she's trying to get. Yeah. She's trying to get cream pie. Like a at mentally 15. ill Vietnamese <laughs> yeah. girl that was older than me. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
And I'm like, I gotta beat up your brother. <laughs> I don't know what this don't feeling know how to is. This. <laughs> I gotta I, beat the shit out of your brother. You, yeah, you're making her her brother wear her clothes. <laughs> you're like, put these on, put these on, and hold my hand. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Christopher Lowell's on. <laughs> It's the funniest. I, I have to uh, <laughs> laugh at him. Yeah. <laughs> I have to also laugh at every other gay man I see and be obsessed with them and think about them over all and over the again all the time. <laughs> it's a current theme in my life. <laughs> Nick, were you, were you a bottom of the ball pit kid? No. In fact, I don't even remember going. I mean, I've obviously I obviously would ball go pit. in the ball but pit. Do you remember those free kids that would just sit in the bottom and then just like be like? It'd be like anaconda attack. I, was, I wouldn't I was, sit in the I bottom, was, but the uh, bottom tantalized. I was way me. more into navigating kids. the tubes and then ultimately getting into a fist fight in one of the junctions. With <laughs> yeah, yeah, the junctions <laughs> were fucking wild, bro. Just into a when four tubes come together, yeah. dude, oh. and then it just smelled it, like it always smelled like other people's shoes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then so just bad. beating the fuck out of a kid in one of those junctions, and then coming, <laughs> and coming out the other end, they're like, they'll never catch me. <laughs> What a little piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> just some fucking, just completely sheltered kid who's mm. his first time in the fucking tunnels. Welcome to and the And your tunnels. little feral ass is just <laughs> wailing on some little Chinese guy. Nah, I mean, half the time other kids would start. That's the thing as I miss being a kid is you could find other, like, violent kids. That's true. That's true. No, kids are sociopaths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I never got, I don't think I got into too many altercations in the tubes, but... Mm -hmm. I did love the bottom. Did thrill me, but I was too. I couldn't stay too long down there. It was scary. It was scary, but I loved it. It was. Uh, yeah. I don't I, remember them being that deep, though. When you're a little when ass you're kid, small. Yeah, as but shit. I don't recall being. It 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 uh, simulated the sense of drowning. I think for me, or bit. maybe I had like a. I, I'm a well, little. That's what you think. That's what you think because it's. Yeah, I I do feel like I was a little claustrophobic. I was never fully at ease in those tubes. Yeah, that's right. It fucked fucked me up a little bit, and the the idea that some people could like were so comfortable in there, like some kids were just hanging out. Like mm -hmm. you'd you'd go by a junction, and it would be like a little shanty town. Sometimes Dude, it, I feel like I now am missing those tubes greatly. Yeah, <laughs> I would love to just be, exist in a world that was tubes. Yeah, and crawl around. Well, that's what you that's what you would imagine. You're like, damn, this is the world. You'd be like, yeah. I gotta have my own little kingdom. Yeah, it's like kind of like Reese. That show Recess. Imagine the tubes from Discovery Zone, but you can bring a gun in there. Awesome. Yep. Tubes, make the tubes a little bigger, you know? Let's mm -hmm. make them double three three times the size. Imagine, yeah. You're going through the tube, and then you go the wrong way, and then suddenly you're in a junction, you're being robbed at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. six-year-olds. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's like a very post-apocalyptic thought, that that's just the world mm -hmm. that we will yeah, all it inhabit. Feel, it fe yeah, it felt like that, some kind of little post-apocalyptic type shit. Yeah. I always, I mean, I don't know. We're, what we're all like is chaos. That's mm -hmm. probably what it was like to be in the Viet Cong. I had, I had a they had mad tubes. I had yeah. a recurring fantasy when I was a kid that I had access to some kind of underground tunnel that went to a room, like a panic room, mm -hmm. that had monitors that I could launch missiles. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, the monitor situation is so good. Yeah. I, I was like, why would a six-year-old need that? You know what I had? You know what I thought? <laughs> Am I going to go to war? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody who called me gay. <laughs> yeah, the guys that molested you. Uh huh. Um, I live a couple blocks away from that Biggie Smalls mural, mm -hmm. and it's just a, uh, it's like an Instagram sort of selfie spot. Yeah, yeah. of course. I always see like the lamest people taking pic pictures. <clears throat> you in see front yourself of it. taking picture in front of it? No, I've never taken a picture. There's a guy with schizophrenia that fucking looks at that mural. Uh, there's one right on around the corner that's like Malcolm X. Yeah, Bob fucking, Marley or, yeah, or Mandela or something. Harry Marcus Tubman, Garvey. Danny Glover, you know, <laughs> the hits. Tommy, yeah, from Martin. R.I.P. Yeah, Tommy from Martin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the great black, <laughs> <laughs> the cast of Living Single. <laughs> yeah, Living um, Single rocks. By the way, yeah, it is a good sitcom. Black Friends, black. Yeah, before Friends. Yeah, they rob. They robbed their whole shit. They stole it. They did. So. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, he goes by and he's. It's very sad. He's like, "Yep, I'm gonna get on that." You know, like he oh goes no. by one by one and he like does self affirmations with all of them. Oh my god, who taught that guy positive well, thinking? I don't know, but I I went up to him one day. I'm like, "Yeah, Yo, you know those are just paintings, you fucking idiot." Yeah, and then you beat said to that death. to him. Yeah, he was like, you know, he got real up like uncomfortable and he was like lowering his head. I'm like, "Yeah, you should be fucking ashamed." <laughs> 
<laughs> and this is why you live outside because you're disgusting mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike me, a businessman that lives at the top of a skyscraper, and you will never be as good as me with your shitty wall painting. Jerry and Seinfeld's one of those You guys. said that to him? <laughs> That's crazy. No, I see him dude. all the time. It's very sad. Yeah. Hopefully, that guy sorts his. Well, you know, he never will. He's yeah, no chance. Mental illness, folks. Living on yeah. the streets. It's a terrible way to live. It's a real, real, uh, real fucking horrible part of our society. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe more health coverage, probably. What were you saying? About. Uh, <coughs> somebody was saying something. Uh, pff, Adam's gay. I'm gay. Uh, what else? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> there's nothing worse than having mental health. Mm-hmm. Than having a mental health problem. <laughs> I can't wait to do my new comedy special about it. Mm-hmm. You should, dude. Mm-hmm. What's it going to be called? It's uh, my vagina brain. <laughs> <laughs> my brain, my pussy brain hurts. My pussy hurts. I, I got a pussy in my head and it hurts from being fucked by life. <laughs> by my super comfortable life that still bothers me for some reason. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it. But then it becomes like cyclical, you know? Yeah. You see like a guy missing a leg and you're like, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, fuck you. You fucking. Look at Mr. I deserve. I have real struggles. I have a problem. I have an actual issue that makes me sad. Yeah. Just fucking do an HD remake of Final Fantasy VII. (laughs) (laughs) So I don't kill myself. (laughs) Dude, it's coming. Relax. They're completely something. Redoing it. They're completely redoing it, and I've been waiting for years. There's okay. not a single Metroid release on the Switch. Fucked up. Still That's no, fucked still up. Still no charges for Gee Lane. That's fucked up. And now the what's really fucked up is there should be cheat codes where you can really see Samus's pussy. Yeah, her tits in not a conical way. Yeah. Because remember when it would be, she would be in a bikini when you would see it in Nintendo, mm-hmm. and it was just blocky. Yeah, yeah. It's like what the fuck, I, Laura I Croft style. I remember the old Laura days. Croft that you could sort of beat off to. They were like, they were still square. They were square, but they were like they were octagons. Maybe. Yes, there was some depth to them. There was a little curvature. There was some curvature. There was like it was like it was like the dice that nerds. I really want to see if I can with. borrow a gun from Dan Crenshaw and kill myself <laughs> with it. <laughs> you should. I just, that would be the best way to go out. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Be like, Dan, come on. It's me, your boy. Come on, dude. Let me borrow a gun. It's your boy, me. Dude, it's me. Let me borrow it. Come on, dude. Let me see one. No, I need it for cool. I need to just be chill with it. <laughs> That's why you borrow a gun from a friend is to be chill. To have it in your fucking... Oh, have I, it right here you in think your I waistband. Need to, I don't have time for a background check. Dude, Man, I just on. need to borrow your gun. Let me just see real quick. And not do anything with it. <laughs> That's how everybody borrows shit. Mm-hmm. Totally. My friend's like, let me borrow... A DVD. Yeah, let me borrow a DVD. You're like, you're not going to watch it, are you? Of course not. Dude. No, okay, I just good. want to hold it because you got it. You got to be a patriot to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> to watch the Blu-ray collection of every Kevin Sorbo. Film. I tried to fuck a lady in the mental hospital. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! And uh, is it like camp? Do people like hook up? Dude, at the, mental the good hospital? mental hospital I was in yeah. was fucking tight, man. <laughs> nice. yeah. The food was good. They had cake at every meal because oh, they're just like these, sick, yeah. you guys are pieces of shit. Yeah. You get, like you <laughs> don't have anything. You just feel better. Have cake yeah. every time. I've always, <laughs> I've always wanted to be put into one of those like tuberculosis sanatoriums. Oh, that, well, this just is what to I, die on the side of a mountain. What I kept telling the, <laughs> that's all I kept telling them in there yeah. when I was like at the height of my depression. I was like, find me an asylum. I don't want to get. I don't want to go out. Just find me a place where I can sit in a chair. And like read books and fucking like look around. Yeah, look at and the maybe ocean. I don't know if there's a pool pussy. that'd be right. nice. I don't mm-hmm. like, but I don't want to leave. Right. Uh, yeah, I want to sit under a blanket next to some like you know continental stately British yeah. man <laughs> who's yeah. in the RAF yeah. and now his eyeballs are being out, eaten yeah. out by worms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Splendid weather. <laughs> 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 Look, <We're both> dying. <laughs> Let him have his pipe. 
Yeah, man, that's all I wanted. But it, the, yeah, the real mental institute was good, man. It was fun in there. I tried to fuck a girl in there, and she was not having it. Uh, but could, uh, you could fuck though. That was. All I mean, it wasn't. Rule, uh, no, 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 there yeah. wasn't rules that said you can fuck. <laughs> they were like, fucking a okay. Uh, ex- the guy explicit up. rules that you cannot fuck. <laughs> Respect, brother. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No uh, man's gonna get his nut off no matter what. But uh, yeah, I tried to fuck, and Did she have- was. Uh, more religious than it, I thought, uh, uh, but, uh, but based on her tits. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Are the condoms in the in the mental institution just little straight jackets? That you put your yeah. In? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna have to. I was gonna have to go no con. There were no <laughs> condoms provided, and then I get her pregnant and sue the mental hospital. Hell like, yeah, dude! I was I was a crazy dude. This uh, is on you. This is on you. Great if you like you start fucking a girl in the mental hospital and then you're like dating her and you catch feelings and then she breaks up with you for the head doctor yeah <laughs> oh, and then of course. the head doctor is like look we talked about this man <laughs> yeah. it's like I understand you're upset but these things happen <laughs> 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 you know, you just got to move on. You just got to find some peace with yourself because you're not a bad guy. It's not your fault. Brendan. People just have more to offer than you. Like being the head doctor. I'm, I'm not a doctor. Being crazy. <laughs> yeah. You're a crazy person. Yeah. What did you expect? Right. You don't think you don't think there's guys out there that I'm jealous of? <laughs> that I look at them and I say, why not? Th- why am I not them? You know, obviously not in this hospital. I'm the yeah. best one. Yeah. I'm the king of the fucking mountain yeah. in here. But in the real world, which you don't have access to anymore. Because <laughs> you're locked away. Which you're not allowed out. Uh, and if you were to be allowed out on a day pass, I have to sign it. Uh, yeah. Hypothetically, you know? There was a... Uh, there was a uh, NFL player in there with me Whoa. and it, it was the best because <laughs> because, because right? I can't say yeah it's like re- that's like real important yeah, shit for, yeah, sure, yeah, for yeah. sure but uh I really the rules know. were out the window for that guy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he was yeah. what, if you, what if you were like, yeah, there no, was a guy no. in there. I can't say who it was because, you know, NDAs and stuff, but he's a famous parody musician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, accordion. He plays accordion yeah, every afternoon. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. strange. Yeah. Uh, no, I really can't, <laughs> yeah. really can't talk about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> full name, Albert. <laughs> yeah. We called him uh, Kooky Al. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kooky Bert. <laughs> <laughs> but this dude, like, clearly had just, like, had a setup through the team in the hospital like because he would just leave and go like <laughs> have barbecues with his family oh, yeah. and then come back and we'd all be like how got what the fuck happened man yeah. that guy just went to his pool yeah. for three hours he's a millionaire yeah, yeah. <laughs> like cte'd out uh, ago, yeah, he, uh c- yeah ct i don't want to say too much but he was it was definitely uh Playing football doesn't help your brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, he yeah. was, and a lot of those guys have painkiller issues. Oh, oh that makes like sense. pretty yeah. heavy yeah. painkiller yeah, issues. And, like, they yeah. and they don't, kind of all of them yeah. have yeah. painkiller issues, yeah, and they I don't. They cover they, that up a little bit, but yeah. it's just like, like it's like candy. And the, the NFL league. is so mm-hmm. fucked up that they like test harder for weed. Than they That's do what's for crazy. They, That's like, what's crazy is they won't leave them the fuck alone on weed. Like the NBA. Leaves yeah. you alone about weed. Yeah, they all, all those weed. guys smoke weed. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's against the rules, but they don't test for it. Of course. And the NFL should be the exact same, but yeah. they test for weed all the time. And nobody's testing for painkillers because they need painkillers, right, you right, know, because right. they're legal. It but it's exist. like, yeah. but they're all fucking just hooked on that shit because it yeah. hurts. Playing in the NFL oh, yeah, hurts dude. really of bad. Course. Yeah. I'm, my fucking shoulder still hurts from high school football. Yeah. From one year yeah. of high school football. Dude, those guys are fucking... But if the trade-off is you get to be addicted to painkillers, yeah. <laughs> that's worth it. It's a, yeah, it's a good situation. Anything you can do to find a... A hook an up? excuse to be addicted <laughs> yeah. to painkillers. That yeah. is pretty tight. I, I, don't, I, like, I don't understand what, like... So Korean people do eat dogs. Uh, uh, Chinese so. people... Rita Wilson... Rita but, but so what do you, are you? Sound very she's because I'm still not. I'm not clear. You're not supposed to say that. There was a dog meat festival. I think that produced, in China that was recently canceled. But she, it's like I, I don't. <laughs> I, know. I don't understand because it's like I get it where you like you'd be like, oh, black people are always late. It's like mm-hmm. that's a, an untrue stereotype. If you say that and Chinese people are always eating okay, dogs, okay, her mother. No, that's not people that's say. That's untrue people stereotype. Well, like I, the like French people eat frogs and horses and horses. Yeah, and is the people like, well, do you make fun of French people for that? Yes, if the opportunity comes mm-hmm. up. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> Let me just say this real quick. And white women fuck dogs. 
<laughs> That's a fact. I did see a couple videos in middle school of white women fucking dogs. They love fucking dogs. <laughs> They're I, constantly <laughs> fucking dogs. They love it. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing a white woman loves more than having a dog fuck her pussy. <laughs> I've seen. I've seen it myself. Okay, so Rita Wilson. And I'm not gonna. I can't say it for sure, but Doctor Biden. What's the girl version of that? Doctress. Yeah, doctor. Doctress Biden. Nurse. She fucks those dogs. I don't know. I heard it. I don't know if it's... <laughs> I don't want to say I can confirm it, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I was so, thinking about like a like a woman like making a dog, like an old woman making a dog eat her pussy, but she does. she's doing like the, the old lady grandma thing when they have like a Bichon freeze or whatever that they make kiss their face. Mm. So it's a lady making like a German shepherd eat her pussy and she's like doing the like, uh, oh, give us kisses. Give us <laughs> oh, thank you. Give us kisses. Oh, That's I awesome. love you. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good mental image, mm -hmm. I guess. But yeah, we're allowed to talk about that stuff. You can go on fucking, you can go on Rachel Maddow and talk about that all day long. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure. And I have a problem, but you just say like, so w what kind of sauces are they using on the dogs in Korea? Right. Then everyone clams up. <laughs> that's a really good point. <laughs> and thank I, th you. That's and a I don't really, <laughs> really, <laughs> really good point. <laughs> thank you. And bro. I just want to know, because here's the thing. What if mm. the whole fucking like don't talk about it is some bull? Because the rest of Korean cuisine is probably the best food. We're there on is. the record as saying my that. favorite food there is. Honestly, hands down, the and best. I, and cuisine. I will say this: if, if I go to a Korean barbecue restaurant, if that dog is good, dog on and the they're menu, fucking using fake racism. To I'm eating it. Us from having that's uh -huh. the most important thing we need to figure out. Yeah, what if dog? What if eating dog is like their n word, where it's like the most fun it's word to delicious. say? Delicious, right? They're like, oh, you can't say it because it's racist. <laughs> only we can say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if well, this turns what? into some only we can eat dog thing, I'm not. Ha then I get the n word. You know, I think eat the dog. I don't think that's how it goes. One or the other. That's a step too I will say one or the other. If if dog is delicious, I think it's fair that they get it. I think this, that's I, this fair. is how they're going to do it to us. They're going to make. They're going to bring dog eating over here once all the jokes are done, and it's called the N word. Mm -hmm. So when you go to a restaurant, white people can't order it. You're like, can I point? And they're like, no, you have to say the menu you items out loud. It. I wanted to do like you a, can, This is a non-pointing mistake. I'll have the number 32. They're like, nice try. No, nope, there's no number say on it. Say it. I wanted to do a joke about how, <laughs> how I was sorry because of Asian hate about, about othering Chinese by Jews having Chinese food on Christmas. And some dude already... That was already done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is so fucking About awesome. orientalizing the others. Or yeah, it has nothing like to do with the fact that every other restaurant was closed. <laughs> it has nothing to do with reality, you fucking because idiot. Everyone else is it's so a bunch of Christmas. Jews in the fucking 50s were like, you know what? We're going to other these we're fucking gonna orientalize Chinese them. motherfuckers. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> God damn. People are so fucking stupid anyway, man. But you can't. The dog eating thing. You okay, really can't. We back. <laughs> we back That's different. Eating. That is a different thing. Okay. I'm going to look this up. What cultures eat dog? Mm. What about Disney's like, uh, oh, to combat uh, Asian hate, we're uh, having an Asian actress play Corella DeVille mm -hmm. in the remake. Are and they? this time she's not making a coat. Oh, I I'm, see, on I the, see. I'm on the. I'm on the. How did that take so long? <laughs> I don't know. That's yeah. good. I'm on the Wikipedia oh, page for dog meat. Are you having puppies? Mm -hmm. It's me, Corella Deville. <laughs> I've been I driven insane by I saying it. my own. Right. By the way, let's I said say, it perfectly. Let's be that's, fair. That's Disney. Let's well, be joking, fair. The joke yeah, yeah, yeah. is that uh, she's <clears throat> gone mad at the sight of her own name. I, yep. But she said it perfect. Let's she's, be fair. Well, she had to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Dog it meat. Requires, it requires. Go ahead, Adam. Excessive energy stores of dog meat. Go ahead, Adam. To power her brain to... Adam, please. In the 21st century, that means after the year 2000, yeah. dog meat is consumed in China, South Korea, Vietnam, Nigeria, and Switzerland. Switzerland! So let's give it to those damn those Swiss. Swiss. Yep. All right? The those Swiss aren't a real people. This is what I mean with the completionist thing. It's some weird bullshit German-French hybrid. Mm -hmm. so I think a little Italian, too. Yeah. The, the Swiss are more chocolate than human beings. It's true. They're Sounds cuckoo awesome clocks. to me. Sounds awesome to me. I'm trying to get suck on some chocolate-fed titties. So Swiss After all, Mr. Simpson, we are from the land of chocolate. <laughs>
Yeah, dude, you're right. And I think, Nick, to answer your question, that's exactly why it's racist. You don't hear nothing about the Swiss eating fucking, you know, bulldogs. Well, I didn't know. That's what I'm saying. And that's why we have to stop. Because their whole thing is banking. We have to shift it to the mm-hmm. Swiss to even it out. Maybe they got bad recipes. And when recipes. it's even, yeah, well, I can't, all I can think of for Swiss is dessert. What's their food even like? To be honest, I would rather eat Korean dog than Swiss dog. If I had my options, Zurich is the city there. What's a what's a Swiss? Yeah. What's a Lucerne. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want sweet dogs. Those are the only two Swiss Geneva cities. Uh, Geneva. Yeah. Do they, yeah. they? They're not waffles, right? That's is it, Belgium. Is Switzerland Belgium. a cool place to go? I mean, or you just go there for bank. I think shit. it's boring. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty. You want to get a? Uh, we get some Easter bunnies after this. I can't. Oh you right. Know that. He's oh, on right. his diet. Well, I will be eating an entire rabbit to myself. And I'm, well, that sounds awesome, and I'm mm-hmm. happy for you. They're saying as of the 21st century, dog meat consumption in China is declining or disappearing. In 2014, dog meat sales decreased by a third. Well, what the hell are they eating? Protein powder? I guess so. No, chick- they're taking they love away. Chicken dude. Feet. The motherfuckers love chicken feet. Chicken feet would suck. I know they're weird. I they're like good them. for making a broth or a stock. Shut up, Adam. They are because they have a lot. Because <laughs> they have a lot of collagen in them. Whatever, dude. They look so fucked they're up. Not, I don't eat there's them. No, there's no way to season them. Because I've been getting into like weird no, Chinese I, bullshit. Listen, I've, I've, Anytime I go to a Chinese restaurant now, I'm like, yeah, let me get the forbidden dog shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the You can eat dog shit, by the way. That's no ancient, problem. Ancient lady penis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ancient duck. Duck, duck, uh, d- uncircumcised penis cheese. <laughs> Lucky number six. Um, I have seen some chicken feet at a dim sum place that looked borderline tasty. Tasty. Yeah, but then you bite into them, and it's like they're, they're all—it's bones with a very limited amount of like, like goo on the outside. Yeah, and then it's just mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it's just not. There's not not enough there. I just I don't like the shape. I love wings. It's just a foot. I can really tell. Like, here's the thing: when I can see a feather on a piece of chicken, fucks me up. So that's the thing with feet. I so like instantly see that they're a part of an animal. That's my biggest issue with them. Yeah. It's that they reminds me I'm eating an animal. I like to just be in a fucking. I don't like to think about the moral implications of killing some fucking chicken. I like to just be chowing down on a fried piece of fucking meat that I can't identify as having belonged to anything. Yeah, and that's what fucks me up with feet. Would you ever have a like a pig's ears surgically grafted under your no, head? No, I would not do that. That's, okay. that's not has nothing to do. You said it like it was jumping off of the point we were making, and I was listening intently, I, and then you switched <laughs> it over on me and asked me if I would look like a pig I if know. I would have a surgery to make myself look like I, a pig. I don't <laughs> And I, I don't, don't appreciate that, that by I the way. I don't think that's what I do. <laughs> that's exactly what you I, did. No. You used the cadence as if <laughs> as if it was a related point to what we were saying. I, I thought you were going to ask me if I would eat a weird piece of pig and then while I'm looking at you <laughs> like you're having a real conversation with me, I recognize what you did was ask me if I would rather have ever, ever have surgery to look like a pig. Well, I didn't mm-hmm. I don't recall it being that way. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear your side. <laughs> and I'll take it into consideration when constructing further lines of inquiry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I wouldn't. Although there's nothing wrong. The pig is a noble animal. They got cool ears. I just pigs are smarter than dogs. <laughs> Pigs know they're alive. I fuck with pigs, and I, it breaks my heart every time I eat a piece of bacon. We should, we should rather. I mean, we should. Dogs deserve to be food way more, more than, than pigs. pigs. If yeah. if a dog, imagine liking Gordy more than Babe. Imagine what kind of psycho you'd have to be. Who's Which Gordy? Was Gordy? Maybe it was Gordy. Yeah, it was Gordy. The other pig. The other pig movie. Uh, oh, I don't damn. remember that because Babe came out and it was a hit, and then that's some ants of bugs. Yeah, life another studio. Yeah, well, studios always do that. Yeah, they're like there's Armageddon, Deep Impact. We've mm-hmm. talked about this. Yeah, there's yeah, that yeah, fr- yeah, the yeah. Friend Zone movies. One was Justin yeah. Timberlake. Well, in, I think in 1995, yeah, classic Kunis. Friend Zone. I think it's 1995. <laughs> there was <laughs> more Kunis more Ashton. money spent on like speculative scripts than any other year, mm-hmm. like in history. Wow, so they were just buying everything. Nice. Mm-hmm. J J K Rowling. I wish she'd A F K Rowling. Get the hell offline, lady. You keep saying transphobic stuff. AFK? Uh-huh. Away from keyboard. Oh, never heard of that one. <laughs> never heard yeah. of that one. I wish, I wish she'd uh, parents over shoulder 
Look how insecure he is. <laughs> <I know>. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't I'm sorry. You're in a room with your friends that you've known for a decade. <laughs> that you've been doing a show with for five years. <laughs> and you're sweating so hard. I'm in the sun. <laughs> you put me on the box in the sun. I got a new box and now I'm in the sun on my box. It's also You like, guys are in the shadows with your this, jokes. You have nothing to lose. Yeah, it's the role you play on the show. I know. <laughs> and the show doesn't have to be good mm-hmm. either. The show is better. <laughs> When it's bad, mm-hmm. yeah, I know. And you're still so nervous. It's sort of the opposite of. Dog I'm not nervous. I'm are, playing a little... role for my boy. Yeah, okay. I'm the role. No one can. I see wonder that. if eating dog makes the pussy taste better too. That's an interesting question. That's yeah. true. If we got any, I don't, my guess would be. We got any Korean gals out there? That my guess that is to the no. test. <laughs> <laughs> My doing, guess is that well, anybody that could board, test it. That clipboard outside the mall. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm doing a pass, <laughs> test to see if eating dog makes the pussy taste better. Would you like to participate in a quick survey? <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm from a local element, uh, middle school. I'm a seventh grader. <laughs> it's for the science fair. It's for my science fair at my school. <laughs> <laughs> I have a board. It's just us dressed in like suspenders. <laughs> trying to look like children. Just wearing a t shirt that says, Being in middle school rules. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like a giant cum stain on my pants. I'm like, Yeah, I'm, I'm learning how to ejaculate because I'm going through puberty for the first time <laughs> as a middle school student. <laughs> anyway, it's about my survey. Anyway, my teacher's going to get really mad and probably sexually abuse me and the other students if you don't let me eat your <laughs> pussy. <laughs> To find out if dog meat makes it taste sweet. <laughs> no, it's okay. We need a control too. If you yeah. haven't eaten dog, if you haven't even, as you're lo- the control group. As uh, as long as you're some type of Asian, we're good. Because mm. mm-hmm. we're doing there's a supplementary <laughs> test about mm-hmm. the sideways thing. Uh huh. I see. Because we're learning about the scientific method, and sometimes you can how you can test two things at once, two yeah. variables at once. Sometimes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you have a control. Sometimes. Anyway. It, according to literature, there's no reason why a sideways one should taste any different than a normal one. But it might. No. In fact, we've already, I already did. That was last year. And it might. That was the six. The way it project. sits in a, it might affect the way, it, you know. That's interesting. Ma'am, we're going to have to eat your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need you back in the lab. Co- she's like on the phone with the police. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're putting the handcuffs on me, and even more cum stains appear on my pants. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, time to do another experiment. Do you have any more lady officers? <laughs> Perhaps a <laughs> Korean one that we could do a test in the back of the squad car. <laughs> but why don't you send the K9 unit over here? Just fucking brutality. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting fucking <laughs> just bludgeoned in the back of the head. <laughs> Just <laughs> shut the fuck up, you weird motherfucker. <laughs> do you know how much this hurts us to have to do this to a white man? Yeah. Stop talking about eating our pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that was that, that place we went to. Love dude. that place, dude. Yeah. I can't wait Where to go Where do we back. go? No, we went to, what's it called? Nargis. We've talked about Cafe yeah. Nargis quite a bit, and you know what? We're going to the beach when it's not. Oh, how, do you, how does it, what's the name of the restaurant? I'm not going to say it. Cafe. Can I spell it? No, you don't say it. Adam, you can say it. Nargis. I'm trying. I'm imagining Let's not let how, Nick say it. Let me try and spell it. No, 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 no. Because I... Oh, it's Adam well, spell I, you know, I've been, N-A-R-G-I-S. I, no, no, I've been trying to get... No, don't... I, I, it's N-A-R-G-I-S. I, I, I muted it, so N-A-R-G-I-S. I can't... N-A-R-G-I-S. Nice been, try. You know I've been getting into spelling. No, no, no. It's fine. I've no, been, Nick was telling us he's into studying. I've been trying to get into spelling lately. We, and that sounds like a great word for me to sound out. No, it's not. And we just spend it, spelled it for you. I. No, it's A. Damn. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I pull out a board and I start writing the N word on it. <laughs> Back to the drawing board, I guess. No, we already <laughs> told you the I wasn't mm-hmm. next. I would, uh, that's my new move is at a job, messing something up. I'm like, well, back to the drawing board. And I walk over the wall and start scrolling swastikas <laughs> all over <laughs> with a Sharpie. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, this is how I blow off steam when I get something wrong. <laughs> it's the drawing it's board. It's the drawing board. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't you, you ever heard that expression? You, you drawing a picture of yeah. you raping the person <laughs> you're in the room with? As I say, yeah, my dick going into his mouth. <laughs> I'm at the drawing board. I'm drawing. (laughs) I'm at the drawing board. (laughs) There's a problem to solve, and I'm working on it. (laughs) 
Yeah. Cuomo probably had a drawing board. He's like, yeah. oh, look, mm-hmm. this is me. Drawing himself, Eating hugging your a pussy. girl. Yeah. Um, I tried to draw, but I can't do it because I'm Italian and uh, none of us have any artistic skills. <laughs> uh, all we can do is rape. <laughs> Uh, so Sweetheart, can you come in here? I'm trying to draw a picture of my penis. We're, we're, but I think we it'd went be by the science and we went by the data. <laughs> and what the science said, the dog meat does not make the pussy taste sweeter. <laughs> and now you want to get mad at me for conducting an experiment. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Cuomo finally taken down because of Asian hate. All media was telling you that if you're gonna have a, the a, the good high school experience, you gotta go get get pussy. You gotta get pussy. And you, you have to bust get fast. Pussy. I was scared of busting. You can't fast. bust fast. You can't come your pants. I was so scared of coming my pants, and that wasn't an issue. I just, in fact, the issue was my fucked up. There's not enough media for guys with fucked up foreskins out there. Yeah. You know, because they don't tell you that you might might get tugged on a little too that hard. That should be the next Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the foreskin. It's about a lemonade pitcher with a tight foreskin. <laughs> it should just be different foreskins. It That's should be true. like a foreskin universe. Yes, thank you. It should I- be like my foreskin which was taken from me as a child, mm-hmm. like traveling around, like finding Nemo, trying to find my no. penis. No again. one's interested in that. Yeah, no one cares about. No that. one Why? cares about that. Yeah, it does everyone's uncircumcised? He's got a. How cute would it be? Like a little foreskin with be a cute. stick and a it bindle. It wouldn't be cute. You know, be traveling, traveling around as a religion. America. You have decided to fo- cool forsake foreskin. A okay, Pixar okay, movie is about bring a hunter. It into race. <laughs> a hunter that's hunting and he sneezes and he m- misses his target and the bullet. Goes all the way to New York and kills a Jewish podcaster. Yeah, mm. while he's telling it, I don't when know he's while he's coming possible. up with a really bad idea for a Pixar. <laughs> I movie. think it's a good idea for a Pixar. And movie. the 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 mo- a Pixar not. movie about the hunter is called The Thing That Should Happen, <laughs> <laughs> starring Robin Williams and Eugene Levy. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Williams. Oh, I'm going to take a shot. I, oh, I've got to sneeze a little bit. And then he fires it. Yeah. And then the, Eugene Levy is like. Oh, what? How was I uh, derailing the show there a minute ago? Uh, it's about my foreskin. I didn't derail. The also, show. by the that way, was a good idea. I'm gay. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't. Derail yes. Another thing you uh, yes. <laughs> you should know about me is I'm actually a fan. Okay, well, Eugene Levy is a totally then, different <laughs> age than me. <laughs> <laughs> what if we did a Pixar movie about how small my dick is? <laughs> And it's called the dick that was too small. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a great idea, Eugene. Mm-hmm. And then as my character... Starring Dan Levy, Levy is Eugene Levy. Mm. Um, yeah. That's true. Well, I had I had more ideas, but apparently it was derailing. No, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead go so ahead. my foreskin meets Stop's foreskin, which has a home, right? And he helps no, find first my... First of all, how did you make a story... About foreskins, you're the protagonist. No, Your the foreskin, foreskin is the my protagonist. foreskin is the protagonist. No, it's not. Why? Because it, you don't even have a fucking foreskin. This is like right. this is about representation. I have, and a it's foreskin. like no. This is like when they got Italians to play Native Americans in I fucking have a westerns. Foreskin. He was We're not making a me. fucking Pixar movie about foreskins and Jews get to be the protagonist. No. Okay, <laughs> absolutely not. Jews. It's about it's got to be people with foreskins that get to be the no, protagonist. No, I'm saying he meets your foreskin. You can be a supporting. Character. They become friends. Your foreskin says, "Hey, I'm a little different, but I have a home, mm-hmm. you know." No. And he's like, "Just because I'm so tight doesn't mean that I can't be happy, mm-hmm. because I'm attached to this how jolly about, fat how about man, J- John John Brain." <laughs> yeah, okay. and he's like, "Hey, pilgrim, mind if I suck your cock?" <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Easy there, partner. I was wondering if I could suck your cock. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah, <clears throat> I think my idea was good. Well, what Listen, was your idea again? It can maybe be a spinoff if the original goes over well. I'll take a but spinoff. How about a spinoff foreskin? That would be pretty cool. That yeah, would be cool. You could attach it and reattach it. That'd be so I cool. would love to be able to, to, to <laughs> see what life would be like without it, but be able to put it back on. Oh, you don't. 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 It's like that song Detachable Penis by King Missile. Good afternoon. How are you, Dang? Yeah, this is the the uh, Iran podcast. 
I think the Iran number one podcast, the only one there. Uh, today's episode, they talk about uh, different ways to hold hands with your friends when you walk to the How store. I would like to do it with. Uh, I like to hold my my friend uh, Mirsham. I hold his penis, and uh, well, if you hold each other's penis, the police they think it is uh, your just friends. Yes, I put my thumb in uh, my friend. His foreskin, and we j- we beat each other up. And we, I just tickled the tip of his penis under the foreskin, and it is not gay. We can because it is a, it's a really bad uh, crime. We got to jail for having gay sex, but if you you disguise it as a, you know, you're is just it, hanging out with your friend. A handshake between friends. Then it is fine. Then One second. Is. Why are people going at Roxanne Gay right now? Uh, what? what the this is the Iran podcast. We are also back. We are are you're listening to the Iran Friedland. podcast with our guest Adam Friedland, <laughs> who has come me. to talk about uh, being gay. Being yeah. gay in America, they can uh, just he be is. gay for free. He, so is, uh, uh, he won the, uh, the Oscar the for man. being the gayest man yeah. in America. And his favorite, he, uh, his favorite, he wanted to bring up Roxanne Gay, his only author mm-hmm. he reads because her name says Gay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought it was a gay guy. <laughs> he first, only, he is only listened to Martin to Gay and Marvin Gay, gay and Roxanne Gay. <laughs> <laughs> his favorite basketball player is Rudy Gay. Yeah, that mm-hmm. also. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't watch sports gay. because I'm gay. Than I am. You. I am gay, but I'm I actually to, gay. I watch gay to beat off to the men, the yeah. big black men. Well, I'm so gay mm-hmm. that I fantasize about men doing girl stuff, <laughs> like sewing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I beat off to: is a man using a sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I admit that he's gayer than the, what I bit off to, which is a man don't, having a don't gay Don't forget that I'm the gayest bad boy in Iran. <laughs> You're the gayest bad boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in Iran, the baddest boy is the one who does the most gay sex, <laughs> and it is me. I am like, uh, I am like uh, Robert De Niro in Heat <laughs> in Iran. <laughs> because we do not have banks. Uh, we only have <laughs> we, we places have where you cannot have gay sex. <laughs> 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 and me and my friends, we put on body armor. Yeah. And we so go and we say, everybody <laughs> down. <laughs> and then we have gay sex in front of them. In a vault. And then we run out and have a shootout with the police. <laughs> 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 and then I'm like the uh, Robert De Niro of, of your own. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh who's Pacino? Would it be uh Amadina John? He'd be the cop. Yeah, yeah. who's Amadina John Pacino? It, it is also Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> it's Al, Al Pacino plays himself. <laughs> he just has to. He's just trying to catch gay men in Iran. It is kind of like cruising that movie mm-hmm. where he was trying to catch a gay. Isn't what? Isn't that what a hem is? Or is a hem the end of the garment? Nick, you want to get you want to get a uh, foreskin reattachment surgery with me? Like we're together? Yeah, just next to each other, holding both hands. Yeah, like holding a Chinese hands. finger trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. not together. <laughs> like that. Rebooted picture. for 2020, the odd couple. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Snyder cut, jack off and me. Snyder. Are we gonna talk Snyder cut, dude? You want to talk Snyder cut, man? I I enjoyed watching it, honestly. Mm. It was not good. It wasn't good, but I enjoyed watching Gal it. Gal Gadot is so bad at She's acting. She's so bad at acting. It's so it's funny. It's insane. I mean, Dude, so is Jason Momoa. The but. best part was when the bad guy was like, you are mine. And then she goes, I belong to no to one. To no one. <laughs> yeah. And there was like a, such, a couple really forced girl boss moments where some little girl's like, can I be like you one day? She's like, you can be anything you want. Oh, hi, Mark. And it's like, you literally can't. You you're a fucking be superhero. Anything you want, if you you're you're some fucking mythical bitch from a different fucking planet. Yeah, you're a god from an <laughs> yeah. island of women. Wait, what did you guys watch? We watched uh, Justice, Justice League. League. It would be oh. kind of tight to live on the warrior oh woman my island, god, dude. dude. Can you imagine? I want to be the, the only f- fella. I, yep. <laughs> I want to be drained. I want to. I want them to use my seed. How do they get? How do they make new bitches? Somebody must. 
gets yeah because they have babies on that mm-hmm. island it is so funny like women's biggest fear is i guess being gang raped by an island of savages is also the, the inverse of that is like heaven yeah <laughs> <laughs> you could want nothing more <laughs> it sounds so <laughs> tight yeah <laughs> it does sound pretty awesome the battle actually. of the sexes and you know what on that island we could do some experiments and i could prove to you that some pussies are bigger than others yeah I want to do a reality show called Being Raped Island. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where I don't know about the title. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that it would draw much I of hear a about audience, it. but I'll listen. I'll listen. Elevator pitch. Elevator <laughs> pitch. Let's hear NBC's about. Being Raped Island. I don't think that's going to fly. We're, okay. we're 10 contestants, five men and five women. They go to the island. And each day, one of them is raped. <laughs> mm. But it's not. It's either a group of guys or a group of girls that does the raping. And it's always whoever loses the games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is and who is it? Are you always getting raped by the different sex, or is it? Does it switch up it depending on the game? Up depending so on the men could get gang raped by men too. There's a there's a, oh, a way worse. there's a way Sicilian worse. actor we have that comes out and he's dressed as like a tribal leader. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he light there's he lights a like a piece of bamboo stick and if the smoke is white or black that determines if the sex the of race, the rapist the race of the Oh the um, race. Yeah, and then there's also the sex element I forgot about. So then there's dice. This mm. tribal diet. It's a coconut that they they bowl. So it, how many races could the rapists possibly belong to? Um, as many as exist. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So you have a a wide store mm. of rape potential rapists. Yeah, here. they have a hu- whole stable of rapists. <laughs> <laughs> and they oh, live of in, all creeds in <laughs> caves <laughs> all over the island. <laughs> 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 interesting, interesting. And it's called being raped. Being island. raped island. <laughs> <laughs> and the prize is ten billion dollars. <laughs> the prize is five hundred dollars. <laughs> if you win, you're raped for if you win, you, six years. <laughs> by the way, if you win, you get five hundred billion dollars. <laughs> and that's nice. what sets the show. And how part. do you win exactly? Um, by being the last one voted off. Oh, okay. when it gets down to two guys. Or maybe a guy and a girl, you know. Yeah, right? yeah. Or, yeah. We don't. You can't. You can't prejudge. But definitely gender. not two girls. Okay, I guess it could be two girls. Okay. They get to the end of the being raped island games, <laughs> and it's down to who gets the five hundred billion dollars. <laughs> and the host of the show, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> I thought you said it was Sicilian. Uh, no, that's the that's the tribal. That's the actor, yeah, the character yeah, actor yeah. we get to play the tribal, the wordless tribal leader uh-huh. that comes out, the noble savage. Yes, who who's got a who head dress you. on that, that was put together by hair and makeup. Like yeah. 15 minutes <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who yeah. burns the thing as part of some I ancient see, tribal rich, right. ritual mm-hmm. that was made up by UPN producers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're bringing back UPN. This is gonna be. The flagship of UPN. Yeah, we're bringing back. This <laughs> is being raped <laughs> island. Being raped island on UPN. And then mm-hmm. that show with um the guy from the Cosby Show and um Eddie Griffin, where they're mechanics. You remember that show, Malcolm and Eddie? Malcolm and Eddie, dude, I loved that show. That was a great show. That was a great show. So those are the two. Sh- we're gonna reboot that, mm-hmm. and we're gonna have being raped island. Mm-hmm. We're gonna make TV good again. <laughs> That's right. Making TV good again. Um. Yeah, where were we? Oh, two two bitches left. Right. And how do they decide the winner? Because they can't vote each other off. Oh, well, they, the- they have to have sex with each other <laughs> <laughs> on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and the one that comes first gets the $500 billion. Oh, nice. And then the nice. other one, guess what happens to her? She gets she raped. Gets She's raped. raped. Uh. I don't know about this show, man. I got to be honest. I don't want to stifle you. Yeah, creatively. I think standards and practices might have a few things to say. All right, about how that. about, okay, here's my other idea. Star Trek, but the captain is a black woman. He's a bisexual. I love uh, it. I don't know she about hot? that. We call that one a lost leader. That's what <laughs> we wrote people in with that. They're like, well, I got to watch this. I'm a good person. Mm-hmm. I got to watch every episode of this to prove that I'm a good person. Right. And then, but then they're like, well, what's being raped island? <laughs> <laughs> and then they're so wrapped yeah, up in the drug. Yeah, and it becomes yeah. a, what they refer to in the business as a guilty pleasure. Right. Mm-hmm. Being raped island. Yeah. And so are we showing the rapes on camera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, I, I it was guess. great in the late '90s where they were really pushing the envelope in terms of what you could get away with. 
Yeah. It'd just be like people outright fucking and then they just censor like the titties. Just barely. Yeah, yeah blurs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some of some I homicide, definitely jacked off to that. Watching some of homicide, they just straight up have nudity in it. That's awesome. Because they're like, we got to show it. It's murder. Right, right, right. People have to see what murder is. But maybe you're watching the DVD where it's uncensored. No, I don't think they censored it on TV. Because I remember that be- debate from when I was a, a wee one, mm-hmm. consuming television and thinking <laughs> about it. <laughs> That's funny. I don't remember shit from yeah. being a child. My no, God. what's her name? Monica Belushi. Monica, Monica Belushi, yeah. the Monica. hottest girl she of all is, time. Monica she Sophia. is so she's incredible. The, she's the hottest woman of all time. God mm. damn, have yeah. I busted nut upon nut to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, that was like the go-to. She when still looked good, too. Mm-hmm. She still looks really good. Do you see her breast? I want to sit at like a dinner table with her somewhere with a bunch of people and we're, we're having a party and then... My dick goes all the way down my leg and across the floor and then up her pant leg into, into her pussy. pussy. And then she don't, she's like, you know, like wiping her mouth with a napkin and I'm like raising my eyebrow. <laughs> 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 You're know, just coyly uh, raping her. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. That's just and if a, I had to pick. Mm-hmm. That's just a French hello. Yeah. And then I looked at the camera and I go, welcome to being raped on. Contestants. <laughs> 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 Today's challenge is to not be raped. <laughs> First, you must get go over the pit of despair, mm-hmm. and then traverse the monkey so bars. You don't get eliminated. The monkey if you is get racist raped. in this contest. Was that you don't get eliminated no. if you're raped? No, you're voted off. You're voted off. You, know, <laughs> you get voted off for not being cool. Right. You can, you can, you can, honestly, you can get your shit turned out all the way to the five hundred billion dollars. That's one. It's that's a po- one way to look at it's it. It's like real uh-huh. life. It's a popularity contest. Mm-hmm. It's got. There's no meritocracy, and the whole thing, honestly, is uh, it's an allegory for for uh, capitalism. Wow. Yeah. That's, now that you say <laughs> that, I've kind of come around on getting uh, raped. Dialogue. It's very dialectical. Yeah. I love dialectical. I love when shit's dialectical. Dude, yeah. I love it. I love it, and I know mm-hmm. what it means. Sometimes I, I think things I are dialectical, means. and then I realize they're not. I know what it means, and and what what the best part about that being dialectical is saying it and being very self aware <laughs> yeah. of how cool you sound. <laughs> When you call things dialectical, dude, I yeah. know. Mm-hmm. I love being smart. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love truly being smart, yeah. not pretending to be. The other night it was interesting. Are... I was I was drinking to myself to death while playing Animal Crossing on mm, the Switch and, yes. and reading two pages of Karl Marx. <laughs> yeah. And I thought to myself, I should tweet about this. <laughs> I should let people know that uh, I'm reading Karl. I need seventy eight faves. Yeah, I, they should. People should know that I'm reading Karl Marx in between sessions of Pokemon Snap. <laughs> <laughs> I was a 36 year old <laughs> Pokemon Snap was so fucking gay Yeah no, uh, we'll, j- j- Hold on It was No it's good No It's good the, We just take pictures Who cares Yeah but you gotta take good pictures No dude, That's <laughs> the worst that, yeah. one No no come on come, dude I'm sorry You're No you're fucking downplaying What Pokemon no, Snap is it was not a good that's, game That's what makes it good is that it's such a fucking stupid gay premise. No I mean, thanks. Like, Pokemon already is such a neutered concept of going around catching bugs and making them fight each that's other. That's cool. And they're like, well, that how is let's cool. Make, that was a fun game. Let's make it even gayer, and now you're not they're even not catching bugs, them. They're not bugs, they're monsters. You're not they're even monsters, catching them, you're just you. taking pictures. Some of them are bugs, but you're most just of them, them are bug-style monsters. But most of them aren't. So they're to, all monsters. Just strip Pocket it down monsters. and to work into the context of you're just taking pictures of them and still make it fun. It's not fun. It is fun, dude. It's fucking annoying. Well, then you know what? We're going to fire up Pokemon Snap after this, and we're going to see what kind of... You don't even have Pokemon. I thought we were watching I do, dude. I have a Nintendo 64 that has every game built in (laughs) it. It has every single one on an SD card. I had to buy it from the Ukraine years ago, and now it's available on Amazon. (laughs) It makes me very mad. Yeah, maybe I'll buy it. That I had to do some, a shady transaction with a Ukrainian man. Ooh, now for justice, my is, dick is, uh, wrongfully accused is a fucking R-rated movie, dude. They need to go. They need to make some back to making hard R movies. I want to, dude. Oh, yeah. I want to make one just yeah. like that. Oh, hard R. No, I mean it. Like the like because a lot of R. The Mortal Kombat. Have you seen it? All R-rated movies now are like the soft A version of, yes. of like yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, movies yeah. used to be. We Absolutely. need old school. I literally agree with you. And Mortal Kombat looks like a hard R action movie. Yeah. Just They're like ripping people's guts. Just out like shit. fascist cop movies. Yes. Is what they exactly. Need to bring back. Especially seen, in this political climate. Imagine, can you imagine a movie about a cop that just fucking like 
Yeah. Kill some black cobra. Guy. You make you remake no, no, cobra. Here, here's what Have you, you do. seen dragons what, no, across sh- country? Sh- <laughs> <laughs> what? Go ahead. Talk about dragons across country. <laughs> that's that's exactly what you described. No, I didn't even get to describe it because I All said, right. "Here's what you're gonna do six times." All right. And then you said, "Say here." I don't know where my chips went. I didn't. Where's say my it. boyfriend? <laughs> I, didn't I, didn't say I think I, I left didn't my. Say. You didn't say it, but your eyes said, yeah. where's, where's my, my purse? I think I left my chips eyes. in my purse. You could. Your you eyes. Can't. Your you eye, you were eyes. lost. You were <laughs> scared. Mm-hmm. Your, your fucking glance said, where's my boyfriend? I, I need scared. him. So a cop, a cop that's shot to death an unarmed black teenager and he's yep. been put on suspension because there's a bunch of protests. Mm-hmm. But then he, there's only one crime that he can solve by going outside of the law. Mm-hmm. And then he has to do it behind the scenes because the rest of the police department. So he's like secretly feeding information and beating people up, mm. uh, while like the media smears this guy. Well, I'm sorry. So wait, for, is he? I'm sorry for interrupting that idea because yeah. I think it's a good. It idea. would be a good idea. And then the message of the movie. It's not even like a redemption story. It's just uh, then he ends up getting away with no one yeah. finds <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. The case just sort of dries up. Yeah, I want. I literally do want. To, I'm gonna write an action movie like that, dude. Mm-hmm. In dragged across. Concrete. It's gonna be it's called. I, no, it's called fuck the law. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. good. <laughs> it's called fuck justice. My 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 guy is gonna be named Pussio or Fuckio Pussy Getty, mm-hmm. and he's an Italian hitman mm-hmm. for the CIA. Frank Binge. And I'm literally writing that movie. Frank Binge Dibs. was addicted to cocaine <laughs> from the evidence room. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, this is good shit. Yeah. But one day, his penis yeah. shrank. Put your hands up, you fucking faggot. <laughs> He's reaching for something. <laughs> <laughs> that kid was 13 years old. <laughs> he was seven years old. <laughs> but his dick was huge. I could see it through his pants. I could see his dick through his pants. <laughs> I thought it was a gun. It was a guy's dick. I've been doing this job 20 years. <laughs> I don't give a shit what the fucking law is. <laughs> Fuck the law. <laughs> Fuck the law. Fuck the law. Starring Stephen Dorff as Eric <laughs> Fuck. As Fuck Dick. <laughs> as Detective Fuck Dick. Hard R. Rated hard R for multiple for uses. For the N-word. The N-word gets used a bunch. By, only by <laughs> white people. And only white people say it. <laughs> <laughs> by tr- trying to relate to the black characters. <laughs> but the they're car- using the hard By saying, <laughs> you know what they think of you? They think of you as nothing more than a boot. Not me, though. I'm not going to say it. I'm the one that's different because I understand the gruff reality <laughs> of the streets. <laughs> I'm Irish. I'm, yeah, I'm... <laughs> as an Irish guy, I can relate to what because you're Because he's through. Irish. <laughs> 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 hey, Jizzasani, I heard your wife shot herself in the head with your gun. <laughs> it's none of your business, pal. Shut the fuck up, faggot. And his wife killed herself, so now he has to get pussy <laughs> while solving crimes. <laughs> Half of the pussies he gets are questionable. <laughs> he's, Most he's likely, basically rape. This is rape. <laughs> No one would believe you. She it's doesn't hot. say yes. She just stops saying no. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost certainly rape. The quintessential of the time. The quintessential meeting at like a, in, in a bunch of cargo boxes in a <laughs> seaport area. <laughs> <laughs> you got the stuff. <laughs> Do I get the stuff? The stuff. You got a fucking attitude. That's what you brought. <laughs> yeah, I miss those movies. Yeah, dude. I'm about but to the, watch like, the, the so The suspenseful many like, xylophone music. Yeah. yeah. The montage yeah. is just always a good-ass montage. Yeah. There's, there's come town <sighs> clips. That, Jesus, there's come town clips that come up when you search for that. Let's just start listening to the show. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's yeah, listen. Yeah, that's how we show. flip it it's on like the clip, guys. Episode, yeah. You yeah. know what we should start doing, honestly? Into it came into the area. There were some businesses that were no. <laughs> honestly, we should just like start rolling the good clip yeah. compilations as episodes when we don't feel like doing the show. Gay yeah, uh-huh. Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, like, you know how we went to the cabin and we did 12 episodes? Instead yeah, of doing yeah. them, just take videos from l- online. Well, these guys did all the work by putting the clips together. Well, we did We did the initial work. They did this work. It's a, yeah, it's an Uruburus. Yeah, they're taking our labor. 
and then we We're retake their it. labor. We take right, it back. Go. Here's a yeah. classic Michael Penis. Uh, <clears throat> he's from Pittsburgh. <laughs> Is he from Pittsburgh? <laughs> he's from Pittsburgh. Who's from Pittsburgh? Him and Michael Keaton. Yeah. Shut I know up. his brother. Michael oh, Penis. God, I hate myself. You know Dennis What Miller's if Michael brother? Keaton's name was Michael Penis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still would think he was cool. <laughs> Dude, I played I play Batman. I was great at Batman. <laughs> like a marquee just says penis. Yeah. I love Stone. <laughs> penis. Show. I'm with you. I love that. That's great, man. <laughs> <That's a> good <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm trying to force myself to get on that level, but I love that. <laughs> that That'd be guy, cool. Uh, that was, <laughs> he's a great actor. Tonight on Inside the Actor's Studio, I sit down with Hollywood actor Michael Pierce. <laughs> I'm James good Faggot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, That's dude, good Michael stuff. Michael Penis. <laughs> Is that Michael Shannon, but it's Michael Penis? That's good, oh, too, I man. That. Yeah. How would you know the difference? I'm character actor. <laughs> I'm actor Michael Penis. A lot of people confuse me with the actor Michael Penis who played Batman. <laughs> but I'm a different Michael Penis. <laughs> Michael G. Penis. My name is Michael G. Penis, not to be confused with the black actor Michael, Michael K. Penis. <laughs> yeah, Michael K. Penis. And, and, they, Michael were, and they were both penis. on that show. Michael Ball's penis. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost better than, than doing the show. Uh, do the show. I remember <laughs> that time. That was funny, dude. I remember yeah. that time. <laughs> That's Wait, the nice the, part about like never that, listening to the how show. Did, oh, yeah. How did that wrap up, though? That That's the more funny part at the end. Do, do you you want to really just come on? We can't. No, we, no, we can't but now do I'm that. trying to remember. Oh, it's okay. it's funny to do it as a bit for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got to get back to reading ad copy. Yeah, yeah, dude. We got to get back to talking about cushy dreams. <laughs> 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 and then <laughs> after maybe we <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we can find time. Maybe we can figure out the ending <laughs> after. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember. After we ah we go we talk about cushy. Let Green. everybody know some of the highest quality ho- CBD. <laughs> Smokable CBD. Smokable CBD. Which you smoke because you can. Because you can. Do you guys remember the w- when they were the WWF and it was also the World Wildlife Fund, fund or yeah. Foundation? Yes. Yeah, and then the, the pandas were like, you can't use the same name as us. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't think pandas talk. Yeah. Right? Well, the ones that can go to court do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm doing an impression because a lot of them speak Chinese. And right. Yeah. I want the audience to know what the pandas are saying. They wouldn't understand. <laughs> like, yeah. Because you have the ability to speak Chinese. Well, the pandas would be, yes, they would be. They speaking. would be speaking. Nick's sh- brain is sh- also sh- in sh- Mandarin or Cantonese. Uh, panda, panda, Pandanese. <laughs> His internal monologue <laughs> is Chinese. It's Pandanese. a Chinese. It's, Chinese, it's Pandanese. Yeah. <laughs> you you, you perceive, like perceive the world in Pandanese. <laughs> that's what's going on in my head. Yeah, yeah he's it's, constantly it's translating. Pan, it's Pandanese. Yeah. That's actually. That's hey, on, ba in no way. <laughs> Got some clicks the in the clicks. Clicks. It's it's clear. It's it's a, the Pandanese. Well, it's the most uh, advanced language, is Pandanese. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> a combination of various worlds. Down, call it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's this beautiful tongue that, that, that pandas and racist <laughs> autistic guys only speak. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I love doing the idea of doing like one of those like like did you know research podcasts? But <laughs> we haven't even just like look at Wikipedia. Yeah, wasn't like, like, there that fucking uh, made up shit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was intended to be a universal second language. There should be different languages depending on what class you're in, I feel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, not just accents, but full languages. Yep. So once you start making a certain amount of money, you get access to Pandanese. Yeah. Yeah. Never (laughs) below that. It's like, what is he saying? And you're like, the one go by, why, uh, and then a panda just nods at you. Yeah. (laughs) Dude, that would be so tight to be able to communicate with a panda. Yeah. Oh, my God. I would love to go down their little slides. Yeah, just a panda like looking at you and then looking back angrily at me and then saying something and then in subtitles it says I don't look like him. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> and I'm like, what's going on, Nick? Yeah. Is the panda happy? <laughs> <laughs> is the frowning panda upset? Do you like, want- I'm not fat in the panda world. <laughs> this is just what panda... We're all this size. <laughs> I can see that he's a fat human. <laughs> I'm a normal size for a panda. <laughs> Wait. Fuck that panda, dude. The panda should be fucking uh, honored to look like me. Yeah. The pandas, don't they eat like 24 hours a day? Yeah. They're always just fucking munching. Yeah, and all they day bust long. fast. Do they? I think so they gotta the get problem? back to eating. Is that the problem that they don't fuck that much? Oh, that's why they're endangered? You gotta make me a panda, dude. <laughs> we need to do a Freaky Friday panda swi- body yeah, switch. You fuck make all me this. a panda, I'll fucking... I'll mm-hmm. fill up every panda pussy I come across. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you so that, that's where the name Panda Express comes <laughs> from. Is, is there, <laughs> the, a, lot of the, a lot of the sauce is just different colored panda cum. Whoa. And, uh, they're using it for sauce instead well, of... Well, pandas come so much faster than any other animal in Chinese cuisine is... Animal cum is a huge ingredient. Yeah, that's so true. true. They, you know, I mean, I it, take, it takes 15 minutes to suck off a dog mm-hmm. yeah. to get the sauce you need <laughs> before cooking the dog mm-hmm. and then right. glazing it with its the, own one of the That's one of the biggest delicacies is a, a dog poached in its own cum. Yeah, twice, mm-hmm. twice fuck dog. They call it Beijing <laughs> twice fuck dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, the panda comes so quick. That right. It, that's why it's like you know we have we we paid ten million dollars to rent the pandas for the national zoo. Mm. That's true. But a lot of people think we rented them from some Chinese zoo, and they don't have those there. We just rented them from uh, the the big cum restaurant. Yeah, right? yeah. J- um, good uh, lucky dragon number sixty four. Yeah, B J Chang's. B J B J Chang's. <laughs> that's a big, big restaurant. Over there. <laughs> Damn, I would love to go to B J Chang's. It's just mm-hmm. a a Chinese lady with yeah. big fake tits that sucks your dick yeah. and feeds you egg rolls. Well, there is. I remember his wow. famous. That would be awesome. I'm just smiling. Famous B J Chang's. <laughs> there was that story where they had to She's close the, the Rainforest Cafe in Dallas because uh-huh. it was they built it next to like near this Asian community, <laughs> and the families were going in there and trying to suck off the gorilla. Is uh, that so? Yeah, they would go suck its dick, and they're like. <laughs> Sure, there's, the there's not. There's no cum in this gorilla's he's balls. Like, he's like, he's empty. <laughs> why, he, they would why demand he, refunds. Yeah, yeah, why? He's <laughs> empty. <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't see, I didn't realize gorillas were indigenous to China. Uh, no, well, they thought they were a different we type of panda. Pandas. They thought yeah. they were American uh, like pandas. A strong yeah. panda. Mm-hmm. Like, kind of like a pit bull versus a bulldog. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they had to close. That's where the Raiden Forest Cafe went out of business. Get out of town. Yeah. This was in where Dallas. That's what they said to those guys, too. This, mm-hmm. is in da- <laughs> this was in Dallas, you they said? It was Dallas, out of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have, they, yeah. They have that many Chinese people in Dallas. Oh, there's yeah. a big community. There's a big community. Yeah. Dude, they love the rodeo. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all new information to me. Yeah. I have to be honest. Yeah. Now, why do you? Th- why would you? Would somebody assume a gorilla was a ch- an American mm-hmm. panda? Well, they don't. Because uh, they I don't have any to, white. I would love to go to the rodeo <laughs> and um, like you know, just like like use the bathroom at the rodeo and then come out. My pants are still down my ankles and I'm like wiping my ass at the sink. Mm-hmm. My penis is out, and people yeah. are like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I'm like, sorry, this is my first. Rodeo. There you go. No, oh, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> it's my first sorry. rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, Nick really got himself with that one. Goddamn. <laughs> my fault, fellas. <laughs> Never been to one of these before. Like, oh, you, just, you have the whole spigot clever. in your ass. Yeah. You were using it like a dildo. You were fucking yourself with the sink. Spraying the sink. And there's water. Tossed <laughs> it in my ass and turning it on. <laughs> Spraying shit, shit all over the water. All over the mirror. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first rodeo. <laughs> that would be cool. That would. <laughs> that would be really funny to see, honestly. Yeah, that's the, that one. That one crucial punchline. <laughs> the build up is. Hmm. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you were going for uh, there. Oh, uh, okay. fuck. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm, ready, stuff, I'm, ready, I'm ready to do the show. I'm ready yeah. to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I 
look, break time's over, Nick. You can enjoy that image of you pulling your a- your shitty ass cheeks apart and sliding a faucet in your ass. <laughs> Well, a guy from fucking Texas looks on horrified. <laughs> yeah, I've never been to the rodeo. <laughs> Sorry, N- ain't never been to one. You mu- have you? Did you actually go in all- when you were in Austin? Ever? Never in Austin. I used to go to the Cowtown Radio in New Jersey as a child. Really? Yeah, Cowtown, right by the Delaware Memorial Bridge. I just oh, saw. A, I just saw a dead body next to the dead bo- Delaware. Memorial That's Bridge. so fucked. Yeah. I wonder how who dead it was. was it. I mean, they were loading it into the fucking like corners, man. Damn. Oh shit! Yeah, someone shit. jumped. You think? No, they're car- they got in a car accident. Oof. Oh, Come are they on. sexy? They're fucking disrespectful people. Could you I'm see sorry, their? I didn't mean to disrespect asking, the dead. Asking how someone died. Did you see? Should, I could you see the corpse's asked. penis? I did. It was hanging out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they zip it, it in? It was stuck on the zipper. That's disrespectful. <laughs> They're zipping it up. I think it's the dick is gone. <laughs> oh, a classic. There's something about Mary. <laughs> the whole dick and balls are out <laughs> of this fucking bag. Up. The zipper goes around it. <laughs> There's the body it's bag so with the fucking dick and balls <laughs> hanging out. Oh, God. <laughs> The guys down at the morgue probably have a lot of fun with that one. That's a classic morgue bit. Yeah, this guy died at the rodeo. (laughs) (laughs) It was his first time at the rodeo and he died. A fucking fucking Kohler sink (laughs) broke off in his ass and (laughs) caused internal bleeding. We're taking this guy to the morgue. It's his first time at the rodeo. (laughs) Daddy, why is this dick and balls out there? You'll understand when you're older, son. There's something about the West that you can't... Uh, the, we're here in Western That's New when Jersey. You're in, the, when yeah. you're in the West. You're in the West. Man's... Go, man's di- the di- direction in life is different. That is such a good visual, dude. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> they can pull to the bottom so, I'm sorry, Captain. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> we're out of bags. It's all like pinched <laughs> at the bottom and the top. <laughs> it's stuck. We're out of bags. We're going to have to transport it like this. <laughs> we don't want to unzip it and cause more damage <laughs> in a murder investigation. <laughs> The murderer gets off because they tampered with the penis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Classic. I got a penis you can tamper with, Adam. Why? What do you so mean? Yeah, Adam be, loves tampering. So it can't be pre- so it can't be presented as evidence. No, you're just gonna tamper with it. I don't know. It has nothing to do with it. You can tamper with something that's not in a uh, you know in a fucking court. We can just go. You know. I don't know. like fucking. It's not t- I don't really like winter? amusement parks, no, honestly. Of course, not open during the winter. Oh, I guess like I'm used to the West what are you, Coast. A fucking imbecile. Theme parks are open twelve months a year in the West Coast. First of all, fuck the West Coast. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Nick, all right. that's a good point. <laughs> all right, Nick. First of all, if you're down, like that's okay. number one, bitch. I know. A she was a hua. East Coast, Beast Coast, baby. <laughs> it's the Beast Coast. No, the it's, beast the coast. Least of, coast. it's the Beast of East Coast. It's the Least Shut coast. the fuck up, Adam. Best Coast. Stop no. fucking disrespecting the East Coast. That doesn't even make any sense. That's the Least Coast. That doesn't even make any sense. Well, the South. It's east, it's east is the, the beast of the two coasts. Absolutely. It, it's the, the beater one. Mm-hmm. It's beater than. <laughs> it's beater than the. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. It's dude. beater than the West. It's a beast, dude. West Coast, Best Coast. Uh huh. Dude, let me tell you something. When you're on the West Pacific, Coast sex coast, when you're on but the it's Pacific, sex with other men, <sighs> which is gay and bad. Ooh, look at me. I'm from California. I'm three hours behind. <laughs> Ooh. I knew yeah. uh, my clock has to be different because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. Got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I need my clock special because I'm a gay man. <laughs> Is it the morning over there? It's still night here. I can't tell because I was up all night sucking cock because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know that you guys are. You guys have had all. I have the- to go surfing later. <laughs> surfing for gay porn <laughs> on the gay internet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different internet. It's gayer. It's Google, but the background's pink instead of white. It's called GayGoogle.com. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck California, uh, fuck the West Coast, New York City, baby, okay, Woo! Brooklyn, baby, Boston, baby, Woo! Queens, Southie, Southie, 
<laughs> Guys, <laughs> when you're on the Pacific Coast Shut Highway... Shut the fuck up, dude. And you got a little bit of Phantom Planet, California, <laughs> here we come, pumping in the sound system. Okay, okay, you're winning me over okay, now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. California, here we come. You got okay. the wind going through your through your hair, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Stop doesn't have any hair. I have hair, bitch. It's and just it's, short and on it's, purpose. And the smog, the smog rating's low for the day. Yes. The pollution is low for the day. <laughs> right. You know? And you see some perfect platinum blonde, <laughs> double D breasted <laughs> okay. California girls. Okay? <laughs> then you tell me that this fucking shit yeah. hole. Tell me that fucking Boston bombing 9 11 uh, Pentagon plane crash is better than California. Okay. West Coast, Maybe. West Coast, Seattle, Oregon. I'm talking the whole West Side. Only, do they have good sushi? Oh, they got the freshest sushi. They're closest to Japan. Yeah, dude. If, I, if I'm a, if I'm in LA, I'm I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna get some tuna roll. Yeah, go to. But no then food. I'm gonna eat some sushi afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm I saying? That. I love that. I'm gonna get some fucking spicy salmon roll. We're gonna do this, and show. then I'm getting the Japanese fish cuisine. We're after We're gonna that. do. Listen, I know that also. Come Town gets no media recognition in terms of best podcast list. We've best been robbed. We've list. been robbed. Yeah, New why York the fuck Times don't they write about fuck us the media, in the dude. New Yorker? magazine <laughs> i'm trying to be in the new yorker magazine dude if we got I'm trying to be in the fucking the new yorker, yorker yeah. magazine a lot of people say the show is misogynist first of all i don't and know racist. what that fucking word means how about this massage this dick yeah yeah <laughs> california california eat and come <laughs> what were we doing dude. before sucking out of my dick i love how like all the people in california that are like Oh, yeah? Well, California's just going to leave the union. Good luck with everything. We produce all the agriculture in the country. And it's like, none of the people saying that are farmers. Also, like, yeah, all those farmers probably... Also, there's no the water. Also, yeah, where are you going to get that fucking water? <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the farmers don't want to leave the union. Yeah, the farmers hate you. Also, weren't they, aren't they always... Don't they always talk about joining Canada? And it's like... Yeah, um, you would have to join No, Mexico. no, it's like, hmm, where should you should join the white fucking the country you have nothing, no geographical link to, <laughs> or the actual country we stole you from yeah, yeah. that's full of fucking brown people. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, why don't you want to join they fucking Mexico? They would never consider that. They would never <laughs> consider that. <laughs> no, uh, I think the fantasy is that they join up with like New York. That it's like New York. Probably like Seattle. No, let me tell you, as a native New Yorker myself, I fucking hate you, California. You will never be a part of New York. <laughs> You're yeah, barely a native New Yorker, dude. Yeah, I'm a native New Yorker. You fucking were born here, and then you got whisked. I live. Away I to live a here. Little suburb. I Nick live here. Gabagool I've lived here Mullen. for 35 years. <laughs> okay, and California will never be one of the nine boroughs. <laughs> well, there's nine boroughs, there's, eleven towns. Yep, that's, right. that's the New York we number. Got the Bronx, Queens. Stat Island. Staten Island, Staten Island, Philadelphia, Phil- Philly, uh, uh, Boston little- Market. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys have you guys ever hung out in Staten Island? Never in my life, dude. It's like the island, the cool island vibes, the Shallon Allen. Yeah, dude, it was pretty chill. Oh, down it, there. they just got a lot of hammocks and shit. Everyone's wearing yeah, Hawaiian yeah, yeah. shirts. Every, it's like sort of aisle. a Jimmy Buffett margarita kind of <laughs> yeah. vibe. Hell yeah, dude. Staten Island, <laughs> Staten Island, man. Yeah, Irie. We did that bit already. So did we? We probably yeah. did. We definitely did. Um. So, uh, what are the other don't boroughs? Yourself. On I got the, the show. five. Look, they got a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge. Wow, that's pretty good. When I think CBD, I think the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. Which is weird because none of it. It's all from like. It's all from those like obnoxious, like Northern California. Oregon. Yeah, weed country. Oh, weed country. Well, New York is about to be. Anybody that's ever been like, oh, I really gotta go. I I gotta go see Humboldt or whatever. Yeah. It's like just stay there forever. Don't ever come For back. For sure. Yeah. I have. <clears throat> No patience, none whatsoever for for California, but especially Northern California. That's right. Mm-hmm. At least Southern California has the you know the courtesy of announcing itself as just like uh, retarded trash. Mm-hmm. Northern California, where they're like, oh, we, we got coffee shops and we're intelligent. So true. We're they smart. don't have those in Southern California. Mm. They got none of that shit. <laughs> they do not have a single coffee shop. No. They, they got have fake tits. And they, and they show up here in New York and they're like, I'm just trying to get a fucking burrito, bro, and go surfing. Mm. And I'm like, <laughs> 
I'm like, pal, you're in the fucking wrong what? place, chief. Yeah, I'm like, pal, I'm just trying to get through this damn rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. I'm struggling. My ass is so dirty. I've been I too scared to go to the bathroom. My pants are soaking wet. <laughs> And now my socks are soggy too. Because I keep, covered in shit. <laughs> and they're wet. I'm all squishy. And from, I'm I'm afraid part of the sink broke off into my ass and it's causing internal bleeding. All, my dick I hope zipped I'm up okay. in this body bag and my shoes are all squishy. <laughs> I hope I'm I can trying drive to learn home. how to go to the rodeo. <laughs> Dude, my friend sent me some tweet from some fat woman. It was like, let's read it. Fat women love, like, the fat activists love using capital letters more than, like, anyone else. (laughs) They're always like, don't you fucking dare. And it's because their fingers are heavier, so they hit the keys harder. It's true. That's how you fatly type. Yeah. Um, But, uh, yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can find this post that they sent me. Um, Because what's been funny, because they took a huge L with the pandemic, because, like, this shit started, and they're Mm -hmm. like, the people that are mainly at risk are uh, big fatos. Yeah. And they've spent the last, like... Big type of bitches. Yeah. They've spent the last couple of years um, cheese lighting into people... Cheese lighting people into believing that... Uh, <laughs> cheese lighting. Yeah. Well, that's when a fat person is, is <laughs> trying to trick you into thinking that... <laughs> they're grease lighting everyone into... Um, yeah, here we go. This is woman says... If everyone's vaccinated by June, July, the fat phobia this summer will be beyond intolerable. It's been terrible, but y'all will <laughs> truly show zero respect. I can feel it. What? <laughs> Please don't be that person. Imagine being so fat that your body can travel through time. Her, I don't. Her stomach reaches into the future, and it can tell. What, I don't understand that take though. That they want the yeah. that the quarantine was good to, for. Resi- the for take, stopping the, fat phobia. The take is being mad about something that hasn't happened yet. And then, then the follow-up tweet, because if that one wasn't already, like, psychotic enough... <laughs> demented. Yeah. You fuckers are going to let people feel alive and beautiful and safe and free in their bodies. <laughs> bodies that kept them going during a pandemic. Don't you dare shame them. Two-piece swimsuits for mm-hmm. everyone. What the fuck is she talking about? I don't know, dude. What does that even mean? Um, yeah, I mean, it's like somebody should just interrupt this woman and be like, "Do you need like a fig Newton?" <laughs> <laughs> um, can I get you maybe a couple of uh, goldfish? Oh god, yeah. I feel like fat women also took a, a slight L because the Karen thing was coded because most of them were also mm-hmm. big, big, big type of bitches too. Were they though? I kind of, I had a feeling. I, I got that feeling. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I thought they all were like kind of like maybe dumpy by virtue of being in their 40s, but then like, you know, with train hair. That's what I imagine a lot of them. Like (laughs) fucking drops of Jupiter kind of look. (laughs) (laughs) Like Um, the band train. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That weird like forward swoop bullshit. Why do women get that haircut? Um, I think it's like... uh, if you're a woman in the Midwest, you hit 35. Mm-hmm. You get that haircut. We should nuke the Midwest. The, I'm, I do not care about the Midwest. They should whatsoever. put Israel in, in the middle of like Minnesota. I would love to see an intifada between fat women mm-hmm. and I, the IDF. Yeah. I think that should be, that should be the next... Uh, That's the thing. Is like it, the People would be fine with Israel if they were just oppressing a type of people that nobody liked. Exactly. Which is women from the Midwest. The Palestinians are far too likable. Yeah. Yeah. No, they are, dude. They got the best kaffir. It makes me feel like I'm on a picnic. I watched this documentary last (laughs) night on chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh Uh-huh. Also known as myelitis encephala or something fucking... Sounds stupid. It's one of these fake diseases that only women get. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like look, ovarian cancer No, like yeah. fibromyalgia Or fucking uh, Some uh, thyroid yeah. shit What's no, fibromyalgia? It, they're diseases that sounds that, real they're Diseases that have no like uh, Biological markers basically mm-hmm. So there's no physical symptoms It's just like My body hurts and I'm tired <laughs> And then they like keep going to the doctor And to the doctor's like Yeah, you have uh, encephalogylus <laughs> My Le John Le Gilo Vodius. John <laughs> Lithgow. They're like, I John knew it. I knew I was chronically ill and that I should be in bed every day. And I, now, look, it's, it's, it's for some, whatever reason, 
all of these people who have this disease happen to live lives where not going to work is an option. <laughs> right, yeah. right, 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 right. Where staying in bed all day fucking long is a viable option. Yeah. Granted, it's pl- it's a huge burden on the people around them that love them, but it's still a fucking option. Right. And, uh, yeah, no, I watched this documentary last night. Now, I could be wrong. Yeah, you probably are. In two years, <laughs> we could find out that there is, there is some kind of, of, of evidence that these diseases exist. Yeah. But I will still call them fake because I don't like any of the people that have these diseases. What did they do to you, man? Um, are nothing. You, are you mad they figured out an even be- bigger grift than podcasting? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <basically. laughs> Anyways, now yeah. the documentary is so funny. It's just mostly like. It's this woman interviewing other women that are just in bed through Skype. So <laughs> she's like on her iPhone and she's just like, um, you know, if we can only do like 30 seconds or whatever, that's fine. But like, how does this disease like make you feel? You know, and then this other bitch will be like, tired. <laughs> what is it, chronic fatigue syndrome? Chronic fatigue syndrome. Yeah, they're just always tired. Yeah, and then and then yeah, they're always tired or they're in pain, unless they have they're like they have something they want to go do. <laughs> in which case, it's like, oh, it was a good day. I was walking again, and I didn't need the wheelchair. Right. But then it was time to do the dishes. And I had a- <laughs> <laughs> Once we got home. The Something flare up started again. Yeah, it flared up. For some reason, my nice vacation to the Grand Canyon was all I needed to run around and <laughs> hike. But the second I got home, it was right back to bed. Something about the energy of the home. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. This, this woman's poor husband, the whole movie, he's like, you know, he has to set up a camp out in the backyard because she's like, I think it might be the mold in the house or whatever. Uh-huh. So she's making him change his clothes every 20 minutes. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> her, like husband. And there's a scene where he's like, I just changed my clothes. Yeah. And she's like, well, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. If you ch- wore the clothes in the house and come back, we're going to have to throw the tent out and buy a whole new tent. This guy's like, "I." he's like, this feels insane to me. Yeah. <laughs> Can you understand that? <laughs> And she's like, look, I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking... What's the... Did they get divorced? Uh, no, but the final shot of the movie is her, like, trying to tape him on an iPad, and he's just, like, pushing it out of his face. <laughs> <laughs> she's like... And then there's all these scenes where she's like, I just feel like a burden, and, like, I'm, t- I'm sapping energy from your life, and he's like, you bring so much joy to my life, oh, you know? Jesus Christ. And it's like... No, you can't help that person. The truth is, you do not. Yeah. Even if you did at some point, yeah. that's gone from all these extra dumbass chores I have to do. Yeah. I mean, maybe she still gives good neck, though. Nah. You don't think so? The whole point is that you don't want to suck dick anymore. That's why you're so tired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, what if she just, what if he just, you know, she opened her mouth and kind of. Let my man. Just Anyways, off, my thing is, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm angling for. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait until people forget I did this episode. Okay. And then I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna get diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and okay. live, <laughs> live off the dole. Love that. that Do they get any kind of? Uh, can you get disability for that? No, well, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna have a government anymore. The class for the, the fat, smart kids, the fat class with, with all the smart they kids, should, which yeah. is where I was. Yeah. There should not be a fat class. Yeah, I wouldn't have not have been in. Uh, your son is in uh, the GT program. Oh, gifted and talented. They're like, well, girthed and tubby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a similar class. Um, it's a girthy and tubby class. <laughs> they just let it's him for play. For the fatter students, because their hands can't wrap around the normal size pants. <laughs> You have to have a novelty pencil. How so fat would your hands have to be? And then, and then <laughs> a calculator that's only got four buttons. <laughs> for, the, for the larger students, like Stavros. Um, and instead of desks, we just have beanbag chairs. That sounds fucking good, dude. Yeah. Joke's on you. That yeah. sounds pretty cool. Okay, guys. Here's your schedules for the year. As you can see, period one is Lunch. cafeteria. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> period two is cafeteria. <laughs> period three is recess, or you can choose the elective of cafeteria. <laughs> Four sounds applied great. math. That's mostly figuring out how many cupcakes. You can <laughs> 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 I'm 
number five is science, <laughs> which is looking through a microscope at your dick. <laughs> 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 so, number seven, like period seven is social studies, where we mostly just tell you how to accuse other people of being the ones that smell bad on the bus. <laughs> Very important in a fat person's life. Number six is Spanish, and it's mostly just reading menus. Eating tacos. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How to pronounce fajita <laughs> and mole and Guacamole. <laughs> Uh, you know, you joke. That sounds stop, great. Stop. Did you have the experience with a little kid? We go to a restaurant and like see like all the shit, and you're like, "Damn, that's for adults." Like these. Oh yeah, yeah and the, the kid yeah, menu. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, say yeah. that you were too mature for the kid menu when you were like a no, that's four you. year old. Fat that is kid. you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you I, did that. I would think that a fat no, kid. I mean, excuse me, just a five year old with <laughs> business cards. Where <right? laughs> <laughs> you brought a briefcase to school? No <laughs> way, <laughs> dude. <laughs> briefcase filled with baseball cards. No way, dude. I'm, these are for my office. I remember. I don't have a bedroom. I have an office. I remember a time when my parents. Took us to the Chinese buffet, and it was like kids under like eleven or something uh, eat a certain. And this fucking lady, like my mom, had to insist that, that I was eleven. <laughs> that I was under the thing. She looked yeah. at me. She's like, "No, he's right. got to pay full yeah. price." And my mom was like, "Look at his hairline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his pubes." Yeah. I was so fat. They were like, "No." They tried to like strong arm my mama to make me pay the regular fucking price. <laughs> Zabaros <laughs> has no pubes. I promise. Zabaros is completely hairless. He's uh, a smooth boy. I think I got pubes pretty late in the game. Yeah, me too. Like fourteen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 13, not that late. Fourteen. Yeah. Yeah, I was. was rough. I think I was thirteen. But it, it was yeah. that. It wasn't like. But you fucked. It wasn't not at thirteen. <laughs> Didn't you fuck at like uh, fifteen? Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you fucked young. But that's by that time all the pubes come in. In your mind, it's like puberty takes so long. But that's because like. Yeah, I mean, compared to now, now you have I'm no just, patience. I just let years slip by. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's yeah. You don't have patience. Yeah, I didn't have patience till like I can't like the woodworking shit. I can right. do. I did not have the patience for it till the last like four years. Yeah. yeah. As a younger yeah. man, I was too. Hot. All you had patience for was bowling yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day. <laughs> oh wow, that already feels like a different episode. Yeah, the bowling. That's how long. That's how long it's been. Um, well, that that should do it for today. Is that it? Would you buy a gun if they let us buy guns here? In New York, probably yeah. not. If they like change, if the law radically changed, I don't know. see a reason to have one because they're fun. Yeah, but you can go yeah, to like a firing range and fuck around with them. But you have yeah, to you have can also one go. House. You can also go buy a prostitute, but it's much funnier to own your own sex That's life. True. <laughs> Nick's sex life is chained <laughs> up at the <laughs> foot, of, at the foot iron, of the recorder okay. right That's now. That's iron much <laughs> ironclad argument. That's a great point, Nick. It's yeah. much better to just have a woman chained to your radio. I prefer. Your see, <laughs> that's where we differ, dude. I prefer. The, you have too much maintenance. You always have to get her pussy retightened at the pussy doctor. Isn't it fun to have one in your house? You got to oil your own. You got to oil. You got to disassemble an oiler. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I would rather just show up, fuck the prostitute, mm-hmm. the prostitute owner. Yeah. He's in charge of tuning her up. Mm-hmm. I like going to get, meeting up with the prostitute. And having just a nice conversation yeah. about mm-hmm. what her vibe is, yep. who her guys are, doing kind of a WTF <laughs> with her. Yeah, yeah, you hire prostitutes to make them call you Mark. <laughs> so call who you Mark guys? Maron. <laughs> who <are> you, <laughs> you take them to a garage and you interview them. There's probably their some shitty are. comic that's like, yeah, I started a, uh, the theme is I interview prostitutes. There's a really sure. bad, uh, there's an artist guy that did a thing where he'd hire prostitutes and have them draw him. Draw him how? Which I think is like, and then like he would probably sell their work for fucking for a lot of money. Of dollars. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? I forgot the guy's name. Garfield. It's James, Jim Davis. James, <laughs> Jim James Davis. Davis. <laughs> that's before Garfield. That would be so awesome if Jim Davis was getting mm. prostitutes. Think, that's it's just Jim Davis. He's like just fucked a prostitute, and she's like sprawled out on the bed, and he's smoking a cigarette, and they're both laying there, and he's like casually just drawing Odie on her inner thigh. Yeah. She's like, oh, Jim. <laughs> you worked my fucking box over like you wouldn't believe. She's a local just smoky, yeah, Bloomington, just, Indiana prostitute. Right, just drawing John Arbuckle's face on one of her ass cheeks with a <laughs> yeah. sharpie. I got a great idea. Just sit yeah. still. Dude, he brands them. Yeah. That's how you know you got fucked by Jim Davis. You got like, G'd. You're fucking welcome. You're welcome, whore. I'm worth $1.9 billion. <laughs> every time someone uh, fucks your ass, don't yeah. think about James. Yeah, they'll remember that Jimmy Arbuckle was here. <laughs> James, this pussy property of Jim Davis. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> who do you think fucked more, him or the guy who drew Family Circus? He just draws. He draws Garfield mm-hmm. like sitting facing on her inner thigh, but facing like towards her knee, mm-hmm. and Garfield's tail is just sort of shoved into her pussy. In her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That would be awesome, dude. Garfield's just smiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Or a, ta- a cat's tail could be pretty good at tickling a clit, you'd think. Yeah. 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 Garfield's big puffy tail. Puffy tail tickling a mm. clit. But what if the girl's allergic to cats? That's a great question. Then her clit would get itchy. Yeah. But then scratching your clit probably feels good. Yeah. It's the like more beating you scratch off. it, the more itchy it gets. But wouldn't scratching your clit feel like beating off? Think what? about that. I mean, girls rub their clits. That's what I'm saying. Do so women do that? Yeah. I don't do know. They? Scratching their clits More so like they it bleed? Work? Like it work, sure. Mm, yeah. No, not till it bleeds, Adam. It's a light scratch. It probably feels good. What else is in the news, folks? Demi Lovato, uh, non-binary. Yeah. Really came out as they them pronouns. I'll take yeah. some of that. They it's them. Interesting pushing. coincidence. Interesting that uh, she comes out as non-binary the same week that I come out as uh, not being gay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like the media it completely ignored mm, my right. story. That's right, a, that's like a Friday. Because you remember stuff. that? Just like this, like four days ago, I was insisting that I wasn't gay. Yeah, right. <laughs> but see, the problem is no one was buying it. <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the old <laughs> tragedy of the market. Yep. <laughs> I believe is what the philosophers call that. You couldn't, you couldn't unload. You couldn't yeah, fucking I trade have all of this, shit. I have all of this for I'm, Nick is straight stock. <laughs> it was trading at negative yeah. five hundred thousand dollars. I believe somehow. they call that the tulip crisis. <laughs> Great Danish tulip. Uh-huh. I, when I worked at that cell phone kiosk, yeah, mm-hmm. there were these like deaf girls, and one of them was like pretty fucking hot. Yeah, I fucked came her. by. I actually fucked her. I fucked her before I actually you fucked did. her way before and you she, did. And she—that's she told me Mm-mm. that nope. she, she never fucked you. No, I told her to tell you that. No, I know what. No, no, you always do but that. I stop. Fucked her. No, you don't tell girls not to tell us that they fucked you yes, before they fuck us. Yes, what year did you? When, when, what year? What is the yeah. date and year that you fucked her? March. 16th, 1995. So it was mm. 1994 when I fucked her. <laughs> no, no. Did I say 95? Yeah. I meant 93. And I was using the Chinese calendar, uh-huh. so it was actually <laughs> 6,000 years ago is when I fucked her. Oh, shit. Stop, you're four years I old. four years old. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I, I said, <laughs> when I said 1994, I meant 1994, year of the rat. Mm-hmm. Uh, ac- according to the Meiji. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, 19- yeah. <laughs> so you went back in time and fucked her? No, I've been alive for hundreds of thousands but what about her is she also uh, like a vampire or something Uh, this was a woman from many many eons past (laughs) who you don't even know I thought you were talking about the deaf girl I was talking about a deaf girl she's like a deaf Highlander no she's died Probably, yeah. I went probably I, around. I, got it. I went into a time machine <laughs> and I fucked her. Actually, no, you didn't because yes, I did. No, I actually I am time close personal friends with the inventor of the time machine. Uh-huh. No, you, and he said the gay men aren't allowed to use you it. You went so. no, no. See, <laughs> actually, you went no. into the gay guy's no. time machine. No, and I went into the straight guy's <laughs> time machine. There's two time There's machines. Two. There's and not two. Time you can gay. only have gay sex. First of all, if there was a gay time machine, it would only go into the future where things are better for those. Yeah. No, it was so hotter, dude. You, it was every, hotter to be everyone's gay. gay. It was scary. No, they were went, really get. Imagine you used the gay man. out in the fucking forties in a warehouse yeah. that you, you and all your gay friends you rented. Uh-huh. Went on the gay, gay the gay man's time machine forward to the moon, mm-hmm. which no. has been colonized. Not true. Where the gravity is lower, which allowed you to become so morbidly obese because you never considered the implications. Ah, that's know. interesting. And then I you came back to all. regular time after no. having gay sex on the moon no, for didn't. hundreds of years. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Wait, when did he time, this time? Stav, I know your life. Dude, We've I been didn't have with gay sex on the moon for hundreds of years. For hundreds of Take years. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, anyway. I was in ancient China having sex with a deaf girl at the mall. <laughs> anyway, I was, you were talking to that girl that I fucked. Go ahead. No, 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 no. What? Again. What? There are two time machines. <laughs> One of which is for gay men and goes to a future on the moon. Wait, stop. What were you saying about being gay in the 40s? 
They were fucking in warehouses? Yeah, like, you, I don't know, whatever yeah. the fuck you... Dude, truck pro, the Prohibition era, the 19... 19- yeah, uh-huh. yeah, 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 a speakeasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were gay speakeasies. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's probably true, actually. It was probably yeah. awesome. Like, I think like, they used to go... It's probably scary to be mm-hmm. gay, of course, but when you, like... That's you like know the, whole, the whole plot of Miller's Crossing shit? is. Uh, yeah, they're going in flatbed trucks, garbage trucks. They were fuck. They're cruising at no, the. No, literally, Miller's Crossing is about like a secret gay romance. See, sweet man. Suck on my dick yeah. and lick my balls. Suck. My Nothing feels dick. good as gay, gay fucking sex. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Having gay sex with <laughs> men. Fucking Suck guys in the ass sucking on the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Mentos, I'm gay. <laughs> Suck my penis. Suck my, Suck my asshole. asshole. Yeah. Suck there you go. My penis and fill my asshole full of goo. Mentos, it's for gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, shout out to Mentos. Yeah. I love those commercials. Those mesmerized me as a child. Yeah, yeah, me too. Because they were weird. It's a great they were, jingle. They were, they were like European or something, right? Like they Mentos? They feel American. Those commercials. I don't know. No. It was just like a guy and he's like, the, the parking space is like, their parking lot's all filled up or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he like he takes a Mentos and then he parks in the handicap spot, <laughs> puts on like a bicycle yeah. helmet, and he's like, uh, uh. <laughs> and then the policeman's Mentos. like helping him walk across the street yeah. as he pretends and to be retarded. And he winks at the camera. He winks at the camera and holds up the Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> Mentos freshness. Mentos fucks you in your ass. Mentos, you're gay. <laughs> For 5,000 5, years, years, I've been having gay having sex, sex on the <laughs> top, on of, the top of Mount Crushmore. <laughs> cursed for nothing but gay sex for 5,000 years. Cursed to have gay sex <laughs> until this ring is removed from my cock <laughs> by a warrior. <laughs> Only one war. Maybe like knights come by and he's like, "Do you have the strength to remove the ring from my cock?" And they're like, "I don't want to do that." Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, please. I don't care if you don't. If you keep yeah, having do I gay get anything sex? for <laughs> stopping you? Please, like, please, I will give no. you a couple. I'll give you like, like a hundred bucks. The prophecy said that someone would. <laughs> But I, I, there's a knight who's supposed to remove the ring from <laughs> no, my... No, chill out. I'm not... It with can that only be yeah, true yeah, love's I'm kiss. That that I thought there was some bitch up here. That <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I just they told to, me there was a damsel in distress. Yeah, they're not some old guy. I'm the damsel. Saying, that I, no, it's just a human being in need. I've been... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm HIV positive. Can you please just take the ring? Dragons keep having sex with well, my It's ass. a pretty nice ring. You could probably <laughs> sell it for... <laughs> Two, three hundreds, <laughs> whatever our dumb currency is, Lyra. <coughs> For four thousand years, I've been having gay sex. For five thousand eons. <laughs> Cursed from the dawn of eternity. And now I've been. The gods take what they please from my ass. Into Mount, into Mount Killamore. <laughs> having gay sex with wayward travelers. <laughs> <laughs> gay sex with ogres and trolls. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1985. We're boomers. We're fucking. Yep. We can't get AIDS because we're straight. <laughs> Only queers have Only AIDS. Only gay. They're finally doing something about these gays. Reagan's making guys like me feel like top of the world. I'm wearing suspenders. Damn, it I must have been haircut. awesome to be a white man in 19... Absolutely. An upper middle class white mm-hmm. guy who gets haircuts in fucking 1985. Yeah, it's sick. Oh, be, that was it, dude. That was the apex. It gets, yeah. Because it'll never be good, you know, like everybody just wants to f- like make things equal. Which, you know, I mean, maybe some people are, are just want to invert whatever the hierarchy is, but that's not going to happen. Right. It'll no one will ever have it good as those that guys. That peak, did. dude. That was it. it was the best. They're just constantly it. listening to that song. Because Everybody it's after wants the to civil rights the movement, where they're under the impression that, like, yeah, we already fixed all that stuff. Yeah, no, we're good. There's no more racism, right? Because I mean, if you're like a guy in the '50s, there has to be at least a part of you that's like, this is wrong. Looking at the colored section in a restaurant, being like, that's I, worse. This seems. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we should be doing. You at that. least had one hamburger ruined yeah. briefly. Mm-hmm. You're like asking the waitress. You're like, sorry, how is this part of the theme? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a segregation theme. Yeah. It's like, I bet a ton of those motherfuckers were like, nice. Mm-hmm. It probably felt awesome for most of them. It's got to be funny to be like like one of the only Indian families that came to America in the 50s. And then they like go to a restaurant or whatever. And there's all these black people in the colored section. And they just don't know what to do in Alabama. They're like, ah, fuck it. I guess you can eat with the whites. <laughs> and then <laughs> the black people have to be like, come on, man. Come on, dude. We've been here no forever. Fair. We've been here forever. And they're, they're like, well, you know, it says blacks only, not brown people. So That's mm-hmm. true. No, they would have thrown them right in. I, I will say, I hate to say it, to they side with s- these people. <laughs> Who, the Indians? No, I don't hate to side with them. Some of them Stop are Stop hates it. No, I love their cuisine. I have some very good friends from I the love, subcontinent. I love, yeah. It's funny. Indian food is like fucking now. It's like what? Fucking, where it's like, I love it, but I don't want to deal with the consequences. <laughs> yeah, I can only do it every like couple yeah. months. It just makes me feel like absolute shit. Yep. And then I got to go get tested afterwards. <laughs> I have to see a doctor to make sure my insides Your are Your ass is <laughs> uh, ruined forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're back. And the <clears throat> SD card ran out of space yesterday and <sighs> instead of finishing the episode. <laughs> Which Weird. we, in hindsight, probably should have done. Yeah, because now we're going to repeat a bunch of shit. <laughs> I yeah. don't even remember what we said. No. Yeah. said something about Brendan Fraser getting raped. Was that in there? Uh, I don't I know. Think I think we missed that. That's, yeah, that did. That was yeah. a great one. That was good. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Who gives a shit? I don't care about this fucking stupid show or anybody <laughs> listens to it. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Yep. Hey, guys, suck our dicks, guys. Yeah, yeah fuck you if hey you Hey, guys, <laughs> suck our fucking dicks. Yeah, man. if you listen to this show, you should kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lick our fucking nuts <laughs> and suck our fat balls. Me likey gay sex. Me likey gay sex. Me likey gay sex. <laughs> Me likey gay sex. Me likey gay sex. My asshole. My asshole. <laughs> I like penis. I like butt cheeks. Fucking me in my anus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Mm-hmm. That so that's good. good. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> I like it. Whoever smelt it dealt it, pal. Yeah. You smelt it, bro. I can't. Did. No, I've been up all night doing cocaine, so I can't <laughs> smell anything. I did just wake up and take an Uber here mm-hmm. as soon as I woke up. They're saying that there's fentanyl in the coke around Uh-oh. New York. That's what they're saying. So I've been all around town like Charlie looking for the golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Just ready to go to the, the big candy factory. Oh, in the that's sky. awesome, dude! You would get yeah. That's a get out of jail free mm-hmm. card. Your death becomes so tragic instead right, of no. suicide. Nick is doing it to protect Come the women with me. of Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he died Take a hero. This IV <laughs> and inject yourself with a little bit of Chinese heroin. <laughs> you can die. And everyone <laughs> will consider it, you know, that makes you an artist in a yeah, roundabout yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a tragedy. Yeah. Joining the, joining the 27 Club at 32 years old. Yeah. You know? Dude, I'll listen for you. I'll go in. 32, 33 is kind of like the comedian's 27 Club. Yeah, for sure. You're a little bit it's too true. old for it to be cool. Yeah, yeah musicians. A little bit of a, a late start. Musicians just, live fast, die young. Get comedians famous kinda, earlier. You know? Live stupid, die medium. Yeah. Right. <laughs> die in a hoodie. Die, yeah, yeah right. Die in an apartment you're sharing with four other comics. That's and, right. And it still takes a week for them to find your body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no con- discernible difference in the smell, really, yeah. with a corpse there. They're like, why? How did this, how did this Lunchables expire in the fridge without this getting eaten? <laughs> Damn, dude. They're that talking would... shit about you mm-hmm. one room over while you're dead in yeah, your bedroom. Like, He's not, mm-hmm. It's his turn to do the dishes. Yeah. Dude, being in your 30s and having a chore wheel, th- you should just kill yourself mm-hmm. then. There's no way around that one. Yeah. Come with me. Look at my dick. Yeah. Put it inside of your pussy. Goddamn. Thank God that didn't happen. The fentanyl? No. Uh, oh, oh! Thank God. The, the, the career path that we're supposed to have. Right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> oh my God. The way it's supposed God. to. Adam, you would have been fine. 
Yeah, I mean, you would have con- you would have continued doing paralegal stuff, and then eventually, like, <coughs> yeah, that's a real been the hostess at your friend's like art museum, or right, something. right, no, right. That's for a, sure, that's your friend would have like a ga- jo- girl job. Yeah, yeah and that's you would exactly. have, that's where you, you have would. the same body type as some of them. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a, that's a hot twenty. You would have been no, 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 been no, a, no. Don't try and throw hot in now. Mm. But I respect all the hostesses. <laughs> no, it's too late now, brother. No, there's there's a couple gangly bitches with your type of fucking body. Yeah, that's who you have been. In yeah, a gallery, with you could wear similar blouses. Yeah, I don't know anything about art or gallery. you, but you love to pretend to know shit. And you love to pretend, to and know that's shit. the main part of that job. Love I do love pretending social, <laughs> social in, in that regard. It, it really, do be like that. Yeah, 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 dude. You're a little fucking social guy. You're over yeah. there getting drinks with people. Yeah, mm-hmm. do you, you would have schmoozed your way into the middle class, even after your comedy career had failed. Listen, I, I, I would be I fucking made a brave choice in my life to. Not go to law school and pursue my passion <laughs> mm-hmm. of stand up com- comedy. Listen, Dude, I, I would be, been, my life would be so fucking I pathetic. could have been married to a mean Jewish girl and had yep. kids and been a lawyer mm-hmm. and been represented. There's still time. You'll end up there. Oh, potentially. That's your What if that's I your, go back as an adult? That's your destiny. As an old man, as an old to man law to law school, yeah, with it's a like mean Jewish lady. I remember, I Jewish remember one. being. We like, all end up where we're supposed to be. I I'm remember being twenty five and, and living in that that place in Chinatown, and it was like, you know, you think like, what happens if I failed? And it's like, oh, it already happened. Yeah, <laughs> this is. Our, yeah. I live with homeless people. Yeah. I have a chronic lung infection. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing comedy for a decade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> This is where you end yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of nice to, to, to like already feel like, you know, I kind of failed that way. That, that way, you know, you never really, uh, it's not, it's like people think, oh, well, you don't want to take success for granted. You also don't want to be appreciative for it either. No. Cause you, you know, you already, uh, it's like, um, it's like, uh, uh, S- uh, sucking a man's cock Kind yes. of, yeah <laughs> yes. I was going to say It's sort of like that yeah. Making mm-hmm. and letting a man mm-hmm. Come in your mouth It'd be like if you went to prison mm-hmm. For a crime you were falsely accused of And you like fought hard You know, in court or whatever You'd be like, I, I didn't do it I'm telling yeah. you it was, some, somebody did, it, was, it was the man, you know Right And then you get to prison And then you're just violently raped For four and a half weeks And they're like Doc the 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 medicine the evidence came up and you're exonerated you're going free <laughs> you're like uh great all right you fuck it. it already happened bro I I've been I'm <laughs> I've been raped for they weeks, uh, they so. turned my ass into hamburger helper for four weeks I bro. was already being raped in Chinatown for <laughs> years so the Patreon thing pretty cool that's but cool. I am a rape victim. Yeah. <laughs> I will never be a normal yeah. human being again. What I'm supposed to just go I'm supposed to go patch things up with my ex wife now? <laughs> be like jo- real quick, let's I'm gonna have to get an HIV test before <laughs> I even take our son to school. <laughs> In case there's an accident. In case, yep. And yeah. so the airbag, you mm-hmm. know and our blood co mingles. It it co mingles. And now my son's got, now my son's gay. Yes. Because I'm living with this now. Mm-hmm. I'm living with being turned gay in prison. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> I wake up in the middle of the night and I thirst for cock because mm-hmm. of what they did to me. Yeah, just waking up being like, oh, yeah. I mean, ah. I'm like, ah. A nightmare. <laughs> Another night <laughs> terror. Ah, ah. Yeah, just shaking because you're coming so violently. You're like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> ah like, oh, no, honey. Are you thinking about prison again? I had one of those those bo- those wet nightmares again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh. I wet myself. I was scared. Mm -hmm. It's pee. It's piss. (laughs) This is pee, I swear to God. And then you start pissing while you're talking to your wife. Mm -hmm. After, on top of the cum, you just try and, you're you're like squeezing out piss. You're like, oh. See? (laughs) (laughs) Look at what you made me do. I told you. I told you I pissed myself, Mm -hmm. bitch. I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> fucking bitch. You dude. fucking dumb bitch. I'm not I'm a homo. Dumb. Who's gay now? Who's gay now, bitch? <laughs> Who's got my piss all over them? <laughs> Checkmate, bitch. She's like, you have to leave. Anyways, I'm going back to sleep. I'm going back to jail. I got to be, I got to, I got to be at the unemployment office. <laughs> not here. <laughs> Just try to do crimes to get caught, to get raped again. <laughs> after you're exonerated. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's a revolving door. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're institutional <laughs> once, you're, once you're in the system. Yeah. A warning for Israel from an influential... This clear cut is describing Adam's skin tone and his penis. <laughs> no, don't play it. Dude. Why not? What do you mean? I don't want to listen. Li- uh, 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 Adam, the last 10 minutes. I look so cool. <laughs> I did <laughs> look cool. I don't want to listen to it. I did. I Damn, come on. Adam, Adam, the I look on Adam's eyes it. now. Adam, you might... Don't like you've this. done don't something... Don't think, please. I don't you've like done it. something it's some on the internet ready. might describe as fucking around and finding out. No, she got... <laughs> no, come on, guy. I don't want to listen to this. It's embarrassing. It was embarrassing. She called me an activist. <laughs> It was embarrassing. In 2016, one young American Jew with some strong views oh, on this. Oh, no. <laughs> turn it off. No, turn it off. So a stand-up comedian, and he's here in studio with me tonight. Adam, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Does that oh, I hate my voice. Nick, please Jews stop it. in touch with Israel? Um... No, I mean, it makes sense in the context of trying uh, uh, to oh, hate In the context I, of something. A certain uh, je ne sais quoi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of the, it's the last the, time I've uh, attempted to be smart in public. <laughs> and it put that to bed. I'm never going to try think, again. Uh, uh, the rise of the alt right um, mm. and the rise of individuals in the states that are arguing for a national oh, I hate here. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, I hate these, my uh, <laughs> uh, Dude, please, I need to go to the uh, bathroom. <laughs> please, I, 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 I love I, this. I, I feel yeah. nauseous. Right I now. love this. It yeah, it is really, pretty good. I don't know why this is the first time we've done. I, this I know. Good this points. Is so I made awesome. some good points. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, so uh, let's. You did look so funny. Uh, what 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 can we say about uh, if what do you, you <laughs> if you juxtapose the juxtaposition the, of the of various? The, I love the word juxtapose because it makes me think of like a cholo like clown doing like a stance. Mm. <laughs> that's how. Yeah. That's what that word juxtapose. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm a yoker the, baby. Just what? turn it. I was about to turn it okay, off. Okay, thanks, bro. Uh, is you know is morally sound. So mm. uh, yeah, yeah. Shut up, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No. <laughs> No! I don't like it, dude. It was very embarrassing. I felt embarrassed immediately afterwards. And then I had to wash off the makeup afterwards. Mm-hmm. The only good part of the entire thing was that I, I, when I said come town at the end. Yeah. Come town. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. and then she was that? like, well, maybe next time you can come on and tell some jokes. I used to. Well, I used which to, was a pretty crucial own. I used to do red eye. That I used to do red eye where they'll send you the topics like maybe like two hours before the show. And then uh, they're just like, okay, write jokes about it. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then I found out they have writers for that show. That's hilarious. And I'm like, well, why didn't, like, so why haven't been written anything? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's probably they write for for. I have for, no idea for Greg. What's his name? I guess they just come up with the segments. But yeah, you do. I would do yeah. that, and then half the time they'd be like, "Uh, uh, uh the uh, local uh, uh, cheesecake factory in uh, Edison, New Jersey, shut down after they discovered a fetus." In uh, uh, what do you guys have to say about that? And you're like, um. Sorry, I got nothing on this one. Looks like, like uh, okay, we'll just cut that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't they cut half the shit anyway? They cut a lot. One th- the only time they ever like got like they, I said something about John McCain, like uh, his arms not working or something, <laughs> yeah. and they were like, uh, they were like, They're well, like we had to cut far. that out because his daughters watched the show, and I'm like, nobody watches the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's on no, no nobody, worry, yeah. We don't have to worry about his daughters <laughs> watching the show. Yeah. And being like, can't get Red Eye off the. Air. Oh, he's got more than one daughter. It's not just the bitch on. the I view. thought it was only. I remember them saying daughters plural. That's probably <laughs> no. Uh, come on, Nick. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it, man. Just fast forward to a random spot and let's see what he no, was talking I didn't, about. No, because I didn't. I didn't. She, she was really Adam, badgering me with refugees. I mean, last week uh, Trump called. Uh, 
many people. From, oh, uh, fuck. You know, just stop it. <laughs> just, can you just stop this? I hate it. I'm not a smart person. I shouldn't have agreed to this. I didn't say anything wrong. I didn't say anything wrong. I was ironically saying that that was a brave thing to do. It was brave to You got to stop saying things ironically. Start saying things Ronald McDonaldly. That's why. That's where I'm at. I was trying to Because I got to juxtapose mentality. Nick says things like a gay clown. I can we're back to Adam. No, no, stop. And we're back. And we we return. Just stop, please. 2i24. Uh, no, come on. I, don't wanna, I hate it. I hate it. It's, oh, my God. It's one of the things that I think about. It makes me want to kill myself. Um, hope you guys enjoy your summer. Um, you know, yep. whatever you guys are doing. Yep. Keep us updated. No, let's know, dude. Email, Email us Adam, at Adam Friedland. Adam, dot, Adam dot Friedland at gmail.com. Yep. If you um, want to get us there, you can get us there. It's also uh, not. <laughs> Department uh, <laughs> what is it, four. You gotta take that out, bro. Why? Don't you, say. You have to take it out. Don't say. It, don't man. give his actual address. Is that your address? Come it's on, man. Just beep it. You know, just do a beep. <laughs> All right. Just please beep. You got And you said the wrong apartment, so now my neighbor's gonna get harassed. It's also not your address. It's it is one hundred percent my address. Is it? That is the number and the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just beep and don't just beep the number. I knew the like, street beep was it all. right. I tried to pick a number that wasn't the right. Number. No, it's one number, very powerful address. Shouldn't have even given that clue. <laughs> yeah, just beep the whole thing. Beep the whole thing. Just the address. They can figure out the rest. Well, I'll pick. I'll pick and choose where the beeps go. <laughs> okay, you do a little beep. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say. No. <laughs> Only so I remember. <laughs> No, that's the only way I'm going to remember. Because if it's got, this has to be. He could have said anything, folks. Yeah, yep. you don't know what you he don't said. know what he said. <laughs> you don't know. Jeez. Well, now I have to. Now I can make a mental note. It's like you got to make sure that that. Right, 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 right. It was right, just right. Adam's address, <laughs> and that was the that end would of be that out. would slip out. My address. Is watch, out. The, watch you forget and just both go out. That's how we both go out. <laughs> And, and then it, literally we're like, all right, down, this show's over. Down for that <laughs> Nick that was down it. For that. And then I go down because someone hunts me down yeah, so and, and blames me for Nick going down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, folks. Wow. Woo. 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 Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Whatever, man. This shit's boring. Who cares? Damn. Absolutely. Nice. I, I'm gay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> no. Fuck no, dude. I suck. Quadruple deck fucking burgers. 40 Jimmy Dean sandwich burger or breakfast sandwiches. Peanut oil. Fava beans. Silence. <laughs>